Yo, what up? Welcome to season two of Radical Soda. This is season one, video two, but uh. And I'm Plague Knight. Yeah, I wouldn't, I wouldn't blame you for skipping that one. With these season compilations, before just launching into each video, I have a small segment where I go over my thoughts and, uh, you know, what I was trying to do at the time, what I think of it now, that that sort of stuff. Uh, there are also timestamps, so if you're getting a little cringed out from a particular early video, you can skip to the next one, that's no problem. So let's start off with the first video of season two, uh, Sonic Horror Games. Pushing the terrible acting and awful jokes aside, that's gotta be a running theme, I'm sorry to say. This was my first video with my channel mascot Poppy as the thumbnail girl instead of the previous drawing of my younger self, which many people said looked like a girl. I've already made a video explaining how Poppy came to be. I'll add a little card thing you can click on so I won't be going over it here, but hey, Sonic Horror Games, <laughs> they exist. <laughs> Once I discovered this, I just had to do a video on at least a few of them. However, the difference between doing a video on a game made by a large company with a lot of money and a, a game made by, a, you know, a guy in his spare time on a Windows 98 computer with not a penny to his name, uh, you know, it, it, is that. And that means my usual style of harsh critiquing wouldn't really work here. I don't want to discourage any up and coming developers into quitting game creation. So you might notice a bit of a shift in perspective here. I'm also just having fun going over these games instead of actually reviewing anything. They're Sonic Horror games after all. You're not playing these for a serious experience. Did you think I was joking? <laughs> <laughs> I never joke. Hello! I'm sorry if this is your first video or you just didn't watch the update video. I'm, I'm sure you're very confused. I am in fact not a beautiful lady. I am just a beautiful man. Oh, so sexy. Don't blame me though. Blame all the comments that's... You see, your thumbnail picture looks like a girl. Oh, it is a girl. I, I came here thinking it was a girl. I mean, blame... Blame those... Don't... Okay, whatever. Blame me. Sonic Horror Games, let's go! Living in the city It's like a roller coaster a little while ago, I did a video on Sonic the Hedgehog fan games. Whilst finding these, I stumbled across the absolute motherload of Sonic horror games, or rather, Sonic.exe games. Sonic.exe is a short horror game based on a creepypasta made a long time ago. It got pretty big, but I never really took a good look at it. Heck, I didn't even touch the game myself, just out of pure uninterest. Now, I'm sure that most people have at least seen some of what the game holds. Evil Sonic, blah blah blah, everyone dies, yada yada yada. But we're not going over that game today. No! Today we're starting out strong. I have scavenged the internet far and wide to find you the best selection of Sonic horror games. And I have found- I have found! What may be the craziest find yet? Sonic 2.exe, baby! Look at that! It's version 1.01, which means it's been updated. Hell yeah! We are guaranteed a genuine, high-quality Sonic experience, folks. Read me before playing. Oh, is this some backstory we gotta know, or...? Ooh, spooky! There's also a screenshot here. Let's take a look, I guess. Oh, yep. Looks like uh, Sonic's just figured out what game he's in, and I guess they caught Tails mid-blink. Oh, there's even an intro movie. Silver Sonic was defeated, but Sonic the Hedgehog failed at collecting all the Chaos Emeralds to save his friend Tails. Oh, okay, so this takes place after the Sonic 2 Game Gear title. Robotnik then decided to fulfill his part of the deal. <laughs> what, killing Tails? The deal between Sonic and Robotnik was if Sonic got all the Chaos Emeralds to Robotnik, he would open the gate for a lost paradise so Sonic could save Tails. Okay, I'm not sure that 100% makes sense. Also, this is just the Sonic 2 credits. I can see them in the background. You ain't sly, Sonic2.exe. That goes to this game. Get it? Get it? Because it, cause it's sly? Oh god, that wasn't good at all. Quick, do something funny before they all leave. I can make it work. Maria! But if Sonic didn't collect the Chaos Emeralds, Robotnik would keep Tails and kill him. Oh, okay, yep, so Tails is dead. Seems happy enough, though. Without any hopes or motivation, Sonic just gave up. He ran away like a coward. Oh yeah, that's just like Sonic! Tails, I'm here to save you! What's that, Mr. Emerald? Well... See you later, Tails! Hey Ryu, mind if I put your name in the credits? Told you can- Jesus, that took ages, a whole 2 minutes and 38 seconds. Let's get into the actual game. No. Uh, alright, I guess that's the creators. Oh no, 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 we aren't, we aren't, I can't- Oh god, I, I can't, I can't skip it. Oh, oh god. Clicking. 
clicking skipped it. And here we have Sonic and Tails again. Whoa, I'm too cool for you. But also, Tails, please open your eyes. I'm really scared, man, please. Holy moly, he's dead. So the game starts you off with Last Chance Act 1. Oh, oh, yep, we're Tails. I mean, he's looking pretty good for someone who's dead. I like the sprite here, it's very cute. We've also got some uh, Scooby-Doo villains doing the soundtrack here. Okay, so we can jump, can't seem to fly. <laughs> Whoa! Okay, so Tails just kind of shoots off if you run for long enough. Don't forget to get the rings! Best thing about this game so far, very satisfying ring collection. Solid 8 out of 10. The level looks awfully familiar to the first level from Sonic 2, the Game Gear version, that is. I... What? Hello? I guess we'll just sift on down here. Oh! Oh man, it's like an actual Sonic game and all! Did... And there we go, act done! Okay, on to act two, what? Uh, okay, we're and tells us did again. <laughs> Whoa, what? Happy mask salesman! What are you doing here? The la last Sonic game you were in was uh, Sonic CD. Well, you don't remember him back in Sonic CD? Look, here he was. Hey, look at that. Oh. Oh no. What? Oh, looks like we're just headed back into generic Sonic.exe territory here. Dead animals, dead Robotnik. Oh god, there's so much death and blood and gore and hey, that's a really short palm tree. Don't forget to take your daily bath in animal corpses! <laughs> Tails, but uh oh, the lost signal. Very pixelated signal. Hey, look, Sonic Six Six Six. I love this game. Well, not as much as Sonic Six Six Five: Birth of a Cheeky Sneaky, but hey, who's really gonna live up to that masterpiece? Sunshine Act Six. Oh yeah. Can you feel the sunshine? Does it brighten up your day? We jump for the sunshine! But forget about the rain! Don't you feel like sometimes that YouTube has gotta compress this and make it look like shit? Well, we have what sounds like the old dial-up sound effect happening here. I'm not sure whether that was intentional or not. I Here's the sunshine song we wanted, Tails. Thanks for bringing it back. Great job, buddy. All right, can I, can I, can I skip this? No, Tails. I mean, Tails, I love you, buddy, but. Oh, there is, there is no sunshine. Oh, the game is over. Sometimes you gotta ask yourself, what am I doing? Is it even worth it? I go through all this pain, and for what? A game over screen? I can't do it. I just can't do it. You pathetic wanker! I told you I'd be back! The next game we'll be looking at is surprisingly not related to Sonic.exe. Hooray! I made sure I found a suitable, a suitable amount of games unrelated to Sonic.exe. Hello? You, you kind of just slammed the door in my face! I mean, you need me! I heard you're in a monologue! You know what, Beer Girls? You made me realize I don't need you. All I need is some fresh enthusiasm and a glass of ice cold water. Let's head on to. Five Nights of Sonics. <sighs> and apparently it's a virus. Alright, next game. Just kidding. Of course I'll fuck my computer up the ass any day for a chance of some sick Sonic horror games. Alrighty, uh, looks like we uh, got uh, Sonic as Freddy here. Uh, there's the honk. Very nice, very nice. Also, was this game made in paint? Oh, phone's ringing. Who is it? Hello? 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 You're gonna have to speak oh, up. I'm playing a shitty Sonic fan game like made in paint. Uh, and whatever, I'll just mute him. Uh, so, uh, oh, wait, hey, hello! Oh, oh, here are the three main guys. The main crew we got Mario, uh, Sonic, uh, the Bowser. They look great. Perfectly normal. Uh, oh. No, oh, come on! Damn it, I thought this didn't have Sonic.exe in it. That's why I picked it. I can't escape. No escape. 
What do you mean? There's a door Shut right up! here. Oh. Okay, so they're all finally moving around and the guy is still fucking talking. Shut up, dude! I need a honk. For motivation. Nice. Jesus Christ, Mario, get over your obsession with the camera. What's Yoshi doing? Trying to peep into the girls' toilets. Stay classy, you big green dino dick! Oh great, the jump scare noise plays whenever you turn the light on. That won't get annoying. With the hell is Tails? That's what I'm wondering. Oh shit, there he is! Here I am, Tails, that's me! <laughs> well, it looks like I'm running out of power fast. Will I make it to 6 a.m.? This game is incredibly easy. Well, at least I got Sonic here to keep me company. <laughs> Whoa, -ho, that was a scary one. I think I pissed my pants. Don't. We can't no, run no, any no, location no, going away! The next game up is Sonic 3.exe, or Sonic Old.exe. I'm, I'm not too sure on this one. Oh no, forgive me, this is Sonic Old Remastered. Who could forget the original? So good they just had to give it a remaster. Wait. Or is it... Sun. I cold. Sun. I cold. Piss off, Dad! I'm playing Pokemans! Sun. I sad. I gotta get butts to level 20! Oh, okay, so we got our, uh, old Sonic, Tails, and, uh, the, this guy! You remember this guy, right? From the original Sonic Old. Right? Oh, the screen's really shaking about just... Huh? <coughs> Let's just... <coughs> uh, go, go Tails! Or, or not Tails, I'm sorry, I... What? Oh, oh! Oh... Angel Island Zone? Tails is undulating quite feverishly now, not that I blame him, I would be undulating too if I had just witnessed the world's first flying boulder. Oh, okay, it's this guy, but what's he gonna do? <laughs> Sometimes you gotta ask yourself, what am I doing? Is it even worth it? Uh-oh, fire, earthquake, and explosion! This can only mean one thing. Attack of the Pixels! <laughs> oh. Well, hey, I can get down with this. Uh, I see it wants me to go down, but maybe if I go this way, I'll find a secret of some sort. Alright! Hey, it's Knuckles! Tails, is that you? The light is gone! Get the key and check the electricity! Yeah, yeah, I was doing that, Knuckles. Did you? What's the bait when I'll find the key? I'll come back and Knuckles will be dead. Oh, it's still alive. That's, uh, surprising. I find it weird that Knuckles isn't coming with us. Knuckles, you're not gonna tag along? Nah, bro, I'm fine here in the dark. Alone. Where someone could easily stab me. Easily. Okay, that's the lights, and I'm guessing Knuckles is also dead now. Oh. Oh, no. Huh. I recently saw the top of the infected animals. That damn Eggman, apparently there's multiple Eggman now, continues to experiment <laughs> in the explosion yesterday. Without Sonic, this world more and more like a hell. What? what? More and more like a hell, Tails, like a hell! Oh, jeez, not the power again. Oh, oh, oh! Knuckles! Knuckles! Oh. Called it. Now, this next part is uncut footage from when I was recording the game so I could have audio notes. And there it is. I must avenge them. <laughs> what? 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 Ow. 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 Oh no. Here he comes. Time to use my spin jump. Ow. 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 Oh, oh, oh come on. I didn't even touch that one. Did the, the, the tip? Didn't the tip of my tail just brush slightly against it? This is it. 
This is it, folks. This is the next 50 years of my life. It's got to be dedicated to beating this shit. That's why they call it Sonic Old, because you'll be an old fucking man by the time you finish it. God damn it, finally! Took long enough. Oh, oh, there's, 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 there's dubstep. Oh, oh. Sometimes you gotta ask yourself, what am I doing? Shit, shit! Oh, no, okay, okay, the green one. Oh. No! Oh, I did it! I did what? What now? Hello? Okay. I'm flying. Hope this dubstep's royalty free. Okay, I am now up here. Oh, I. Hey, whoa, 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 whoa! Oh, man! I love blood showers. And look, a bloodbath right after. Hey! Sometimes you gotta ask yourself. Oh no, I am caged. Oh, hey look, it's that guy using his dosy powers to teleport me? I can show you what happened. Walk straight. Don't tell me what to do. Oh, I see, go right because you didn't program left! This is great and all, but I mean it's missing the classic Green Hill music. Da, 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 da. We did it, thank god. Oh, son of a bitch. Oh, what's, what, what's happening here? Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh shit, now, wait, 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 what's going on? Sometimes. What's with the fucking Eggman face? I don't wanna, fuck! Oh shit, I did it, keep going! I must avenge it. Wait, what, who are you avenging? Three lives, three lives, it's giving me three lives. Good thing I'm a goddamn master at this game by now. Oh, damn it, shit! Well, screw up, let's just do old man Sonic here. Press P to clear the screen. Oh no, that's great, I just gotta keep my finger on P, you know, the button furthest from space. That's a great game design idea, and put Sonic slightly too far forward on the screen so I can't see what the fuck I'm doing. Also, there's water in the land! In developing. In developing! I can't even quit here! Is it time for the next game? I'm... I think it's time for the next game. Oh, gee, mate, really? Uh... Thought we'd keep going, it really got me. <laughs> what, really? I, I almost had a goddamn seizure. No, no, come on, stop, no! What? Oh, sorry, it helps me calm down. <laughs> what the fuck?! I'm sick of bloody Sonic.exe, so here's Sonic Slender! Oh wait, no, I'm sorry, sorry. <clears throat> uh, Sonic Cinder? We mailing letters to Grandma now? Uh-oh. Esta juego esta en fase beta por lo tano se pueden encontrar varios problemas un asti intiere reparasalas con nuevas versiones sin más disfruta del juego Winky Face! Now Satan will rise! <laughs> Okay, so we have uh, Tails and Metal Sonic and so oh damn it, come on! Sonic.exe again, damn it! Ah, can we have one Sonic horror game without Sonic.exe? This is as good as a time of any. I've got a horror game about Sonic without Sonic.exe in it. Wait, really? Absolutely, it's here on this disc. Oh. Okay. Oh. Oh wow, I'm fast. What am I saying? Of course I'm fast. I gotta outrun Sonic.exe. Oh, I, I guess I have to out jump him too, I suppose. Oh, what's that over there? Oh. Oh. I think it was Sonic. Oh, is that a Chaos Emerald? Oh, no, that's a rock. Oh, there's an Emerald. I, I see that. Okay, there it is. Uh, hmm. Metal Sonic doesn't seem to be doing too well. Oh, oh, oh no! It's, it's T-Po Sonic! So it looks like Sonic just kind of follows you. He's having a good time doing it at least. Oh shit, I just realized they have a health bar down there. Uh, don't worry, I mean, I still have two pina coladas, we'll be fine. Oh, I see another one. Nope, that's just Metal Sonic again. Hey, another one, there we go. Hmm, it seems that Sonic Lost World got its tree designs from this game. Look at those squares. I hope they got some royalties or something. See you later, Tails! Another chimichanga! N Knuckles, my boy! Can't stop and chat, running for my life here! Oh, here we go, last one! Oh no, Metal Sonic once again. I wonder if I can climb this. 
Oh, okay. What do you know? I've got the feeling Sonic can't come up here. Hey, I know this tune. Oh, oh, here we go. Is this the last Emerald down here? No? Still playing the creepy music though. Yeah. Okay, the next game is also 3D. Uh, it looks pretty good from what I've seen. What happened? Crane? Holy crap, it's even got voice acting and all. Look at this. Oh, graphics. I'm assuming I can open this. Uh, hmm, it's finicky as shit. Okay, there we go. Mm-hmm. Yes, everything a camper would need. A torch, batteries, a book, and a dismembered Winnie the Pooh head. Ow! It's like someone's snapping in my ear. Okay, I take it back what I said about the graphics. What is this grass? Ah, I take it back! I take it back! Okay, we, we got a note here. Take the key. It will probably unlock the house in the distance. I'm not sure, though. I couldn't find a way there. What? What? Why not? Did, did the cones stop you? Did these baby cones? Oh, someone's growling. What, did you not want me to push your cones? Oh. Ah! Uh, the Son Sonic's Crane, shoes. Also, he's glued himself to my left ear, apparently. Oh my goodness, for a game about Sonic, you sure do run slowly. This is the sprint. This is sprinting in this game. Okay, crouching time. Oh no! Sonic's doing pull-ups! The scariest horror trope! Exercise! I love you too, son. Nice interior. Made for midgets, though, unfortunately. Look at this doorway. Here's where, uh, Sonic drums out some sick beats. <laughs> you must die! You shouldn't have done that. What? What shouldn't I have done? Huh? What? Can't... Can I... Can I get out of here, please? Uh Oh, I seem to be pushing this bed with my almighty strength! Oh! Well, hey, I see that uh, Sonic's getting into making some of those uh, ASMR videos. Listen, Sonic, I mean, I know you're trying your best. I really do, but it's just coming off creepy. Get, get some tips from some of the best ASMR artists. Uh, Hit the feather. This guy. Very relaxing. Last game, last game of the day, the, t the end of Sonic.exe, let's make this quick. Well, it is a Sonic game, not like you're gonna go slow. <laughs> Gotta go fast! Shut it! So this game opens up with what I can only assume is palm tree panic without a background. Already very promising. Sonic is also super heavy, his momentum is through the roof, my god. Huh. You know what, this, this is kind of fun. I mean, I mean, just being able to play this, it doesn't feel like a Sonic.exe game, it feels, it, it feels, boy, it actually feels fun to play, what, what is going on here? I mean, you still get the generic Kefka laugh every time you die, but you know, it's got a nice HUD, Sonic isn't undulating like we've seen Tails do, you can collect rings, how amazing, and the platforming's not bad, I mean, no matter how many rocks Sonic's had for breakfast this morning. Spinnerino! <laughs> Damn it, I, I keep dying on this part. I'm just too fast. I'm gonna stay the net. Huh, what? Sorry? Okay, I'm not sure what's going on here. But I love it! Let's go! Into Sonic.exe! Best game! 10 out of 10! Anime babes and all! Okay, let's try this again. I'm doing this for you, uh, Senpai Sensei Summer Chan! Let's go! What? Just wait a second, for fuck's sake. Wait, what? Who's there? I can't see. Senpai Sensei Summer Chan is in the way. There is no need to be hostile. I called you here for a reason. Please take a seat. Uh oh, is 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 this about the young anime girl thing? I mean, I mean, I swear she said she was eighteen. So why did you attack me? Did you attack me because you think I'm evil? Why do you think I'm evil? I don't get it. I'm so sick of this shit again and again. It never ends. Who are you talking about? Hey, <laughs> those fucking .exe games. I honestly can't take them anymore. I'm quitting. Oh, what are you gonna do now? 
I don't know, I mean, IDK. Maybe I can appear as some obscure Nova or Sonic Drift game nobody cares about because it doesn't end in .exe, so it's not good enough. I wonder what happened to that guy. Who? Novaware. Hey, wait, wait, whoa, whoa, wait a minute. I've heard that get in their name before. No. Oh, he became a music producer, and he's using that to forget his .exe games. It's not like they're bad or anything. Baka, Baka, Baka. It's just that he's really sad that he's remembered because of his .exe games and not because of his real games. You see, the internet is filled with great indie games made by brilliant people. But those guys only seek for bad creepypasta games and find Nights of Freddy's clothes. Hey, wait a minute, wait a minute! I know, right? People should put more effort into making fun games instead of copying the same shit over and over. Indie games must be creative, innovative, unique! Elise! I'm glad you feel the same way. Now hurry up and finish the next zone of this game. Thanks. Oh, what? Oh, oh yeah! This is happening! Now this is a Sonic CD I can get down with if you know what I mean. <laughs> Let's do it! Whoa! Damn, dude, this game left me with a good feeling. Like, even though we had to wade through the waist-high poop to get here, I mean, that last game, that... <laughs> There's a hawk. Come on, hawk, I'm trying to film here. Don't distract me. That last game just... Oh! Whoa, really? Does this mean I'll be coming back next time for more Sonic Horror Games? Absolutely fucking not. All right, next time we'll be looking at more Sonic fan games. So leave a comment down below what sort of fan games you want to see. And until then, I'll be running around at the speed of sound. Next up is Pokemon White Randomizer, and just flipping through this one, there seems to be a lot of yelling. I, I guess I was really excited. This is another speedrun honey bun. There's actually a few of them this time around. I'm not the biggest fan of them looking back. Uh, when you're reacting to events that have already happened after the fact, it's it's already difficult, you know, to, to, to write sort of genuine jokes. But combine that with the lack of experience and bad acting, I, I can't watch this. God damn it, Nintendo, really? Really? Two minutes? I couldn't upload this video for two minutes before you strike. I even had a thing in the beginning like, let's be friends, Nintendo. We can do it. And this happened. G great. Great job. Uh, still gotta upload the video. Still wanna be friends, Nintendo? If you wanna be my friend, see me a goddamn email. Come on. Whitelist my channel. Goddamn, I'm sick of this shit. I just wanna play some Nintendo games. The good games. If this continues, there'll be no more Nintendo for anyone. It's not gonna be fun at all. Now, let's get into the video. Okay, Nintendo, we've had our problems, that's for sure, that's this one thing that's happened, but today I'm gonna rekindle our relationship. Let me show my love for you. Today I'm gonna go through my favorite Pokemon game of all time, Pokemon White version, for the Nintendo DS. So, welcome to Speedrun Honeybun, or should I say Radical Soda with a twist of honey. I'm starting to suspect that people actually think the speedrun Honey Bunny episodes are real speedruns, hence why nobody actually watches the bloody things. I mean, I get it, you subscribe because you want to see uh, funny reviews and clickbait thumbnails, but hey, uh, th these have never actually been real speedruns. For the sake of clarity, these are basically just Radical Soda episodes without the review aspect, and more centered around, you know, the jokery commo side of things. From here on out, they're just going to be labeled as just that. Differentiate via the thumbnails, if you'd please, and if you can't do that, uh, you're gonna get a top-notch quality vid anyhow, so don't you worry, your sweet little tuggers. Okay, Pokemon White, Nintendo, I'm begging you. I love you. Love me back. Don't strike the video down. Come on, let's be friends. I even bought an Amiibo. Give me an email. Send me a Switch. I'll review arms. I'll give it a 10 out of 10. My guarantee. I'm not above selling out. I'll do it. I mean it. I'll do it. So, why is this my favorite Pokemon game? Well, there's a couple reasons. One of them being, whoa, hot diggity damn, that's one fine lady. Are you a boy or a girl? Well, clearly I'm a strapping young lad, so that's what I'll be going with. Uh, name? Red... So... Duh. Who are these two nerds? Oh, oh, oh yeah, they're my best friends. <laughs> It's funny, because in real life I can never get a girlfriend. <laughs> Why must you mock me with such volition? Bowser! I heard from Professor Juniper. We can have a Pokemon? What's keeping Bianca? Sharon, I think it's time to tell you there is no Bianca. I, I will never be able to get a girlfriend. Holy crap, she's real. Sorry, Bowser! Sorry, Sharon! So, where are the Pokemon? They would live in a Bowser's house, so Bowser gets first pick. Naturally. Okay, Bowser. 
You go first and take a peek at the gift box. I want to meet the Pokemon right now. All right, sure thing, Sheeran. Right after I uh, change some options here, you guys are speaking slow as hell. Shift mode? What am I? Some kind of baby? All right, here we go. Just got to save my game. Bowser. Hold up, I am examining my prized trash can. Bowser! All right, you guys ready to meet some Pokemon? Open the goddamn box! Ooh, a litter. Better read this out real slowly. Dear Mario, please come to the castle. I have baked a cake for you. Yours truly, Princess Toadstool. Okay, what do we got here? All right. Ooh, Shepard. Glamiao, you mean THE Glamiao, the fabulous feline? There's no competition! Glamiao it is! Ah, uh, looks like Bianca's going by Kate now. Oh, she's a designer. Did you make my clothes? They're looking pretty snazzy. Damn, dude, poison tail, that's like a 70 power move right- Oh, 50, uh, well, it's a good move anyhow. Let's show this shop at who's King Cat around here. Oh, rough skin, I picked a good one here. <laughs> I sure showed you as the best right now. Hey, my trash can! Now where will my copy of Sonic Unleashed go? Fire Badoo, this is getting real weird, real fast here. Ah, so that's a Pokemon battle. No, it, it, it's really not, Sharon. Trust me. I mean, a uh, designer, Ann. All right, Mom, I'm off on my Pokemon adventure. Oh, it's so pretty. A nickname? Of course I'll give my Pokemon a nickname. I uh, usually just name my Pokemon whatever pops into my head at the time. Orange! You know, that's actually a better name than I thought I'd give it. What do you mean? Aha, uh -huh, I see. Hey, screw you. I don't see you coming up with anything better. Can I get going, Mom? I just want to see what kind of strange and exciting Pokemon are out in the wild. All right, here we go off to Route 1. Or is it Route 1? I always get kind of confused. Ah! Oh man, with this randomizer on, who knows what sort of hideous and disgusting creature Professor Juniper will find. Ah! Oh, it's a pet rat. Oh, here's my first encounter. What's it gonna be? Okay. Well, let's kill it. I don't want a Quagsire, even if it does no snarl. Although that is a pretty good move. A dark type Quagsire, that's weird. Oh my! At least I killed the Quagsire, right? <laughs> Rematch of the century! Mudkip! It's fucking Mudkip, dude! I gotta get it! The poison tail! Damn it. Bianca has a big forehead. That's the Sheeran. Jesus Christ, these guys just exude forehead. I know how to use the PC, Professor Juniper. I'm not an idiot. Although, if you really want to help me, I've never seen a naked breast before. <laughs> yes, I would like to buy some potions, please. Yes, six. Thank you very much. Oh, hey, it's even got a pink pencil for when I save. How about that? You see, I usually play as the dude. I mean, I, I am playing as the dude. I, the uh, Bowser. Oh, do I do I go level or do I do I go up? No, I'll go up and see. Oh, hey, look, it's Team Hoodie. My name is the Hoodmaster. Yolo Swagalicious 420 Blaze Remix. I'm here representing all hood kind. Now we have plenty of hoods in stock. We have some of those ones with the little cat airs on top, and some of those old gold Vanos gaming ones. I'm, I'm not sure who it, my grandson told me to. I think he's an owl. We sell them for $19.99 on our website. Don't forget to back our latest Kickstarter for the shit stain hoodie. How did it get on there? Nobody knows. Ooh. What do you mean, no way? They're they're comfortable. They're, they're easy to wear. They can cover up big foreheads. And look, look at that young man. He's got a big forehead. Look how big and gross it is. Wait, what? Don't forget to back us on Kickstarter. Looks like Green Hair McGee wants to battle. What you got for me? Jump bluff. Oh, that's a that's a good Pokemon. Oh no! Please kill in one hit. No! Potion, potion. This is the way a Pokemon match is meant to be, folks. This is the way. No! Thank God I got all these potions. I did it. Through pure luck, I won. You? Oh, what me? I need more potions. Well, you just bought like six. I need more. What did you do with them? Never mind what I did with them. This show fucking stinks. Hello? Oh, my mom is so pretty! It, that came out wrong. I'm coming for you! <laughs> Man, I really want to get another Pokemon, so I'll tell you what, the next Pokemon I find, I will catch! Ah, shit. I, not this one, though. Uh, next one. Jesus, are there any Pokemon other than fucking Golic? God damn it. Paralyzed! God damn, I'm gonna go back to the goddamn stupid ass Pokemon. It's fucking static anyway, stupid ass fucking time, stupid ass Golic. Shove a big old brick of his anal. More potions, please! Oh, I said more potions! No Golics, no Golics, please! It's 
Pikachu! Nickname. Veal. Pikachu again! Oh, this cute girl says she's got a cute pug. Uh, Drink the mic. Whoa, one way, that's a legendary! Oh, it's shitting on me! Go, Orange! Use Poison Tail! <laughs> oh. Go, Veal! I believe in you. God damn it, Veal. Alright, so we didn't exactly win there, and I can't actually hit it with Orange, so we're just gonna do some training for Veal here. Wait, why is this one level 7? Oh, of course! Stupid ass stack goal of fucking airline food and big old round ass dripping with all the garbage candy several on a tree with that old lady what do you mean i can't afford more potions sing her off where were you wait can i just can i just walk right <sighs> oh hey it's bianca uh, uh, designer kate i kind of feel bad for her you know well how weak she is and she's got bad pug what the fuck is- Aha! Now I have Fire Fang, which is super effective against Steel! Bow down before me- Oh! Oh no! Grottle? I, I mean, sure, I guess I'll take it. Wait, 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 what? In, in this randomizer, he's grass? What are the chances? What? Whoa, extreme speed storm drain! Hello, ma'am, what would you like? Potions! Give me potions! Just listen to this music, it's brilliant. There's another thing Pokemon might is going for. What the fuck? Why is everyone else getting all these good Pokemon? I'm stuck with a goddamn grottled, stupid ass, grottled ass. Why can't I get gotten something good? Like a Rishiram or something like What? Where did it get all the fucking legendaries? What? Where did we get into the freaking fucking league games? Chansey? Prepare to be point. Hey, that's my shtick! Why the hell did they pick Salan for the anime? He's so boring. Oh my like grass Pokemon. Christine, man, has everyone in the Pokemon world switched genders? We got Anne and then Christine. Mike! Oh, what? Uh, no, he's using my secret technique! Oh, hey, Fennel. What's that? You want to show me something? <laughs> okay. Oh, uh, Fennel, I don't know whether this is such a great idea. I mean, there are children here. Uh, oh, upstairs, of course. <laughs> Silly me. Uh, there... Uh, there, there, there's, there's another kid in here. Fennel? All right, I need to put cuddle on someone. Hopefully I can shove it on my grottle. Ah! Oh! Fine, Fennel, I'll grab your dumbass dream mist. Off to the dream yard. Here I go. Just another kid doing some Fennel slave labor. Oh no, come on! Oh no, they're gonna kick Mona! Ugh. Whatever could we do to stop this poor innocent Pokemon from getting hurt? I know! By making more innocent Pokemon hurt each other! I found a Blueberry! And a Choice Specs! I might just use that. Let's take a look, huh? Ooh, a Sunstone! Blastoise! Stop! What, 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 where are your wings? Run, run for it! It's a flying toilet! A, I, I mean, a, a, fly, a flying turtle! <laughs> what the fuck? You can either, or you can use, then you can reach. Oh my god, I don't care. Who? Okay, done with that. Now to beat up some kids. Pfft, what do you have, Robin? What, 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 Rich? What? Stop healing, that's my thing! Dude, these preschoolers are just rolling in it! They're all so rich, I get it! Stop rubbing it in! Okay, designer Ann, let's go! Oh, the poor Badoo, I don't wanna hit it. What? Holy shit! I almost died to a fucking Badoo, Jesus Christ! Duh! Oh no! Team Hoodie stole this preschooler's Pokemon! Why don't you just buy another if you're so fucking rich? <laughs> oh, for alligator. Uh, uh, crocodile. Oh, oh, I lived. Uh, oh no. Rustling grass. <gasps> this is gonna, this is gonna be something rare. Ah, rich boy. Why is everyone rich but me? If you would like me to be rich, please donate to my Patreon. Thank you, baby. Power. What is power? 120 power. Damn, I'll take it. Oh my god, those are some rough looking Pokemon. Let's do it! I'm dead. Do it, Badoo, I believe in you! Whoa! That's a good fucking Badoo! Oh, it's so cute! Oh, she can't even get it going! Oh, she's having trouble battling! Oh, I feel so bad! Oh, I'm sorry, Lapani! Oh. Why is this thing so powerful? It can't even get it going and it's whooping my ass! Oh, don't give me more crocodiles. I don't like these sons of bitches because they don't fucking die! Dance a pie, that's a bit of a weird name. Okay! Another piece of advice. Now Green City's gym leader uses normal types. If you have a fighting Pokemon, it might give you an advantage. 
Yeah, not really, Sharon. I mean, you know this is a randomizer, right? I'm not a dummy. <laughs> Alright, give me some motherfucking potions right now. More designers? Why does everyone feel the need to create cool clothes? Chikorita, what the fuck is this? Charizard? No! Oh! oh no, this is a powerful Charizard here, ladies and gentlemen. Give me more fucking potions! Judgment! What, what did Arceus' move? Damn it! Stop using hyper voice! How about a taste of your own medicine? Pull it, stood! Time for you to meet my brother, Bride. Uh, no, no, don't do that. C come on, don't be like that. Don't be cheap. Oh, come on! Wow, a hidden staircase. Hey, this is pretty cool. It hey, wait a minute. If this is a hidden staircase, then isn't Lenora trapped in here? Like, how does she get out? What if, the what if it gets stuck? You'd fucking die, lady. Are you crazy? What about fresh air? Kate, your name, your name is Kate. Have we, have we seen more Kates? I'm pretty sure there's more than one. Well, I think it's time to use Minimize. Get a taste of your own medicine, you know what I mean? <laughs> Let's see how you like that. Uh oh. Level 38? Oh, oh my god, they're, they're a couple. Oh my god. Aren't you guys a little young to be dating? Well, Oshawott, prepare to be Osha not. Ha! I wonder what Pokemon are in here. Oh. A uh, Pokemon you could normally get here. Cool! No, I don't want to find another Pokemon. I just want to get to the item. Oh, Sunken! He's so cute! And he evolves with the Sunstone that I got! I love you, Plops. And here's the moment we've all been waiting for. Here we go! He's evolving! Here we are! Yes! Yes! Sunflora, here we come! Yeah, baby! I did what? 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 Next up, Sonic Fan Games 2. I had a quick look at this one and... It's more watchable. Uh, there's a couple of good jokes in there, a lot of bad ones, but hey, I'll take a win when I can. Uh, funnily enough, uh, the thing I said last time about not properly reviewing fan games is completely thrown out the window in this one, and I think that speaks to the quality of these fan games that I'd give them this treatment in the first place. Sonic has the highest quality of fan games, uh, other than Pokemon, maybe, and I really did pick some good ones for the sequel video. Overall, I'm just glad I was having fun making videos. I hope that shows throughout. Alright, next time we'll be looking at more Sonic fan games, so leave a comment down below what sort of fan games you want to see, and until then, I'll be running around at the speed of sound. Oh wow, great video, me. Awesome. Editing's done, all that great sort of stuff. Now the only thing left is to put it on YouTube. Oh, here we are on YouTube. Uh, let's see here, uh... Alright, uh, click the upload. Oh, and there we go! <laughs> Making videos is fun, huh? Well, now that that's over with, I'm off to go torture myself. Whoopsies, can't forget this. Oh, ho, ho. hey man, great job on that last video. Only the best from me, dude. High five. You know it, brother. What? Oh, and did you remember to tell them that we're gonna do Sonic Generations level mods next? Oh yeah, the level mods are... Alright, next time we'll be looking at more Sonic fan games, so leave a comment down below what sort of fan games you want to see. <laughs> no! You're getting a bit close there. Oh, it, well it's for dramatic effect, come on! Tr trust me, come on. Uh, okay. No! Living in the city! Hello and welcome back to Radical Soda. Today we're going to be doing more fan games that with... Oh! <laughs> Hello and welcome back to Radical Soda. Today we're going to be doing more fan ga Too low. Alright. Welcome back to Radical Soda. Today. Welcome back to Radical Soda. Today. Welcome back to Radical Sis. More Sonic fan games, let's go! First up, we've got a widely requested game, that being Sonic Utopia, made by Mr. Lange and Murasaki. Please God, I hope I said those right. Sonic Utopia sort of got the same premise as Green Hill Paradise Act 2 Final Mix Super Edition Mega Collection Wii.exe Part 7 Rise of Lyric, in that it's an open world Sonic game with rolling physics. That's just about where the similarities end though. Well, you know, apart from like, the obvious stuff, like the fact that it's Green Hill and 
you play as Sonic, and you can jump and roll. And, uh, okay, okay, so they seem pretty similar from the get-go, but Sonic Utopia is a whole different beast. Let's go through this slowly, because I want all of you to know exactly what this game holds, 100%. First up is Sonic's Jump. It carries this momentum, and in fact, I don't think you lose any momentum when you jump. Uh, it's very rewarding to... Hey, wait, this is a Sonic game! I can't explain things like this! We gotta go fast! Do that Sonic spin jump by tapping that A button! Look at that roll made possible by holding the right bumper! Spin dash by pressing A while holding down that same right bumper! Yeah, baby, you knew it'd be back for you! Figure 8! Holy moly, it's back, baby! Caress that B button! Hoping attacks are inbound, Captain! Finger that A button in the air! Roll down slopes to gain speed and glide by smashing A and B together like you're making love to your controller! Gliding? That's my specialty! Oh. Oh. So Sonic Utopia sets itself apart from other Sonic GDK games like Green Hill Paradise Act 2 Final Mix, Super British Mega Collection, Wii.exe, Part 7, Rise of Lyric, and all things Zesty by one, being made in Unity first of all, so it's not a GDK game at all, and two, by having set level paths like in the classic Sonic games, rather than a hilly mesh thing. I, I, if you don't know what I'm talking about, just, just ignore that last part. It's got level design more akin to that of the classic Sonic games. Blocky, hilly, and slopey. Slopey, that could be like one of the seven dwarves. Howdy y'all, I'm Slopey! Oh, nice to meet you, Slopey! Uh, we were just about to go off to the mines and... We... look... Do, do you always do, do this? You dumb? Oh! Oh, I get it! Slow pee! <laughs> this is funny. Is this, is this funny? I, I don't. I don't know. Is, 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 is this? It's very easy to get a hang of the controls. I found myself adjusting very quickly and learning what I can and can't do. It's a little difficult to jump from platform to platform, like the other 3D Sonic fan games, but soon enough I figured out how the momentum worked and any problems from there on out were pretty much my mistakes only. The only thing wrong with the controls, and you may have noticed that I mentioned it already, is that if you spare A and B at the same time while in mid-air, Sonic will flap his little arms and start to glide. Now, while this is useful, I'm pretty sure it wasn't meant to be a key feature. Uh, back when I first played the game, when it was relatively new, I figured this out myself just by pure luck, and I rushed online to see if anyone else had actually picked up on it. And I searched, and I found out that I, Radical Soda, was indeed definitely not the first person to find it. Uh, unfortunate, yes, but at least I'm the only one who can actually glide in real life. Oh, oh I gotta stop doing that! So, there's not a huge amount to do in this game, it is pretty simple, and it's just a demo after all. But in all honesty, it doesn't really need much else. The map is huge, and you're gonna need a good hour or so to like fully explore everything it has to offer. And even then, it's still got those little extra areas you might miss if you're not keeping an eye out. Now, whilst an open level is great and all, I'd really like to see some actual levels. I don't know if the developers are actually doing anything with this right now, or even if this version of Sonic would even work very well in levels. Actually, you know, I take that back, I, I, I know we would. But either direction this is going in, I'm looking forward to seeing what's in store. If you're interested in Sonic Utopia or any of the other games we're going to be talking about today, uh, the links will be in the description, so check them out. Uh, all in all, Sonic Utopia, yeah, it's a good game, recommend it. It's a fun experience overall. Also farts. The next game is by Nefault First, uh, and it's called Sonic vs. Darkness Nightmare Revived. Yeah, that's, that's, that's the name. Game's good though. Even though Sonic vs. Darkness Nightmare Revived sounds like some edgy teen Sonic the Hedgehog fan fiction, it truly is nothing of the sort. This is a fan game with what I'm sure has had many, many hours put into its development. It's incredibly impressive. Okay, so the game actually supports controller use, but unfortunately for me it didn't seem to be working too well at the time. No matter, the game works perfectly fine on keyboard, I'm sure there'll be no problems- God damn it, I suck so bad, dude! The game actually controls beautifully. It's literally a mix of Sonic Rush and Sonic Advance. If you've played those, you'll be right at home here. I've played both series, although you won't be able to tell just by looking at the footage. Jesus, I just don't have the reflexes for this shit, I feel like an old man! What is this? Why is there a black furry on my screen? I don't, I don't want this, how do I switch to channel 3? What the hell is this? Ooh, I like it! Granddad, what are you watching? Nothing, nothing! You can pick between Sonic or Shadow, but I don't think there's any difference between the two. So the gameplay you'll be seeing is all Shadow. 
There are two levels to play through, and while that doesn't sound like much, there's a tutorial level, two acts per zone, different locales per act, two boss fights, and a small hub where you can talk to Boobs the Bat and buy extra lives. I just had to take a moment to address all the detail that went into this game. The two zones is music are Sonic Riders remixes, there's a trick system, there's Sonic Adventure 2 slash Sonic Hero slash Sonic 06 switches, there's a slide, a wall jump, the backgrounds are amazing, although a little distracting, but to be honest I don't really care because they aren't ugly unlike Sonic CDs. And the area switching within zones is just incredible, it's really just incredible. I was surprised again and again with the level design here, it's had so much work and creativity just shoved in. For example, in Sunlight Paradise, you start out running through a beach area. Then you're getting flung from catapults, a pirate ship starts shooting at you. Now you're on the pirate ship, into the hidden cave filled with gems. This is still the same act, by the way. Sliding down water slides, and then that's just the first act. And the second, you actually enter one of the pirate ships, and then run along the bottom of the ocean. Well, not actually the bottom, but you, you know what I mean. This game has had an incredible amount of work put into it. I fully recommend it. Go check it out. Even if I do suck major poo poo at it, I'm sure you won't. Uh... I haven't done a joke in a while. I believe I can fly. Woo. Oh. <sighs> Next game up is Petite the Hedgehog. By shit. Yeah, didn't expect me to start doing a segment down here, did you? Well, get used to it, um. I'm here to stay. Petite Hedgehog, I hope I'm saying that right, it might be Petit, is a game that I found on YouTube uh, a little while ago, and the main thing that caught my eye was the style. Uh, so let's check it out, shall we? Let's see what the song is all about. Okay, we've got Sonic here, we can uh, jump, we can homing attack, we can crash. Oh, if I homing attack too close to an enemy, the game will crash. Hey, hey, that's okay. Everyone crashes once in a while. In all honesty, this is pretty good. I mean, the physics are a little weird in places, but I really dig the style, and all in all, it works pretty well. We've only got two levels, one which isn't actually completed yet, and they aren't as phenomenal as Sonic vs. Darkness, my old friend, but the game is fun. Like, it's worth checking out if you're interested enough. The only thing that springs to mind that you need to change about the game is some of the sound mixing, some of the sounds too loud, some of them too soft, you know the deal. Kind of reminds me of Sonic Heroes in a weird, weird way. Still can't hear a fucking word, Tails. And the final game we'll be looking at today is the most widely requested Sonic fan game I've ever seen in my life. By that I mean like three comments maybe. Uh, Sonic World. It didn't work. I've played Sonic World a couple times actually, each at a wildly different stage in development. The first time I played it, there were like two stages, and the second I recorded it and uploaded it to YouTube so everyone could see my hideous, deformed face. This time though, I couldn't seem to get the bloody thing working properly. For one, I was having the same controller problem as Sonic vs. Darkness, but once I fixed that eventually, the sky started to spasm and changing the graphics options didn't seem to help anyway, so I just kind of gave up. I had a couple of jokes prepared too, like I was going to shove in a Deep Penetrators reference in here. Uh, check the hot voice here! Big the cat! You know, all that kind of great stuff. Oh, and if you don't know what the Deep Penetrators is, it's nothing weird. It's a small mini-series I started a while ago, but never completed. Uh, the name will make sense if you watch it, but, you know. Next you'll be telling me about MLG and Doritos. <laughs> yeah. Because we already know that nothing goes better with a cool, crisp bottle of Mountain Dew than a bag of crunchy Doritos with many variable flavors such as Cool Ranch, Thai Sweet Chuck. You might not want to. I'll complete it one of these days and maybe keep an eye out around Christmas. I still think Sonic World deserves some sort of mention though. Uh, I might be the only one in the world with this problem. It would just tie in with all my other luck. It's fun from what I remember. It's incredibly complicated, that's for sure, but it's got like a bajillion characters, so if you like that kind of thing, go ahead. And mods, it's got mods. Oh, you mean like the level mods you forgot about? Yes. But how is this even happening? You're not even another character, you're just me on the ground. Well, yeah, but can you glide? No. Damn. I was kind of hoping at least one of us could. Well, while I'm here, I might as well talk about- Alright, so that was a bit of a lame note to end on. I'll tell you what, we'll go through one more game. Uh, how about we step back into the world of... Sonic Horror Games. Did someone say Sonic Horror Games?! Uh, Alright, Bear Grylls, it's just one game, so you can do it with me if you like. You can start. Sweet! I've been waiting for this day! Let's jump right into Sonic.exe! Uh, ho hold up, um, this one was called Sanic.exe, I, I, I think. Oh! Um, alright. 
Sonic.exe, let's go! Bia, what, what do you think? Next up is a bit of an odd one. Uh, it's my thoughts on the initial gameplay of Sonic Mania and Sonic Forces. Uh, with Mania, my thoughts have mainly stayed the same, although it's funny to hear the start of the radical sort of Green Hill insane arc. But with Sonic Forces, I can tell I was really trying to be positive. I was on copium. We all were. I can more easily look at this video, uh, mainly because I'm not constantly trying to be funny, rather giving my honest thoughts on a game series I really cared about. So hey, that's some uh, growth right there. Especially for Forces, there's a lot of things they say might get changed or that we haven't seen a lot of the game, so it's too early to make assumptions and that is why i make assumptions on games nowadays and usually i'm fucking right i mean look at pokemon you know sword and shield scarlet and violet and brilliant diamond shining pearl sonic forces killed my hope gland stop it keep making i don't want stop, i don't even like sonic Over the last couple of days and weeks, we've been given a lot of information about Sonic Mania and Sonic Forces, and I thought it'd be a little fun idea, fun idea for a video to go over what I what I'm excited for, and also what I may be a little worried about. I wasn't surprised that Sega decided to make a 3D and 2D Sonic game for Sonic's anniversary. It was the smartest choice, and after this mess, even though it wasn't Sonic Team who created it, they really needed something to slide back into trustworthy territory with their audience. I thought I'd start off by talking about Sonic Mania, it's the smaller of the two titles so it'll be easy to compress my thoughts into what seems like a suitable length. And then again, like, I aim for each video to be around 10 minutes, so... Duh. So when this game was announced, uh, again, I wasn't surprised. I was happy we were finally getting a proper Sonic 4, and to make it even better, Telops was doing the music. I'd only started listening to his stuff what could have only been a month or two before the reveal of this thing, but needless to say, I love his music. Uh, Green Grove, that's a favourite. You heard it? No? So in the first trailer we saw Sonic running through the new Studiopolis zone, which looked incredibly bright and colourful and inventive. I love the smoothed out sprite animations, I, I love the colours, I love the popcorn, this looked great. Then they revealed that other classic levels were going to be remastered, and the only one they showed was Green Hill. Now I wasn't mad that they were falling back on Green Hill again, but I will say I wasn't interested in the least. We have seen Green Hill again and again throughout the years. People complain that the first zone of every Sonic game is a Green Hill clone. And while I agree that some of these zones are very similar, many are their own thing like Seaside Hill, Angel Island, Westopolis. But that doesn't excuse the fact that we've seen Green Hill in over 15 Sonic games so far. Heck, we've seen Green Hill in non-Sonic games. There were some bits which intrigued me though, like how the level switches into an underground segment and the boss was an interesting take on the classic swinging ball. I get that it's an anniversary title, so you know, first ever Sonic level and all, but in all honesty, I don't care about Green Hill anymore, that boat has sailed. They showed off the new drop dash, which is replacing the static shield, or the insta shield I think it's called. Don't know why it has to replace it exactly, I, I mean the only reason why I used it in the first place back in Sonic 3 was to kill enemies with the spikes around them, so if there's none of that crap I I'm sure I won't miss it too much. You can also play as Tails and Knuckles as, as expected, and they function the same way as they did in the classic game, so that's good too. Knuckles also chuckles, which leads me to believe that the sprite artists didn't actually do their research. Everybody knows he should be eating grapes instead. It says so in the manual. So that's fine and dandy. I mean, we've got a new classic Sonic game, old levels, new levels, T-lobes, awesome. Just, uh, just, just great. Nothing to complain about, really. I think the next zone we were introduced to was Mirage Saloon. It's based off a scrap level in Sonic 2 and looks really, really good from what I've seen. I love the aesthetic, the bar stools, the seltzer, the portraits with the moving eyes. It's brilliant. I, I love it. I love it. You can also see what I'm guessing is a special stage entrance, not yet implemented in that specific demo, but I'm sure it'll be either Blue Sphere or the Half Pipe again. I'm really hoping it's not the Half Pipe because I really suck at those, but at this point I'm kind of hoping it'll be something brand new. After all, Sonic 1, 2, and 3 all had different special stages. Then a little later at a panel of some sort, I forget what it's called, uh, they showed off Flying Battery Zone. I was hoping for Carnival Night Zone for the next classic old zone, but Flying Battery's good too. I mean, I had no idea how many people actually liked it until now. Uh, I don't know, I guess I'm just not the biggest fan of the mechanical themed levels. Scrap Brain, Metropolis, and Metallic Madness really didn't give me the best impression. Then more recently, Sega revealed that Stardust Speedway would be returning, or to be exact, the past version, but I wouldn't be surprised if there was some sort of time switching mechanic in the level, or a landscape change at a certain point. 
Yeah, I'm gonna be honest, I don't like Stardust Speedway. I'm sorry, but as is the case with all of Sonic CD's levels, uh, it's extremely confusing and just really terrible to get around and it's a bit of a clusterfuck. Uh, oh, I'm assuming this version won't be as cluttered and confusing as the previous one, but only time will tell, so. Then we learned that Chemical Plant is coming back again. What? I have to admit, this was a bit of a shock. To be honest, I'd seen people asking for it in YouTube comments of the such, but I never actually really thought that it'd be coming back, especially after Generations already, you know, did it. Then again, Green Hill is coming back for the millionth time, but that, that is Sonic's first level, so I do understand that to a degree. I see they're adding gel parts in the second act, but from what I've seen, the first is almost exactly the same, although Green Hill did that too at first, but switched up near the end of the zone. I really, really hope we're not just going to be seeing zones that have already been remastered. If we see Sky Sanctuary again, I'm going to flip my nut. I mean, I don't hate Chemical Plant Zone by any means. I mean, it's one of my favorite stages in Generations. I'll replay that any day. But it would have been a lot more interesting to see, like, some, some new stages, or at least some old stages which haven't been given as much thought in the more recent Sonic games. Just because they're not as popular doesn't mean they're not good. Everyone seems to love Ice Cap Zone for some reason, so I can pretty much guarantee that it's going to be the only Sonic 3 level we're going to be seeing. I'll miss you, Carnival Night Zone. If you're going to revamp some old levels, why use the ones we just saw in the last anniversary game? I mean, I, I, at this point, I'm just asking you to reuse different old levels. It's uninvented from the start, but it's just getting ridiculous. I know we're getting a 60% classic, 40% new zone ratio, but it's just really hard to get hyped for these old levels. You're just pretty much showing me a slightly different version of something I've already played a million times. Eh, I mean, I'm still looking forward to it. I mean, not as much as I'm looking forward to Sonic Mania's eventual sequel, though, because when this game sells well, and it will, it's going to be Green Litter <sighs> sequel. When that happens, please give us some new zones, some great new zones, just a full game of new zones, repeatedly saying new zones. Please, come on, yeah, just give us some new zones. Come on. With new zones. So that's Sonic Mania. Uh, I don't think I'd mind the classic 60% thing if we got six or seven new zones, but to be honest, I don't think that's going to be happening. Uh, so anyway, all in all, like, yeah, not bad. I'm going to buy it. <laughs> and now let's head on to the big one, Sonic Forces. Uh, so this one's a lot of a bigger subject, so I think it'll be a lot easier for me to start off by saying everything that I like about the game, uh, because that'll be easier to compress and I wanted to explain myself as much. Uh, so let's do that at the start, and then we'll get on to the stuff I'm a little more worried about. So from instantly, right from the get-go, when we learned of this game, instantly we knew it had a more serious story. That's great. That's brilliant. After all, I didn't even think Shadow the Hedgehog's story was even that over the top. Speaking of Shadow, I like how he's back and not just for a cameo this time. Clearly there's some sort of time travel stuff going on here, but I guess we'll just have to wait and see. We've got our characters, Sonic, Classic Sonic, and a custom character that you can create yourself. Now, we've seen modern and classic. I mean, cool, whatever. I mean, I don't really care too much about classic Sonic. There's no real reason for him to be here other than a crutch to get people to buy the game. And especially what with Mania being here, he's really unneeded. I get that Sonic Forces was in development for a long time before Mania, or at least I think so, but he didn't need to be here in the first place. Mania just makes his inclusion worse because people aren't going to be buying this game for classic Sonic when they could just get a superior classic experience with Mania. Other than that, I don't care too much. I never played classic stages and generations, but whatever, they're there. And some people really like them, so, you know, whatever. The idea for custom characters is very smart, though. If I was still 10 years old, I'd be shitting myself from excitement at the mention of that. And the graphics look good, especially the starting area of Park Avenue. Sonic's friends are returning to do more than flap their little arms and warn you about those homing shots this time. Always great. I love it when characters interact with each other during a stage. Instantly makes me three times more interested. For example, in Sonic Generations, the gameplay was fantastic, but it felt just like a game. Like it was just trying to be a game. It left me a little uninterested around the middle. I stopped at one point and picked it up later again. Uh, that's one thing with me in games. If a game has brilliant gameplay but not enough story elements which entertain me, I'll quickly grow bored. That's why I only finished Shovel Knight when I did a video on it. I still want to play Plague of Shadows and Spectre of Torment, but I just don't feel the need. Not that there's anything wrong with those games, as I said, the gameplay is just brilliant. Anyway, I love hearing characters flap their lips during a stage as long as it doesn't charm me. Oh, oh god, no! Alright, so before I talk about what I may be not so sure about in the game or something I'm on the fence about, uh, I just want to say this one thing. These things are my opinions. Wow, Radical Soda, what are these things called opinions? Oh man, they're, they're a thing that I have which you might differ in. Wow, that was, that was an awful explanation. So in the first gameplay footage we saw of Modern Sonic, everything just looked great. Uh, but then upon further inspection, I found... I don't like the wisps, never have. The only wisp I like is spikes. Everything else just feels like a power Sonic used to have in the form of a power-up. Now I get why they might be coming back, you know, with Chaos and 
Zatu? Was that Zorn? Zim, Zimnus? No, that's Kingdom Hearts. Zonk? No, that just sounds stupid. That can't... If Chaos and Zonko over here can come back, I, I guess the Wisps can too. Still no reason as to why they were in Lost World though, and I still think they're as unneeded as classic Sonic, to be honest. The Radical Soda? What about those great new gadgets? Wisps! They need the Wisps! Oh yeah, you're right. Oh, I'm sorry. There's absolutely no way we could use the gadgets without the wisps. Oh, 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 wait. Yes, we can. What? What's that? Oh, oh, who, who's that? Oh, oh, oh man, it looks like someone who's been using gadgets without wisps for a while. Uh, oh, oh, what's your name? Uh, 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 ta um, uh, to, uh, ta uh, ta Big the Cat. He's got his fishing pole. From what I've seen, Sonic himself doesn't use anything other than the white boost wisps. Which is good, because when you have Sonic, which can use all of his abilities already because you're not strapped for buttons, there's really no need to use any of them. Uh, so that's fine. The boost cord was always something which was kind of unbalanced. So I really don't mind if they're just there, so uh, you're not over-boosting. And if they're just there for the custom character, you know what, whatever. But then again, I mean, kind of unneeded. We could have just had fuel monitors or something. Unless they're there for story purposes, in which case, like... Uh, what are you, are you just trying to make Eggman more evil than he, I mean, he's killing whole cities worth of people, like, is, is that not enough? You, you gotta say, oh no, I, I, not only am I killing the whole human race, but I am also capturing these aliens and putting them in these pods. Ooh, so evil. So here's a question, why is Sonic's double jump back? If he controlled fine, he wouldn't need it in the first place. In my eyes, Sonic's a horizontal platformer. You jump from platform to platform, which is spread out in a way which you can keep your speed. Double jumping is usually reserved for the more vertical platformers. You've got your Ratchet and Clank, your Jack and Dax, the Spyro even at one point had a double jump. And in all of those games, uh, it was based on exploring and, 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 and jumping up platforms to explore up there, you know. I'd much rather have an easily controllable dash like an adventure in Heroes. With that, I knew how far I could go and I could keep up the speed. The Generations one sucked. I mean, it just had a short set spurt length and then fizzled out. Incredibly annoying to platform with. And the Colors one was too powerful with no arc. It just went straight down at an angle. Apart from that, Modern Solid looks fine. I mean, he still doesn't have a momentum-based homing attack, but yeah, whatever. I mean, I can live without it. Park Avenue looks like a good stage all in all, I like the music, Sonic's running at high speed, killing robots, grabbing rings, and 2D section. And back to the unneededness of classic Sonic, what's, we, 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 we have, we have 2D with my, I was really hoping, because the only thing they showed in the, in, the, in the reveal, the first reveal of gameplay, was just 3D Sonic, I was like, yes! Yes, that's gonna happen, but no, 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 he, he does the loop, he goes down, he runs down a slope for a minute. You get one minute of modern Sonic, proper modern Sonic, and then, and then bam, 2D plane all the way for the next 80% of the level, and that's the first level in Generations. We had, we, we had, we had a 3D, then 2D, then 3D, then 2D, then 3D again. There was a good mix between the, the two, because Generations did it right, but this is just not the fuck up, it's a 2D, and then you can, then you can go to the on the path, and it's literally just straight lines, there's no, there's no grindy rails, because there is one, but you don't get to control anything, you don't get to even jump, I'm guessing, and then there's, there's nothing to break up the gameplay, there's, there's a boring ass 2D section. I DON'T LIKE 2D SECTIONS! I don't like modern Sonic in 2D. The boost formula works so well in 3D, but in 2D you can barely see what's coming up ahead. It's just stupid. It's, it's utterly stupid. And what are these spikes doing here? They serve no purpose other than to make you just jump. What? Hello, level design anyone? Why are they here? I sound like I hate the game. I, I don't. I really, I really don't. I'm still looking immensely forward to it, more so than Sonic Mania, just because it's got a story and everything. But, but the 2D... I don't, I don't like that choice. I, it's not that I just don't like it, but I also think it's bad for gameplay. I think you could make it a really solid 3D modern Sonic boosting gameplay experience. But instead, they're opting back for the old, easily done level designs. I, I'm not outraged. I, I'm, just, I'm, I'm just disappointed. Whoa! Don't be disappointed, Rad. I'm sure you'll still like the game. Yeah, yeah, yeah I know, Sonic, but I, I mean, it's... Hey, wait a minute, you're not voiced by Jason Griffith anymore. He's caught on! Quick, let's get out of here! Pikachu is also voiced by Roger Craig Smith! Pikachu! I replay certain stages and generations because they have a lot of 3D. You got Seaside Hill, Green Hill, Chemical Plant, Rooftop Run. Those are all fun stages, but nobody likes Planet Wisp because it starts out like the Forces level. It has a good 3D section, and then all of a sudden, you're flung into 2D and it's shitting on your face. Alright, so no, it doesn't literally do that, but you, you get my point. Also, what's with the HUD? Are you censoring parts of the screen? Like, that's awful. <laughs> it looks just g genuinely terrible. I don't like that at all. Next up is Classic Sonic, and he's got the Drop Dash. 
I mean, cool, fine, I, I like the idea of the drop dash, uh, but for some reason you can use it now just whenever, compared to Mania's only able to use it after you've jumped from a higher ledge to earn your speed kind of thing. So I'm guessing they still haven't fixed Classic Sonic's rolling momentum from generations. The first level we saw with Classic Sonic is Green Hill. Again. I mean, not too big of a deal, it's an anniversary title and they needed an established level to show off how Eggman was taking over. Even though I thought they did that pretty effectively in Sonic Colors with Planet Wisp, but uh, hey, whatever, it's got sand now, so a uh, new level, I guess. It also somehow looks worse than Generations, I mean, how do they screw that up? I mean, I like the more vibrant colors in it, but, but isn't it supposed to be taken over by Eggman, which means it should have less color? Like... After all, you don't see vibrant green grass growing in the Sahara Desert. Silver, somehow here from the future and also somehow knowing Sonic. Did, did Sonic Rivals set the story for the present time, Silver? I, I've still got no idea what's going on anymore with him, as with Blaze, even though we haven't seen her yet, if, if at all. Anyway, Silver talks about a chemical plant sometime in the original character Green Hill level, and if we get Green Hill and Chemical Plant in both of these anniversary games, I'm gonna lose my shit. That will not be okay. No matter what cockamamie theme is flung behind it, that's extremely uninventive. Is this the same Sonic team that created all the creative and unique levels from the adventure games, Sonic Heroes, Shadow the Hedgehog, Sonic Unleashed, and Sonic Colors? Lost World's ideas were uninventive to say the least, <coughs> Mario. And Generations had its reasons, you know, revisiting old places from the past, etc, etc. But I thought this game wasn't supposed to be Generations 2. It's looking more and more like Generations 2 every passing day! So for the past couple days and weeks, we've been given more and more information about the new Sonic Forces and Sonic Mania. Now I thought it'd be a little fun, a little fun thing to do to uh, give my thoughts and opinions on the new game so far. What, what, sorry, you've heard this before. Oh no, 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 you see, you see I'm holding a jar of sand, it makes it an entirely new, different experience. A different experience overall, just trust me on this. Moving past all that, the music in classic Green Hill is, well, it's not Green Hill, I'll say that. It's nice to hear something new, but I don't know what exactly to think of it. I like the tune, sure, but the instruments used, or should I say virtual instruments, are kind of air grading, not the best. I'll listen to Generations tracks any day, but this is kind of weird. Well, it suits it at least. I think. The classic Green Hill boss was also shown off, that being the original Green Hill boss, but now with the saw blade. Oh, it's so inventive there. But, but as it turns out, that's just a cover! Turns out the real boss is... Uh, the egg, egg dragoon. Oh. Oh, crap. So why are they using final bosses as first bosses now? Is this going to be a recurring thing from now on? Uh, Mania did it, and I mean, a challenge is nice, but maybe something different would have been better. Then again, Eggman says something about it only being a 10% power, so we might get some sort of form change. I didn't actually see the full boss, so who knows? You know what, actually, with, with, all, the, with all the recurring themes here, I'm guessing it doesn't change, so... Eh... And lastly, let's take a look at the OC style. Firstly, I'd like to say that I really like the idea of this. You've got plenty of options in regards to racing clothing. Still don't know if you can change their actual appearance though, like ears, fur, eyes, that sort of thing. Or if everyone's OC is just gonna look the exact same with different colors and alternate clothes. But I really hope that's not the case. When I first saw gameplay for the OCs, I absolutely just hated it. I hated how it had a little pause between the grappling and swinging. I hated how you had a flamethrower that was just mowing down enemies. There's no challenge to this. There, there just isn't. You're just pressing right and holding down R2. There's just, it's, it's, it's not. It, does this look fun? I, I, I don't know. I, I really don't know anymore. Now, while my views have changed about the OC gameplay, I still would have preferred some sort of melee attack instead. Punching, jumping, give me the thunder shoot. I don't give a shit. But that's probably what the other wisp ones are for. I know the laser one, uh, not the laser one, the, 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 the lightning one, I, I think it is. I never played Sonic Lost World 3DS. I know that one's got a, got, a, got a whip of some sort, but it also slows you down, so I, I don't see why you'd use that instead of the flamethrower. That just seems like a downgrade there. Of course, I can't imagine that spikes would do anything but turn you into a rolling ball so you can smash up enemies, and Frenzy will probably do the same thing sort of slightly differently. Uh, that is, if Frenzy still exists. Uh, they all got turned back into normal wisps at the end of Sonic Colors. Then again, the wisps also left forever at the end of Sonic Colors, so, you know. Oh wait, what's that? It was an eagle was spawn. Oh, how about that? I suppose nothing is canon anymore in Sonic. Apart from this. Now this. This is canon. I didn't like the original character Park Avenue music, and to be honest, I'm still not fond of it. I'm still waiting for anything that sounds even remotely like Sonic Heroes music. You know, a strong tune that suits the level instantly. And I was just rearing to just rip into the custom character sections, just to tear into how much was wrong, until I saw the Green Hill E3 demo. So this, this looks fun. The music, while it doesn't exactly suit, is actually, I can, I can get down behind this. I'm always a sucker for like, uh, uh, multiple 
of the same voice layered on top of each other. It gives it a more epic feel, I find. Or at least from what I could hear, Aaron Weber was explaining all the delightful things you could do at the time. <laughs> because why not? Mario can have a gun, anything can happen. <laughs> it's been a crazy- I also like how you have like an objective, which is clearly just the reason why you're doing the stage. Like in the first stage, how you're trying to find Shadow. Uh, I highly doubt there'll be any actual Shadow-esque mission style gameplay here. Uh, but while the level does look kind of empty and flat at some areas, uh, that includes Park Avenue 2, by the way. We haven't actually seen everything this game has to offer, so I am keeping my hopes up. Maybe the level design might be switched a little bit. I highly doubt it. I, I bet this is kind of the final thing, but whatever. So, to recap everything. Looks like I'm doing a Yu-Gi-Oh pose. Go! White-headed, blue-eyed, seven-fingered dragon! Ugh. Mania. Still looks great. Sad they don't have more original levels, but the remixes look good, the music sounds great, and I'm looking forward to the eventual sequel. Sonic Forces. I love the story focus they're going with this time. It'll be great to see Sonic's friends actually take part in the story for once other than just yelling, You've got the power, Sonic! I'm really hoping the writing is good, with at least some funny moments, like in the Sonic Boom cartoon. Seriously, it can be really, really funny at times. Dear Zoe, day one. It's amazing how much snow there is just two minutes outside of town. The HUD looks incredibly ugly. I hope that does get changed. Uh, modern Sonic looks fun, still lifting on the double jump and the wisps, not to mention I don't think the 2D needs to be there, but other than that, it looks fine. Classic Sonic, not interested. He's not an interesting character, Generations didn't portray him as anything very interesting apart from like a happy mime. He doesn't really need to be there, especially in this more modern focused game. It would have worked perfectly without him, I find. I'm assuming he controls the same as he did in Generations with the addition of the drop dash. I just really hope they've improved the physics. And the OC characters, they look fun. I mean, interesting music style. I hope there's more interactive weapon choices down the line as well as some extra body styles, different ears, eyes, that sort of thing. I mean, right now they all look pretty goofy in my opinion. Still haven't seen Hedgehog though, so I don't know, maybe I'll go with that depending on how that looks. And that's it for my opinions, I guess. Uh, if I got anything wrong, not my opinions, mind you, I can't get opinions wrong. But if I got any facts wrong, like I said, Sonic could do something he actually, he actually can't do. Uh, then do mention it down in the comments below. I, I do read every single comment. Uh, it might not look like it because I don't obviously respond to a lot of them. In, in fact, most, <laughs> I don't respond to 99% of them. But I do read every single one, so know that when you do write a comment, I do read it. Uh, and that does influence my other videos. So, you know, just... And lastly, a big thank you to all my Patreon supporters. Uh, I couldn't do the show without you, but the money you've given me, gonna buy Sonic Mania and Sonic Forces so I can review those and get that all to you. I know uh, anyone who watches my stuff is mainly a Sonic fan, so, you know, that's gonna be the bulk of my... bulk of my... stuff. Anyway, so that's that. Uh, thank you all so much for watching, and uh, I guess I'll end this video mid -century. You all thought I was actually going to end up at Sinians, of course not, I wouldn't do that to you. No, but in all seriousness, thank Next up is another Honey Bun, Rule of Rose, a really niche horror game, and we're back to ye old cringe voice acting from yours truly. Thank goodness I stopped these. There's actually a, a few decent jokes in there, but again, my performance did not do them any favours. I referenced Mini Lad in this video, it, it was a long time ago, just... Just, I'm letting you know so you don't get flashbanged by his mug when he pops up. Welcome to Rule of Rose, Alice in Blumberland, the sequel. Whoa, looks like I passed out on a park bench here. Hey, look at this nice dog. Now, normally you shouldn't pat random strange dogs. They might attack you, but this one looks friendly enough. Oh, well, Rover, I, I, I mean, you did physically harm me, but inside, I'm, I'm in a lot of pain here. Well, might as well just go back to sleep then. <laughs> Jesus, you'd be surprised how comfortable these things are. What the? Didn't realize this was a Sonic game. <laughs> Who made this game? No, wait, Rover, don't, don't just leave me, come back! No, oh, whoa, back, back up, back up, whoa! No, wait, please, no, this is not my finish! No, stop, Parsley, Parsley! I thought Parsley was the safe word! Just, just, please. No, don't do it! Okay, whew. I, I managed to get this video back up, but as long as nothing else suggestive happens... Once upon a time, there was a precious little girl. No! Then one day, her mummy and daddy died suddenly. Excellent, I'll start this out on. No thanks, I'm out. Jennifer, Jennifer. Ah, oh, shut up, kid. I was having a great dream. About kids kissing. Ooh. <laughs> no, don't keep that in. Play with me, Jennifer. Nah. Please read the story. 
Please, get a better voice actor. What happens next? Uh, yeah, it just looks like just about nothing! Wait. Please. Uh, uh, Ten. Nine. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Where are four, you going? Three, three, oh. Oh. Two, one and three quarters. Yes! Yeah. Uh, okay. Well, we have that stupid ass kid's book. Once upon a time. Oh, no, please. Huh, not unkempt at all. Always a good sign. Get it, sign! Well, I could go down the dangerous murder path. Or I could get the hell out of here. Sayonara, shithead! Oh, what? I... Oh, I get it. I built up so much speed, I ran around the whole world. Well, I guess we've got no other choice here. My speed is just too much for this game to handle. Looks like the real horror of this game was the internal resolution. Ah! Oh no! It must be that dog from before! It sounds like he's in pain! Just like the pain he put me through. Bye, dog! Yellow, anyone home? I guess not. Pff, I don't need a stupid dog. I, this place ain't so scary. After all, you got the lovely trees, the. <laughs> Rob, my boy, we had chum, I'm coming here to save you. Where you at, my furry friend? Holy moly, is that cheese on a rope? Nope, just a ticket to hop in the magic flying fish. Magic fish. It's brown. Is, is that his name or are you just pointing it out? Duh, bro, duh. <laughs> you know what, I think I'm taking my chances with the road. Brown streak, speed by Jennifer. Her running animation kind of looks like she's snapping her fingers to a beat. If that's my dog in a sack, I swear to god I will kill a child today. Hell no, I'm not too scared. Bring it on, Kiddlywinks. I'll snap the evil living shit out of you. Skiddly bop boo ba da ba dee ba da boo ba da ba skiddly boo dee ba dee bop doo ba dee. I can see you, you know. God damn, this is why I hate kids. Y your head's poking at you, moron! <laughs> <laughs> Looks like Chubster here has been smoking a few too many cigarettes. I'm afraid 20 packs a day isn't healthy for a young growing lad. Actually, it's not too healthy for any lad. Or lad is. Is that, is that the, the name of a. Girl lad? Mini lad? Are you the chubster mini lad? Come here kid, I need to teach you the health risks of smoking the wacky tobacco. Damn it. Oh, it's a poor dog. Ah! Oh dear, I seem to be stuck inside here. <laughs> Shut the hell up, you don't know anything. I need to go to the bathroom. Ah! No, I didn't shit my pants. Oh, finally, a bathroom. I was starting to give up hope on finding one. Wouldn't like to see the state of the person who laid that one. Uh, no, 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 if you don't, you don't mind me. I, I can't go here while you're here. Can you, can you just... Never mind. Looks like I found the last person to go in the bathroom. Jesus, there's nothing left. Hey, get back here, kiddo. I'm gonna give you a whooping. Stop! Stop! I said stop, so stop, you miserable... Uh, uh, I, I didn't... Don't... Those are fucking freaky-ass kids, man. Oh, sweet! Bloody dental equipment! Boy, howdy, I sure am glad I entered this house. Wh why aren't you leaving? Get out, you silly bitch! Ah, yes. Good, good. Ah, shit, it looks like Brown got himself locked in the fridge again. For the last time, Brown, you've got to stop eating cheese a block at a time. I can't remember the last time I didn't have cheesy vomit on my floor. Is it a mop? Maybe go for that cheesy vomit. Here, let's see where old Blackbeard buried this here treasury. Rawr. Boy, these kids sure are thirsty. So that's where my potatoes went. Just look at you. You're filthy. Just look at you. You're a fucking fish. And there's a pig. Jennifer, you know you've been a bad, bad girl. And bad girls need to be punished, don't they? Is it getting kinky in here or is it just me? The rope was cut. Sneep, sneep. Oh, okay, out of reach. I, I suppose that means I'll have to grab a chair or something. Oh, here's one. No? Crates, maybe? Well, it's got a hairy sack here, but I've already got one of those, so... You are invited to the aristocrat club. Hey, what a coincidence! You're invited to jump off a fucking cliff! This looks promising. No, okay. Okay, whoa, 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 whoa. Firstly, my name is Jennifer. And secondly, 
It probably leads into a room of some sort. That's what doors do, usually. Well, how am I supposed to find a butterfly here? It's, we're in a freaking weird factory thing. It's not like I'm just gonna be seeing them flying about. This isn't gonna increase my chances of finding a butterfly, is it? Poor Amanda. Bigger, Jennifer! How dare you! I'm at least... Poor. <gasps> there, there's my butterfly! I, I gotta go catch it! No, no, Amanda, don't you fucking dare! That's mine! I, I don't re then why don't you move something over? It can't be all stapled to the ground! Look, there's a perfectly good stool right here! Oh, lordy me, it's Brown! He's not dead after all! Brownie, brownie, brie! Somebody please kill me! Now don't tell me I need the scissors. I need the scissors. Oh yeah, nothing special here apart from shit you could stand on to get the motherfucking scissors! Yes, she is a pain. Oh, a pain, am I? Well, how about you get a load of this? Not a very strong girl, am I? Amanda, you bastard, get back here! She's such a pain. What? Why does everyone think I'm a pain? And why does this ten-year-old kid have cleavage? <laughs> Oh god, no, this combines my two worst fears, airships and crying children. The only thing that could make this worse is angry mate. Filthy wretch. Ah! Hey, you're not filthy! Oh, Jesus, no, no. It... Oh, hey, look at this. Well, hold on. She stopped. Thank god, I was getting a little tired of that. Oh, no, no. Holy crap, I can steal her butterfly. I mean, this may condemn her to death if she doesn't get a butterfly within the allotted time, but hey, hey, if I don't take it, I might be the one to... the, the one... Can, can, can you just... can you just shut... Oh, oh, just fucking take it then! <laughs> you deserve to be gobbled up. Uh, no thanks. I, I don't have that fetish either. What the hell is with these kids? Oh, hey, a dessert fork. Now I can eat all that cake lying around. Oh, wait, there is a titty! But now, with this dessert fork, I have the power to... Nope, I'm just stabbing him in the ass. Fuck you, cleavage kid! Mm, well, if only I had some fucking scissors! How hard is it to move one chair?! Smoking room? Oh, hey, chopster! I guess all that heavy smoking has made you lose weight, huh? Well done! Well, I mean, aside from the lung cancer. Oh, no, it's another crying child. What kind of crazy thing will this one Oh, God, what?! Back, demon, back! I command thee! Here, yeah, take my stupid-ass butterfly. Well, I mean, it wasn't mine, but, but now it... How dare you! This is, this is a... A fine specimen! Now how the hell am I supposed to find another goddamn butterfly in this fishy-ass ship? Ah! Stranger danger! Oh, okay, it's a new book. Uh, thanks, man. Did you do the illustrations yourself? Very... Drawing... Oh, okay, now I get it. So all I had to do was find the room which controls the rope which lowers the scissors so I can untie them and not just stand in a goddamn chair! What do you mean I can't equip the rusty scissors? They're better than a fucking fork! Finally reunited with good old Brownie. Don't worry about all those broken bones, he's perfectly fine. Oh, okay, so I can send him to sniff out a scent. That's neat. Go, Brown, find those biscuits. Wow, I wish I could get that excited about a biscuit. Oh no! The maid! Now the question is, do I save her? Filthy wretch. And the answer to that is no! And that is correct for ten million dollars. I said ten million dollars, folks. This man has won the grand prize. Okay, well I'll save her, but- oh. Looks like a case of frozen dog disease. Boy, these corridors sure are confusing. <gasps> Brown, old pal! He's leading me down the right path! Good boy, good boy, Brown! I always knew I could count on you- <laughs> Fuck you, Bram! Go away. Go away. Why, are you trying to poop or something? Oh, I didn't realize there were any other Shadow the Hedgehog fans on this fish. Hey, nice to meet you, I'm... Oh. He pooped and left, didn't he? And here's the poop! <laughs> I can, of course... Or do I? Shoot, I just realized if I give Brown the butterfly scent, he can find me another one! Good boy, Brown. Yeah, follow that scent! He he's leading me down to the same door again, isn't he? Brown... Son of a bitch. My eyes can't find the key, you say? Well, good thing I have a dog which would lead me right to it! Ha ha! Let's do it, Brown! Nobody can stop us now! The dangerous duo! The crazy crew of two! The goddammit, Brown! <gasps> Amanda! And you've got my butterfly! Well, I'll show you! I'll show you! I'll Brown, Brown, I appreciate your efforts, but I, I don't think you're gonna be breaking down that door anytime soon. Come on, Brown! Let's double team this bitch! What the fuck, Amanda? Are you even human? You're obscenely creepy, you know that? Hey, wait! I need that butterfly! Come back! 
Amanda, you come back here right now, young lady. This isn't the fucking Amanda show, you know. Show some motherfucking decency. Damn it, where did she go? <gasps> I got it. I'll use the scent of the biscuits to find her. You know, because she's fat. And here we are. Well done, Brown. You found her. Now, where's my butterfly? Oh. Well, uh, this is a little bit awkward. Wait, wait, so, sorry, the, this fork? Oh, uh, no, 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 I ain't doing nothing with this fork. Oh, uh, no, no, just nothing, just aesthetic purposes. <gasps> bacon, just smell like bacon! Let's go, Brown, we can't fail! Brown. I keep forgetting how cute this girl is, man. She must have, like, the prettiest voice in existence. There's no joke here, I, I just... I think I found my waifu. What? what? How was this hidden? A whole film?! Clear the fucking halls! I'm about to watch the motherfucking shark tail up in this bitch! I'm starting to suspect I may have gone about this wrong. What if Amanda had something in her room I could use to track her? Like a butterfly case. Good god damn it, son of a- Okay! Guess who's back? Tell a friend. Brown, have a sniff of this and let's find us that butterfly. Holy moly, look at all these butterflies. The, wow, they, they're all going so crazy, man. They're, they're breeding faster than- then, uh, uh, no, no way, no way, come back! They're breeding faster than, uh, uh um, uh, they're breeding, uh, uh, Brown, would you just shut up? I'm trying to think here! Oh, 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 that actually scared me. Oh, God, no, anything but cleaning! Back, foul beasts! I have a fork and I'm not afraid to use it! Ah, ah! There's nothing more cool than being hugged by someone you like. You know what? I have the feeling I should be running, so you know what? That's what I'm gonna do. Oh my! But if someone tries to touch you in a place or in a way that makes you feel uncomfortable... Can I just get to the box, please? I gotta hand in my brand new blue butterfly! Stop screaming! Oh, oh Jesus! That one's a red man! So, pass? Haha! <laughs> I passed! It's just like high school all over again. I was always the cool kid. I'm sure you can all imagine I didn't get beat up at all. Ah, no, don't tell me that cleavage kid is running the whole thing. God damn it, I'll take anyone else. You there, hand eater. You wanna give it a crack? Your gift is worth <laughs> nothing. Of course it's worth nothing. It's a fucking butterfly. Amanda, don't you, don't you dare. Get, get that rat on a stick away from me. I mean it. You back away right now, Miss Here. I'm gonna say something to you I should have said a long time ago. <laughs> That's no good. Up next is my Sonic Riders No Boost Challenge, Honey Bun. Yeah, honestly, they should have been what Honey Buns were. No scripted shit, just a cut up playthrough with a twist. My commentary isn't stellar here, it, it still isn't nowadays to be honest. Not much to say about this one, uh, just please enjoy the Radical Soda tips and tricks. Hello everybody, uh, welcome to a slightly different episode of Radical Soda with a, with a bit of honey mixed in there. Uh, basically, what's gonna be happening here is I'm trying out a little bit of a I'm trying out a little bit of a different thing here. Not that it's gonna be staying, mind you. Uh, but basically this time I'm just gonna be doing a full live commentary thing. Usually I record all the gameplay, write down the notes, and then do the uh, recording of the voice after. Sorry to break the magic, uh, but there's basically gonna be people doing work on the house uh, for the next week or so. Uh, it's for an undetermined amount, of, undetermined amount of time. So. I thought I'd just make this just in case I don't get enough time to create the videos I want to in the time I can. So basically this will come out and it's going to be great because it's going to be a no boost challenge of Sonic Riders. I do have a Crash uh, 3 video lined up. There's notes and everything written for that. I know exactly how that's going to go. But I thought I'd do something safe. Uh, keep it in the Sonic region so everyone knows exactly, uh, you know, Sonic just tails getting murdered. Uh, that's great. The game starts out beautifully. This is a beautiful animated intro, I gotta say. Uh, probably the most exciting thing about this game. The, the style was the thing that caught my eye the most. I always found it really weird. This intro finishes and then and then it's got just just no music on the title screen. Just just none. Just nothing. The then press start and it's just just everything about this game. It was a 15th anniversary game, I think. So there was so much just revolving around this game in my life. Uh, one one of my friends had it and I was just like instantly it's just like I gotta get this guy. I got I, I gotta play it I, I can't all right let's uh, start with heroes then shall we there. What's that? I always thought the characters look kind of weird in this they look kind of dead-eyed and creepy I mean look at did you see Tails's mouth he's like oh all right. now we're yeah Sonic the black and Sonic's eyes aren't black enough and it's kind of like a gradient that, that moves into the green it's kind of creepy to be honest 
And Knuckles is punching the air for a good three seconds before Storm hits there. And Tails has a has a magic moment with the board. Ooh, I really like the uh, textures all over these characters. The, you can see it on the gloves, you can see it on the uh, on the heads, etc, etc. Jet obviously doesn't look like he actually has feathers, but he's, he's got the same kind of... <laughs> he's got the same sort of detail as Sonic, but... Oh, wrong voice. It, it was the same guy. Uh, who was it? Jason Griffith? Yeah, it's a bit of a jump from between the voices, like, whoa, not bad. And then all of a sudden it's, you're supposed to be the fastest thing alive! <laughs> yeah, it's a, bit, it's a bit of a jump in quality, but yeah, they must have got the lines mixed up or something. And then, in-game cutscene, oh, that's a... This game has got more expression than Sonic 06, than a lot of Sonic games, actually. Well, Eggman's animations are kind of janky, but... Not just a race. And that's what a race usually consists of. Not just a race, but a special race to see who's the fastest! That's just my Jet the Hog voice! Eggman again! Just what is he up to this time? Oh no! Eggman's trying to get all the Chaos Emeralds! Whatever could he be up to? I mean, apart from everything he already is up to. Oh, let's not forget to show the contestants, cause... <laughs> the X-World Grand Prix, huh? <laughs> Let's do this! It's such a stupid premise, but... Oh, finish within the top three. Alright, so I gotta remember, I'm... Oh, my buttons are gonna be super clicky. I have one of those controllers, like, it's like an Xbox controller, because I am playing this on an emulator. I have this game for PS2. As with all the other games, I've been playing, I either rent it or I borrow it from a friend before I record it. Let's, uh... Oh! I don't think I did that right. Oh, unbelievable! Whoa, okay! I did a little bit better than I thought I was gonna do. Sometimes I get it, I can get it at zero, 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 but most of the time, uh, it's, it... Oh, what? That's the hundred rings right there, I missed out on that, that's, that's good. Boosting, essentially, I, I don't... Oh, I'll, I'll show you a little video of someone boosting so you actually know what boosting looks like before I don't do it at all. Basically what it does is you can hit people... Basically the only way I'm able to boost is by drift boosting. Which is not real, I didn't have enough speed to get up there. But basically, this is drift boosting. You just have to drift. Oh, that one's a boost! He boosted onto me, and I lost my rings, which means I leveled down! This is gonna be really hard to tell you guys everything while I'm actually playing. I haven't played this game in many, many years. Basically, you hold down forward or backwards when you go over a trick ramp in order to uh, grab as many uh, heights as you can. There we go, did it! See, if I was boosting now, I'd have like a, like a sick spin dash kind of boost. Oh my god, I'm I'm awful at this game. Uh, if I can grind here, if I can get enough speed here... Oh, there we go. Oh, I just kind of bumped him out of the way. Oh no! Alright! Time for this man! Get! Get! I'm trying to explain all the game's mechanics whilst also playing, which is not a good idea. I got an S rank there. Wow, everyone's real close behind me, if you can see them on the map. And also on that little thing down below. Oh, that wasn't very good. And you gotta charge up for a jump, basically. That was a sick combination! Oh! And I think that's it. I think I won, unless that guy right behind me boosts. And that's it! That, that's the no boost challenge, essentially, right there. It'll get harder and harder, or it'll stay exactly the same difficulty. Uh, this track doesn't have many corners, so it's harder for me to get a lot of speed. Uh, colorful cast of characters here, as you, as you can plainly see. Yeah, but what exactly is Eggman really after? I don't know! What? They're walking into the bridge! <laughs> <laughs> they walked right into the bridge! That mark. that mark! I hate this Tails voice. I'm sorry. I mean, uh, the, the lady behind it, I can't remember what her name was. I know Kate Higgins' voice is the, the Tails now, but this Tails sounded too much like a girl for me to be uh, very happy with it. Then again, I liked the Sonic Heroes' Tail voice, so, you know. Ha <laughs> ah, Knuckles is getting confused by stuff. Man, she can't have any... Hard, hard, uh, bad intentions of, of doing this. Oh look, now there's a little, there's a little red bit on the bottom. Ooh, what could that mean? Apart from she planted an explosive and it's very obvious. I have styrofoam on the back of my- Ah! No, that's not gonna sound good! Oh god! It's gonna be a little bit easier this time because, uh, the, the way Tails works is a flight character. Like, Sonic could grind, Tails can fly, Knuckles can punch through things. Uh, to be honest, I prefer the punching in this level, but... Uh, flying is excellent in, the, in this one as well. Oh, I think I went a little bit too. Oh, no, I should have just kept it held down. I let go for a little bit. Uh, electricity shield. You get all the... Uh, oh, speed is also good for this level, apparently. No, I missed.
this thing. Let's get on that. Yeah, boy. Eh, you just gotta speed through. And actually, the faster you go, the faster, like, the faster you spin it, the faster you move. As you can see, the speed in the bottom right there was actually increasing. Uh, all right, let's give it a fly here. Well, I got to the top, but I got a fucking C! A C! A fucking C! I don't even know. Oh, there's a flight thing through there. I didn't even. I couldn't even remember that. Oh, God. I don't know whether I'm gonna get within the top three, especially after that friggin' C. Oh, I, I, I brought this challenge upon myself. You can press L1 or R1 to, to drift. It's not. Uh, let me go! The pit stop. Uh, you can press uh, L1 or R1. I usually press R1 for the right corners and L1 for the left corners. Oh, also if you press them at the same time, I think you you put a tornado behind you. I think that's, I think that was a mechanic, but it was so bad no one ever used it. Oh, get it? Looks like Tails just went through rings because he is flying. Yeah, this is my third lap. I don't know whether I can do this. Okay, if I can get on the uh, rainbow, maybe I'll be able to beat at least one of them. Nah, nah, nah. That's not gonna work. Ah! All right, you bitches, you sons of robots. Let's get that unbelievable. Oh no, I ran too long. There we go, double A. And then also there's the X rank. I, I, I don't know what. How these guys get ahead of me? I think all of these guys are power classes, so they can take the best shortcut, which is literally just going right through the wall. Because, because as I said, they can punch things. Again, this is like Sonic Heroes. You got, you got the speed, you got the flight, and you got the, the power. Which, which is a cool thing that Heroes did. They introduced the, the power, flight, and speed. Because uh, a lot of other game, uh, a lot of other, the, the other Sonic games didn't have that. They had the differences between characters, but they never had like. Uh, much of an extreme difference and while that's uh, better for, for 2d Sonic games for 3d Sonic games it, it's nice to have like some sort of variety between characters which isn't just an alternate skin although at this point I would prefer that instead of getting friggin classic Sonic again uh, I, I forgot to say this uh, again I, I don't the reason why I don't just say radical soda let's plays on these things and I because they used to be speedruns the whole time all joke speedruns you know what I mean the reason why I'm not just gonna be calling them let's plays or anything is because Lots of people do Let's Plays, right? And I, I don't just want it to be different. That's not that's not the point. Uh, I should have said that just this right at the beginning. But <laughs> we're, we're midway through now. Might as well just friggin' go for it, right? So a lot of people do Let's Plays. A lot of people do that kind of stuff. I, I messed up there. I don't want these to be that. Let's Plays are, uh, for lack of a better word, they're easy. They're easy to do. You, you, you record... You might edit out some boring parts, but in these kind of things, I, I put a lot of work into them. I, I write a script, I, I do multiple takes of every line. I uh, I, I spend a good couple hours, uh, like for example, the the rhyme of rose, rule of rose. God, I can't remember the name, but the rule of rose video that took me took me a long time. It took me at least a, a week to write and record. Uh, I, I have to go. I go through all the gameplay again after I wrote, wrote my notes. I sometimes do audio notes or written notes, depending on what the game is. If it's a longer game like Rule of Rose, I'll do written notes. If it's a game like Crash Bandicoot or Sonic, I oh no, not Sonic, uh, or Pokemon or something that involves a lot of reactions, I'll usually record it. Like like the Sonic horror games, uh, that was recorded because I I had a lot of. Oh, I came first. What do you know? <laughs> that was just that was just kind of just in my in my head. That was in the back of my head. I did better when I wasn't even concentrating. Because they, they, the Pokemon one was evolving a lot of reactions because it was crazy, different randomized things. Wow, that is that does not look good. That is kind of jarring. Okay, there we go. I, I guess that was just a heat effect. Um, <laughs> this this cutscene is actually kind of funny just because how janky it is. But uh, again, I, these aren't just Let's Plays. This, I guess, on, the, on one hand, is a kind of a Let's Play. But I am going to be cutting down a lot of the a lot of the stuff. Maybe not in the first couple levels because I got a lot to say but maybe in the later ones when I've got less to say and explain I'll be cutting it down more into more reaction parts and stuff the track, then. We'll settle this there. no we really won't settle this there because knuckles you can't boost therefore you can't punch now we're getting into the rough stuff we're getting into the the, 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 the cream of the crop because I'm actually in a race with another character now it's not just me and seven robots I did it wrong again. Everyone runs the same speed. Whoa! How was that an excellent? I got zero, zero, zero! I guess I didn't, like, run far. Oh, I was trying to avoid the robots, but I don't actually have to. I forgot about that. All right, Storm, you bitch. You're down the bottom path. Seeing as I'm the power, I can get some extra air from punching things. I don't know if I get any speed. I don't think so. There's also a hundred ring thing there, but I missed it. I took the long way. There's a shorter way around there, but... What if it's still coming third? 
I was coming first. Oh, I want to boost so bad. When you do a trick on... I failed to land correct. I got a B. That's still a pass. I hate our games, like Sonic games especially. Uh, if you get a C, it counts as like a, like a, you did bad, but you still passed. Like, I mean, I guess it makes sense. Like in Sonic, oh, come on. In Sonic, ah. Uh, Gee, thanks, dude. I need to finish in first. Uh, it's because I can't think. I can't think right now. Everyone here is a power character, I just realized. But no one's taking the shortcut apart from me. Well, I, I took the shortcut, I guess you could say. No, I don't want to go down this path. Oh, well, whatever. It storms down this path, too, so. What was I talking about again? This game is so, like, fast and just furious. I can't even remember what I was talking about. Oh, I beat my lap time that time by two seconds. Neat. All right, then. That's that. Did I, did I beat my time? That's the question. Sure did. Whoa, by, by a lot of seconds. I got less than a minute on that one. And I was still only level one. Wow. Uh, you can tell what level you are by the by the color uh, behind you. Green is level one. I think uh, blue is level three. I think red is level two. Also, if you notice the ring count at the top right, that's how you buy items. So you basically have to end up with 100 rings when you finish the race to get as much as you can. And if you do like a Grand Prix and you get first and everything, you'll get a gold medal and then you'll uh, get 500 rings. So you can essentially double your ring count, but again, it takes a lot of grinding to get every board. And a lot of them are shit. Just a lot of them are just utter crap. That's cool, Sonic! When did you learn <laughs> Not, that's cool, Sonic. That's cool, Sonic! I really hope they didn't break the microphone. Not very impressive for you or someone of your reputation. It's not like you just picked up this thing like four minutes ago. I mean, I'm the best because I've been doing it my whole life, but because you're not so... Wow, I always thought that tree was kind of taller back in the day, but... To be the fastest on the gear, you have to become one with the wind. Without wings, well, oh my God. you might as well kiss the ground and go home. Wow, he just sounds like Sonic with a slight... Oh my goodness, I never realized how much that voice sounds just like the Sonic's voice. That, that one really got to me. Who does he think he is? I don't know, Knuckles. Let's just go and do this race, because if we don't do the race, I'll die. Tails is sad that Sonic's gonna die. I'm sorry, Sonic, but I don't think I can do this race, because I'm really sad. Tails, that's okay. Even if I am gonna die, I don't care. But I do, Sonic, because I'm a pussy. Don't worry, I'll unlock the secret of the extreme gears for us. Wow, this voice acting is terrible. Sounds like, yeah, okay, Tails, you and your square nose. I don't know how long this video is gonna be. I got the feeling it's gonna be a, a, a long one because I can't, there's a lot of stuff I can't skip. In fact, maybe this is something I'm gonna skip, who knows? I'll do my best, woohoo! I'm gonna hit it, aren't I? Yeah, oh, I'm not a speed character, goddammit. Give me on that turbulence. Oh, that turbulence didn't last very long, did it? Oh, everything's for knuckles. If, if you don't, if you don't move your, wow, what was Tails' head doing there? Oh, no, I'm Tails. Let me try to do the tornado thing right here. Yeah, that, so that's the tornado thing. That'll that'll uh, hold up people as they as they run into it. I'm not sure if you can actually tell when someone's hit it on the minimap like you can in Mario, because they always had the um, they always had the little spin out animation in your character go, yeah, I did it! And in this game, there's not that many items which influence other players. There's the air, there's the rings, which all just influence yourself. Uh, which I like, because it's less of a... Because this game is definitely faster and harder to catch up, especially if you do get uh, stuck behind, if there's someone uh, better than you. If you're in the back, you don't get any advantage, I'm pretty sure. Because uh, this isn't a party game, this is an extreme Sonic racing game. So I think the only item which influences other players is a giant rolling bomb that sometimes happens when you grab when you grab a, 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 a one of these things. See look at that, speed up. I forgot about speed up. Okay, I, I'm just gonna have to just gonna have to <laughs> try and live here. I'd rather not fall off and lose all my rings. Oh, there's a. I didn't even realize there was a 100 wi 100 wings there. Do it, do it, 100 wings. And that's first. That, that was pretty easy. I gotta be honest. Wow, wave was a whole like. 30 seconds after me. That's pathetic. Now here's the final stage, guys. Wow, that that is that is that is not a great effect. That is because I, I'm probably upscaling this. Uh, this thing's upscaled by like four. So it, it, the real resolution. What 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 is Tails's what is Tails's eyes doing? What did you? <laughs> I'm just 
discovering all this? Mmm, I'm gonna kill you. Oh! Don't forget to put your Chaos Emeralds up on the pillar because Eggman's not gonna do anything bad with them. Don't worry, it's just a thing hosted by Eggman who's trying to take all your Chaos Emeralds because, you know... So anything goes. So even when uh, Wave cheats and does put uh, the bomb on Tails' board, anything goes. You could kill another player and it'd be like, yeah, anything goes, because I'm Eggman and I don't care because now I have the Chaos Emeralds. You're lucky you got this far. It obviously wasn't due to your skills. <laughs> I won't lose now. What was with the gap in between your and skills? It obviously wasn't due to your... Skills? Let's go, Sonic. Let's do it. I'm gonna run into the barrier, aren't I? Negative zero. You know, I'm just gonna retry that one. You know. Uh, no, that was that was too late. No, nah, I'm just gonna get it. No, no. You get unlimited retry, so I don't even know why they did this mechanic apart from for in two player. No, that's not gonna be good. If your character slides, you know you screwed up. I do like the starting idea though. It rewards players for being risky. All right, let's go. Also, drifting does take down a lot of your air, so you gotta be worried about that. Not as much as boosting, obviously, but... Wow, re really? Alright, here we go. Here you can finally see a proper grind. There we are. And because somebody would have already triggered that... Oh, I have to go backwards, apparently, not forwards. And I just jumped off that. I didn't use the proper trick system. Cool! I'm wondering whether I'll have to retry. You know what? I can do it. I can do it. I can beat this. I can do it. You know what? I believe in myself. Backwards! Oh, somebody took the 100 rings? That's where it's supposed to be. I guess somebody got it. I think I might be able to catch up, though. Maybe. I don't know whether the story mode uh, makes the AI slow down, but I've had times... Oh, Knuckles. Thank you, Knuckles. Spe <laughs> easy for me now. Because Knuckles can break through the ground there. Oh, that's where the 100 rings are. Why did I think it was the other place? No, don't you dare! No, oh, no, fuck you, Knuckles! Unlike you, I am not chuckling at this. Oh, no, I keep messing this up. God, this corridor sucks! At least let me beat Knuckles. It... All right. Oh, I think this might be the one. No, nope. all right. All right, I'm a lot further than I was last time, so hopefully, no, Knuckles isn't there, so I can't follow up Knuckles' trail. Hopefully someone has turbulence here, and hopefully they don't use a tornado. Here we are, here's some turbulence. Let's go, and usually if I can boost, I can catch up, but I can't boost because I can fucking use it! Ow, he failed to land! Can you just fucking move, Sonic? Oh, I got a boost to speed, just when I needed it. Just when I needed it. Just when, just when we'd all go perfectly still. Yes, 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 good so far, yes! Perfect, well done, Knuckle- Ow. I actually think not going around this is faster. Wow, that just- no, I boosted. Oh god. You know, I'm just gonna take the regular path this time. I'm just gonna see if I can get a bit of extra speed by drifting. Please speed up. No, not air. I have full air. I'm not boosting game. Can't you tell? What? Come on. I didn't even choose to do a trick there. I didn't even- No! Come no, not air. I have full air. I need rings. Also, Knuckles can break through one of those, but he's not doing it. So it's not like I can take advantage of it. Oh, I, I just want to go fast! Come on! Yeah. Wow, I, I was half a millisecond too late. But Jet's not even gonna win! Why, why do I need to come first? Why can't just Knuckles or Tails come first? Because then we get all the emeralds anyway. Right? Jet, don't you fucking dare, dude. I didn't get him. I missed him. You know, if I can't come first, I'll just have to fuck up Jet. <laughs> there we go. I'm sure I hit him with that. See, how'd I fail that? No, 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 Tails or Knuckles came first. I don't get it. Oh, it's because it's the story. You gotta do it for the fucking story, don't you? No! I just gotta not screw up at all. I gotta find out the fastest way. I gotta find out the fastest way to do this. That'll do. You know what? That'll do. That'll do. That'll do it. I just gotta keep drift boosting. We're grabbing some air. Okay, didn't grab any air there. Also, whacked into a giant pole. Thankfully, didn't slow me down too much. Hopefully, don't fall off. Thank you, game. Uh, okay, level two, level two. That's looking good. Okay, still coming first. You know what? This might just be... That might just be faster. I think that's faster. I'm going to be doing that from now on. Tails, don't you fucking... If I can comfortably stay here and just put down a tornado or two, if it hits multiple people, might be able to do this. If I put one down right as I land... They... Yep, yeah, Tails definitely got hit. Did Jet get hit, though? Yes! Okay, so multiple people get hit by tornadoes. I learned that today. 
I'm running out of air. All right, this is lap two out of three. I'll just put another tornado down when I land. I don't know how much air it gets rid of. I think it gets rid of like quite a bit though. All right, tornado, because everyone lands there. Everyone lands there. You can take it. You can take advantage of that. The pro strips, Sonic Riders, tips and tricks with Radical Soda. Episode one, put a tornado down where everyone will land. It's a cheap tactic, but will definitely get you in the lead. All right, all right, all right. Here we go, we go. Sonic, Sonic Riders, tips and tricks, episode two. Uh, uh, use this. Ah, no, don't use it like that. Just go forward. The, the board automatically accelerates, so I can't do anything to, like, increase its speed or anything. No jet, no jet, no. If I can just make it to the arrow. Oh, my God, I did it. I came first. Oh, oh, I'm still going to land far back, though. I am going to land far back, though. Yeah, 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 because that's the way the story progresses. All right, I did it. Whoo, okay. Oh. You ever notice how big that spike on Sonic's back is? It's because while they made his body so much smaller and his legs so much longer, they increased every other thing. So his hands are gigantic, his feet are huge. Oh my goodness. There we go. Boom. His board is just gone. It's obliterated. I did it! And I didn't even cheat! I mean, yeah! Ah, the dirt suits you so well. <laughs> Sonic's pissed. Like, he knows he was cheated. Unless they think that... Unless they, they never actually address whether they think that it was Tails' invention which blew up, or whether it was them that did it. Jet looks so much different here. See, look at that face! Ah, oh, Isn't that cool? It's a new gear I prepped up just in case something like this happened. Why didn't you, why didn't you just give it to me? Because this board is a lot better. This board's so much better. I, uh, why can't Sonic just, he's faster than the boards. I, I don't get it. There's no reason for him to be using it anymore because he's not in the race. Wait, if anything goes and it's just a hoverboard race, and the only rule is that you need a hoverboard, you can't catch up with why can't he just hold it and run? I mean, you can in the game, but he's not fast enough to do that. So, I don't know. They should have made it like a better story around this, like, Sonic's legs were glued to the board. <laughs> that would have been a good... Oh, no! My legs are glued to this board. Well, better race. So, weirdly enough, we're meant to be catching up to Eggman, but he's just on a... Yeah, whatever. I don't really care. The, this... Whoops. The music is cool on this level, though. I, I gotta say, this is one of the most strong, um, level themes. I'll make it! Oh, I missed it! Well, Sonic seems happy. A oh, break! Oh, shit. I gotta say, though... What? Alright, come on, let's go. Let's go. Oh, oh! Yeah, there we go. When you see the little rainbow icons, it means you can get up onto the top level, which is nice. Because who doesn't want to go on the top level? All right, you, you're, you're coming back here. And I need more rings, because at the moment I'm still level one. Oh, I, I almost, uh, he was like, eh, should I do a trick? Nah. Wait, whoa, 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 what? He's speed? No, no, they're not speed, they're all power. That doesn't make sense. Maybe they're using a board which can be used to... Sp no, that doesn't make sense either. As some of them power and some of them speed? Because when you pick him as a character, when you unlock that dude, that robot dude... Oh, maybe that was Jet. Maybe I messed up. Maybe that was Jet. All right, I can get 100 rings this time. Uh, or I could fall off. You know, that's fine too. Whatever. That's just Jet there on the third lap where I could have just... I probably could have just gone the, the easy way. Go! Please speed up! Please speed up! Please speed up! Please speed up! Please! Please! Oh, thank God. Did Jet fall off? I wasn't looking at the map there. I still, I still did better on that last lap, though. Wait, whoa, 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 what? Jet came last? By a whole, like, 30 se He was, like, more than a minute out. He was right next to me, wasn't he? Wow, Jet, for the fastest thing on a board, you sure do lose to a bunch of robots. And a guy who's been using one for like five minutes. I can still fly. Yeah. Right? No. And this is only halfway through the game. I have Amy. I think Peter Netta put it the best when uh, when he's like, Eggman, don't touch me. I've got Amy. Yeah. Well, well, I have Amy. So, well, I have her. What's he gonna do? Chuck her? Like, like, <laughs> there's nothing he can do to her. He can probably bop her on the head a couple times, but he's a weak-ass scientist guy. What, what's the deal? 
he could have sidestepped. Uh, he could have done anything. <laughs> I like how he catches the, the Babylon freaking cube instead of Amy, who just lands somewhere. Amy? How could you dive into Eggman knowing I was there? Because he had her! Look at that expressions. I mean, the voices suck in this game. Like, you want you want good Sonic voices from these characters? It, just, just look at uh, 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 well, what's it good? Sonic Unleashed. Uh, I don't even think Knuckles is in that one. Did Knuckles' voice stay the same for after this? Are these the? I think so. Is this the same Knuckles voice actor as the uh, as the one we have currently? I can't remember. And there we go, Sonic Riders, we're halfway through, so if you enjoyed the video, uh, keep watching. Yeah, I'm Sonic! And we unlock all these extra characters. See, this was what was so cool. You unlock so much shit when you, when you beat the hero story. I didn't even realize there was a Babylon story until I beat the hero story. Like, I didn't even think that it would be a thing, because the idea of the villains, right? But I'm just going to show you guys real quick. Uh, let's just go to Metal City, whatever. Look, this shadow! And Rouge, who has a different costume, actually. I just want to show you off Shadow first, because he's got the darkness. Ooh, so edgy. Witness my true power. This is my true power. Oh, what what is that he's holding? Shadow's always awkward with to um to boost with, because he's so stiff. Oh well, that, that, that's what I want to show you there. Hey, boss! You've got some major trouble! <laughs> <laughs> this group is so stupid, dude. One of my favorite characters is Jet the Hawk, not because of his actual character. I, I don't, I don't like the actual character much, but his animations, uh, the voices that like, that come out of my mouth whenever I think of him. And I'm, like, I'm Jet the Hawk! Wow! Just, just so many great memes could be made from Jet the Hawk, but he, he seems to be one of the lesser, lesser appreciated Sonic characters. Wow, he does not look in place. He looks like a friggin' giant. What do you want? Enough! I'm guessing this is an alternate dimension, Sonic, because there's no, there's absolutely no way that this is part of the canon of Sonic the Hedgehog. Especially what with Jet and all the other characters never returning. Although for some reason, wasn't Jet in one of the uh, Mario and Sonic of the Olympic games? Maybe that was just because they were running out of characters, though. This is just an alternate version of the first track, but this takes place during the first cutscene. Whoa, I did it! I did it! The unbelievable! The zero second unbelievable! I'm so great! No, I need... Alright, I'm just gonna... I did it again! Unbelievable, but not the zero, 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 unfortunately. Alright, I think the way I meant to go is to the right. Wait, why would you bump into me and then go right? It looked like you were going to the left, so it's like, oh, well, alright, then I guess he's going to... But then he just BM'd and went to the friggin' right! That's not cool, and I can't even do the, the fucking... I'm pissed. I'm retrying. Nah, screw it, dude. And where's Tails and Knuckles? Didn't they? Oh, they didn't have boards at this point. You can't have them just running behind, like like two laps behind everyone. Wouldn't that be great? They don't even change the music. Wait, they don't even change it. Wow, wow, wow. Okay, gee, way to give your car way to give your player some sort of a uh, chance there. Oh, oh, thank you, Storm. Oh, thank God. Wow, I can't even. I can't even. These. Fucking cars! No, I don't want to go over the gr No, I don't want that! I gotta show Sonic what I'm made of! Simple kid! Let me show you just what I'm made of! Hey, if, if my team really wants me to come first, why can't they just... Wait, 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 wait! Sonic, you piece of shit! That's some boosting right there. Fuck you, Sonic. I got him, and I also got Storm. Sorry about that, mate. This is a race to the world to end all races. This is a special race. To see who's the fastest. Sonic, don't you fucking dare! Please don't take the shortcut, Sonic! Yeah, I did it! Fuck you, Sonic. Customized it myself. Wait, so he customized it? He didn't actually build it? I thought he built it. Oh no, we get to see when that happened. I'm just gonna skip this. You know, I, I don't even care. I'm guessing this took place after Tails' race, uh, because you'll see why. It's Red Canyon now! Woo! It looks entirely different. But there are some really cool bits here. Where did Amy get her board? Did she get it from Tails? Did she buy it? That is not good. Oh my god, I did it. Oh my goodness, I'm the best. Woo! That was awful. I did the stale fish. <laughs> the fucking stale fish, you guys. Oh, thank god. He was about to hit me. If that animation would have gone off, I would have lost all my rings. Woo! Why is it in the easiest place to get? 
Wow, okay. No, I want to go left. That's a Knuckles place. I don't know why I didn't call it a power place, it's just a, that's just for Knuckles. There's not that many alternate characters apart from Cream, Rouge, and Shadow, which actually makes sense, because there's Oolala, the monkey guy, and I think it's Opa, no, not Opa, 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 Opa's a board. Uh, uh-oh. This is what you don't want to happen. Who else is there? There's one other person, Knights, that's a, that's a Sega character. I hadn't even heard of those characters, apart from the Super Monkey Ball guy, until this game. What the? That wasn't... I'm gonna lose. Because of that stupid flight. Yeah, Amy's already almost won. Alright, you know. Oh, I mean to go down here. That's it. That's it. This speeds me up. Amy, you are good at this. For someone who just literally picked up a board for the first time, she is extremely good. And she's also gonna boost here, isn't she? She's a speed character, by the way. How do I make this video funny? By messing up. But to be honest, I don't mess up much because this is a Sonic game. Or a Sonic racing game. I'm not, I'm not good at regular Sonic games, as you might be able to tell, but I am good at this game. I am a little bit good at this game. This video would be incredibly boring if I could boost. Amy would not be right behind me. Amy would be... I would be overlapping Amy. I unlocked every board. I was like, I wonder if I can just do without boosting. And I, and I could. The, the, the next step in this would be to just do it completely running, I think. But I don't think there's a way to always be out of air, because if you do a trick, you'll at least get a little bit of air. Sorry! In the race. They just reused that animation. Man, you really are worthless. Did they reuse that animation? Can I play those side by side and just show everyone how reused those are? Even the same shot is reused. Accept it, buddy. It's not the board. Your skills just suck. What? Suck? Yes. S U C K suck. This is prime meme material right here. If you didn't know about this before, s -s 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 suck. And, and, and Jason Griffith doesn't. Even, Jason Griffith doesn't even voice Jet anymore, or does he? Wait a minute. When was Free Riders made? To be honest, I think Roger Craig Smith could do a really good Jet the Hawk voice. I wonder if he's tried. I want to hear that now, because I think because Shadow had his new voice in Free Riders, so that must have meant Sonic also did. Oh God. So, who voiced Jet the Hawk? That was awful. <laughs> I moved around so much in that. Oh, this is just the Egg Factory with a coat of ice. Like, it's, 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 it's not very inventive. I mean, there are a couple of extra parts. Like, for example, we go left here instead of right, but, you know, whatever. But, uh, wow, level three already. I'm not even halfway through the friggin'. If you look at the mini-map. Oh, all right, all right, that's, that's cool. I didn't even need the 100 rings. I don't know why I went for it. So why exa- Thanks, robot. Now I've got one ring. If I get hit with zero rings, do I do I just straight up die? No, no, that can't be the case. I did the strong. You guys know that's a strong move, right? If you look at that mini-map again, I, I didn't finish off my thought. That is not an informative mini-map. I have no idea what's happening there. See, these things, you, you can't break through the giant egg things. So you don't... Wait, are those things speed? So are the red ones power? I guess the red ones are power. Oh, there's power! Son of a bitch. 100 rings, yeah boy, there we go. Now I'm faster a little bit, kind of, maybe. Yes, I know. Those things are, so oh, that's where you come out. I see now, but I'm on the third lap, so it doesn't really matter at this point. Go! Oh, I get, oh! <laughs> Holy shit! Oh my goodness! Hold oh, that was Whoa! Whoa! Holy crap! Huh? <laughs> they gave him no direction! I can tell! His voice is fine, but they're like, uh Jet says, hmm. So I guess uh Jason Griffith was like, oh okay, so I guess he's checking out something he doesn't know of yet. So he goes, hmm? But no, he's just meant to go, huh? Like he's sleeping, he, he wouldn't go, hmm? And there's, there's the hilarious joke that women talk. I actually don't think it was intended like that. I, uh, I'm pretty sure it was just intended because she's a, she's a gearhead. She's a mechanic like Tails, but she's bossy as balls. So might as well just, you know, sneak off. Oh, and now I have to play as Wave again. Forget Jet, just gotta play as Wave again. Wait, actually that happens in, no, no. No, yes. 
It happens in every single one. Now this, this is probably the best remix of a previous level. Oh, I am playing as Jet. Oh, okay. I didn't expect that actually. This is the best remix of a level uh, in the game, I would say. Apart from the night, the next level is also pretty good. But this one, this one really just nails the remix aspect. This isn't Sonic music. This is just weird ass music. Also, Jet's not racing against anyone, but I mean, Tails did, he raced Wave. Wait a minute, everyone only had to race one character essentially. No, Jet didn't even have to race anyone. He only had to race Sonic in the final race. It's telling me to boost in the top left, but I can't. It's so tantalizing. Every time I slow down, every time I hit a wall, every time stuff like that happens, I just, I want to hit boost so bad. See, this actually makes it look like an almost entirely different level apart from that uh, extra bit in the, uh, in the thingy majiggy. Question is, why is this level so non com I forgot about that. I, I was still talking about stuff. Why is this level so non-complicated? Or it's so simple in its map? And then you look at Egg Factory and it's like, whoa! No sweat! Bam! <laughs> Instantly hits a wall. Again, it... Hey, excuse me! I don't care about the G-Force drivers! While Eggman may not look smart, he is. He has an IQ of 300 after all. If he's interested in this technology... How does Wave know that? Did Eggman take an IQ test? Like, I mean, you know what? Uh, going back to the Boom uh, series, it would just be like him to take an IQ test and then go, I have an IQ of 300. I don't know why my, my Eggman voice sounds like Jen and Professor Oak had a baby. It's pretty cool how they how it's exactly the same race, but they changed it around. It's real nice instead of just having the exact same race. And look, even the ground splits apart. That's pretty neat. This is one of the best uh, remixes. Again, with, with White Forest. Because the other one was Green Forest, that was White Forest. And now we have we have the Dark Desert. So you got white and black right after each other, not in that way. Uh, I don't know what I meant by that. See, look, even this, we, we got gravity sections. Uh, Super Mario Galaxy, your heart out. There's a section here which you can just bash right through a wall. And it's pretty good, I'm gonna admit. That's it. See, whoa, Knuckles! I did the claw. Let's not forget the claw, guys. The claw gang from Sly. I also want to play Sly. Eventually, I'll get a, uh, a, a, a console recorder. And I plan on playing Sly. Like, that's one of the first games I want to do a review on. Oh, and I can put down a tornado right when I land. Boy, I am a cheeky devil. Oh, Knuckles is still faster though. If this keeps up, I'm not gonna be able to win. <laughs> well, Sonic just bumped into a wall there a couple times, so I think we'll be fine on the Sonic front. It's just Knuckles. The last person I expected to be a problem, Knuckles. I guess I know nothing about this game after all. All right, Tornado. Yes, okay. I managed to slow them down enough. And you know what, screw you guys. Just at the end, you know, screw you. Oh, I don't care. Oh, we've seen this. Oh no, I missed the cutscene! Oh! Shit! Okay, okay, stuff does happen. So they're all on top of here. And Knuckles and Tails and, and Wave and Storm and... and uh... Yeah, that's it. Uh, they're all there together. And then all of a sudden Eggman, like... I, 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 I think Eggman just, like, unleashes his robots to, to attack. And they're all like, Oh no, we gotta get out of here! Tails is like, I'm coming too! I know this is a jump thing. You can't just do that normally. You can't just land off that. Oh my god, who- Knuckles again! Why is Knuckles so good? At least he didn't get up here. I did the Japan again. He can't do the Japan. Whee! Let's go for this! Oh, that was air! Oh, son of a bitch. I thought I was getting rings. I still don't have 30 rings. Yep, up one. That's it. That's me done. I am perfect at this game. Whew. I suppose this really does show you can beat this game in like under two hours. Of course, after this, there's all the extra boards. You can get the extra characters. There's the, the Grand Prix, which if you come get gold with, you can unlock two extra levels for each Grand Prix. Used to call it Grand Prix. Uh, weirdly enough, didn't expect there to be a silent X at the end of it. So as a kid, I would say Grand Prix. I can see why they didn't call it Grand Prix, because <laughs> it's got pricks in it. Wow, Jet looks utterly retarded when he looked at Wave. Yeah! I like how they stopped before the scream came out. What? It's speaking to me in my mind. Oh, I feel dizzy. 
Oh no, we can't make it. Also, Jet's face just absolutely got demented there for a second. Hurry up! Okay, I'm I'm gonna be 100% honest with you. I can't do this whole thing without boosting. This boss requires you to boost into it to beat it. So, I'm afraid we're gonna have to break the rules for this last one. I'm sorry, everybody. I'm actually... Uh, I didn't think of this when I started this. I just remembered. I can't... That was... Oh my, he's so weird. I just remember this. You you can't beat this boss without boosting. He's too fast and you have to hit his his lamp in order to beat him. I sorry. And it's also one of the scariest moments in Sonic games. I had that on my list. Yeah, he's he's kind of weird. And Jet and Wave and Storm are all descendants. And we're even though we're in the Babylon story, we're playing as Sonic. So, this is the only match I'm going to be in boosting. Because you have to, you, otherwise you just can't catch up. Oh, what? You son of a bitch. This is actually a pretty cool boss fight, I, I will admit. You have infinite uh, laps, so you literally can't lose. But, <laughs> you know, it's still pretty fun ne nevertheless. No, Amy, I wanted to... Oh, Amy, why don't you jump on the friggin' things, you know, which you're meant to? Okay, you can do this. Yeah! Alright, and when that happens, this happens. I wish this was an actual, like... An actual race and not just a boss fight because this idea is really cool can i please level up all this thing is giving me is air i'm pretty sure you can level up in this fight oh but i haven't got any rings yet why would they let you level up in the final race I, I don't but yeah sorry about this i mean it's kind of an odd ending to end a no boost challenge on while boosting but it's the only way you can beat it so i mean i did beat every single race Apart from the boss battle without boosting, so I, I'd call it a win. And wow, I like how he's just screaming in his image. Oh, that doesn't even hurt. Probably because it can't, because there are no rings in this level. But God, this guy's pathetic. I am the evil genie of the lamp. All right, come on, come on, come on, come on. Ugh, not gonna hit it. Yeah, he he moves away right at the end. He's like, he's like a slightly easier version of the Time Eater. All right, all right, all right, here we go. We're, we're, we're approaching a corner, but I think, oh my, he's impossible to catch up to. This shit's impossible. This is why I hate this goddamn race. It's been three minutes. I mean, it doesn't seem like such a long time. All right, there we go. There we go, there we go, there we go. He's dead. All right, there we go. And that's that. That's Sonic Riders. I hope you guys all enjoyed. I will show the last cutscene, but... I mean, I'm not going to be doing any more of these unless the situation arises where I, I don't have time to create a proper video. This is only going to come up if I can't get the Crash Bandicoot one done. So right after this, I'm going to start the script writing on that. Uh, see if I can upload that first. But if not, you're getting this first. And if it has gone up, well then, go watch that as well. Because, you know, I, I, I enjoy doing videos which aren't friggin' Sonic for a change. And then after those these two videos, up will come a regular Radical Soda video. So look, the gun probably would have been helpful when you had Amy instead of just going, I have Amy! It's amazing. The carpet's rich texture is a sight to behold, and the way it feels is extraordinary. Mike Pollock does Something an amazing such as job this with the scene. Something have been created in Babylon. Undoubtedly, this carpet will be in high demand from all around the world. But, but what's this? No way. I went to the trouble of holding the World Grand Prix for for this. I I can't believe I just wasted my time for this piece of junk. <laughs> I haven't been saying anything because this cutscene is actually all right. It's not bad. Ooh, fancy. Oh, it's... He says, oh, it's not what's this. Stupid ass subtitles. Even I can tell. The thing is, though, that carpet's much better than the extreme gear that they have now. Simply because it doesn't need air. These, these, these boards that they have now, they need air to, to keep going. Even though, it, I don't know why they could just get air from any place. But they need a kind of air fuel. They call it air, whatever. I like how when Sonic talks, his teeth don't move. They're just, So, you're leaving this place? We should split too, right? Yes. That Tails, that version of Tails right there, he's cute as balls, man. I have to say, all of these characters look really good in this cutscene. Apart from Sonic. He doesn't look so bad here. But... Eh, maybe Jet looks a little odd. Yeah, but Sonic looks kind of odd. He looks different than he did in the first cutscene. They changed his eye texture. I'm sure of it. Whatever. That's Sonic Riders. That's the game. Literally, that's the whole story mode. That, that's it. That, that, it's done. Whew. 
and I've compressed it all down into a 10 minute video. Great job, me. I'm sure it's not longer at all. Anyway, so again, this was just a little something extra for you guys. I'm trying my best to get the other videos out. This won't take too long to complete, so this is just in case I can't get the Crash Bandicoot video out there. And then after that, after these two videos, we'll be uh, we'll be looking at uh, some Sonic Generations mods, I think. Uh, I mean, we I have a lot of Sonic games to get through this year. We've got Sonic Mania, Sonic uh, Forces. We got the uh, Sage Sonic Amateur Games Expo. I'm going to be doing a couple videos on that, maybe. And then we have the uh, the Sonic uh, Hacking Contest, which I, I'm going to be given a pack of games for that. So I'm going to be doing maybe a couple videos on that, too. Probably one big video doing a couple of the best uh, hacks, I think. And probably one speedrun honey bun for that. Or one or two speedrun honey buns. <laughs> I know they're not speedruns anymore. And that's the main reason I'm not calling them speedruns, because they're not Let's Plays, but they're not speedruns either because I wanted to do other stuff like this. I mean look at this even though this is never coming back again but wow there's a lot of bamboo involved in this uh in this place so. Then we've got another honey bun. I, I guess I just really wanted to play games. Have a fun time. We've gone back to the scripted stuff, uh, but there's also some genuine reactions recorded while I actually played the game in here. Uh, it's pretty obvious when something's scripted here because it sounds super fake, but the genuine stuff, like, eh, it's not all bad. I think the way I went about this is that when I said something I thought was funny at the time, I put it into the video, but while playing, if I thought of a joke I didn't say, I just jot it down for a scripted segment later on. I, I think it worked for the most part and could work a lot better nowadays, but I don't do these anymore, so, you know, I guess we'll never know. Hello everybody, welcome to Crash Whipped Cream. I like how he cuts himself off. Developed and created, but Naughty Dog! So Crash has had his bad games, he's had his great games, he's appeared in Smash Brothers, but there's one game that nobody ever pays any attention to. That's this one. Crash War! So that's why we're here now, this uh, 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 cult classic will no longer be unknown. Oh shit, I can see that dude waiting in the background. He, he's like, oh, I'm waiting. You, you gotta, you gotta introduce me anytime soon. Uh, they, oh, fuck it. Here I come. Rougher than the rest of them. The best of them. Tougher than leather. Oh, here I am. I'm a crash. Woo. So I played this game once as a, as, as a kid and I was like, I don't like it. I don't like crash. I want to play Sonic. Here I am in time travel land chasing butterflies. Oh my God. What's with that face? Get your finger looking chicken ass back here, you. Woo, 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 woo! Later. I did it! Woo! Booga, booga. There's nothing that can stop me now. Dunzo! Dunzo! See this frog? Dunzo. And on to the bonus stage. Uh, uh, excuse me? Sega, how many times I've got to tell you? Modern Sonic doesn't need these bloody 2D sections. You've got to get them out of my house. And squim. You fucking frog. You what, mate? I will crawl rest of level. I present Crash Buttocks to you. I did it. I got the gym. Whoa. Whoa. Yeah, boy. Can I just... No, okay, I, I gotta wait for the whole dance. All right. Duh! So, pray, what do I do on this level, you great marvelous... It's a 2D level! Sega, what I just... How dare you! I've gotta fucking lose my mind! You suck! Well, at least I can swim fast. That's, that's always good. Whee! Was there, was there a crate up there? I gotta know, because I gotta get all the crates. You know me. I got all 100% games, because that's what I do. I'm the completion... Nista. That's right, folks. I am the completion Easter. Yeah! Under the sea. Down when it's wet, down when it's bit. Well, actually, it's pretty shit down here. Hey, I see you. Don't try to hide in the bushes now. I am Crash Bunnycoot, and I will snooty me snoop. I am the Crash. I am oh the best. I have lots of friends. No, I don't. I can see you, Boxerinos. Ah! No! I killed him! <laughs> swim down! Now swim up! Now swim down. Wait, what? 
Hello? Did I... What, did I miss my chance? Wait, is this thing locking on to me? It totally is! What a bitch! I'm at... What? How did I miss that many boxes? Wee. I spin. I slide. Now we are playing not as Crash but as Cocoa Puffs. That tiger is really excited. Whoa! Okay! Okay! Whoa! Wowzers! Whoa! Excuse me, I get that you're making the great- No, I missed one! Oh, well, alright, might as well die then. Excuse me, can I just- I'm not even gonna die! Tony Tiger and Coco Puffs are back for another round. Watch out for Steve the Magical Dragon. Oh, I am so good. I am so- I am so perfect at this game. There's no way I haven't got all the- oh, Let's do it! Me and you, Coco Puffs are- Oh, I have to get the crates! I have to get the crates! This- If, if they're there, I- Woo! What do you mean I missed three? Well... Ah, son of a bitch! I will grab every crate. You will not be able to stop me. I am the best man. Oh, goodness me, that is a dino. Why is there water and lava? That's the question. That's the question I'm willing to ask the audience. If you know the answer to this question, phone 0800 99 kill myself, please. Oh my god, this is getting really- 899. Buy three sets of Wumpa for four. You know what they say, get a bargain, get a price, eat your mice. Does that count if the dinosaur gets the crates? I do not know. Ugh, I'm being murdered, help! There's separate ways, No! It's me, Crash. I found the, the way of life. It's don't die. It's a pretty good way of life, I, I will admit. Get the crate, jump the lava, miss the pterodactyl, turn right at the lava, jump the log, get three crates in a row, do those slides to maintain your speed, dodge the lava, grab the crates, laugh at the dino, ha ha! In the water, grab the wumper. Oh, he's, he's not following, alright. Oh, it's like Pokemon all over again, you cutting grass and you- oh no, wait, wait a minute, I mean like- Oh, oh my god, what, what is that? Oh, oh! Was that Bill New the Saints Moon? What is, what is this? Why, why can't I, why can't I go on this? And a spectacular performance by Radical Soda so far. Let's see how he does on the next part. Ah! 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 Get it! Get it! Get it! I did it! I did it! Holy shit! I did it. It is me, Crash. I got the one. I got the two. Oh, but there is one left I do not know how to get. Yeah. Jesus, crikey, criminy, Christmas, Sheila. There's a man rowing a boat. And there's a bird. And there's a crate. And there are some bombs. And there's my dignity. What, what do you mean you can't see it? All you gotta do is squint really hard. I gotcha! Woohoo! I'm the best! Everybody love me! Even the lions! Take that, a tiny. It's -a me, a Sonic -a ass. Whoa! That is -a not -a so good. What? I, I do not! Alright, watch me run from lion! Watch me run! Ah! Oh, 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 oh my goodness! Very terrifying! Terrifying lion! R r run from lion! Ah! Ah! Oh, oh, okay, I, I see. They're not random. They come out where I stand. My, make much easy. Now I die! I did it! I got it! Wow! Demon crash! Whoa! Wait, is this... This is the same fucking level again! This is the first fucking level again! Wait, is this... This is the same fucking level again! This is the first fucking level again! I'm a man so manly. I am a man, I eat all the snack. I didn't touch it! I wasn't anywhere near it! Wait... Oh, I get it, you're doing Jabbery from Australia! Give it a gab up! It's not wasted on me! I played... thing on the flappies. You know which game I'm talking about. I'm always breaking at the wrong time. I'm trying to do a belly flop and it doesn't work. I slide! And there you have it. There it is, folks. That is that. That is the only way to do it. That is the way they did it back in the day. That's the way they did it with the Super Nintendo. That's how my Aunt Jillian does it. Oh, yeah. Here we go. Here we go. This is the music. This is it. This is it. The best music in the game. Jam out to this all day long. It's crash time. It's... It, 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 uh, it, it's crash bash time. That game fucking sucks. Oh, I didn't get the... Wait, how was I supposed to get that one? Oh, I know how. Oh, uh, no! I will not lose! 
I will jump over this. I did it. I got every box in the... I did it! I got it. All right, you, Mr. Frog. I'm not taking any chances with you. Huh! Not taking any chances with you either. Not taking any chances with you either. What? what? I am the master of all seven sports. Number one, yo-yoing. Numbers two through seven, horse. Oh man, I love Spain. I'm not sure what this does. Damn it, no more 2D sections, Sega. I'm noticing a pattern here. Oh, it's it's not even 2D. You, you know what? I'm proud to be a Sonic fan. What sort of shit level design is this, Sega? This would have never happened if you just switched us into a 2D section. Wee! Whoa! Look how good I am. All right, it's time for me to show you my skill. Get the box. It's time for me to show you my skill. It's time for me to show you my my skill. <laughs> you know what? I was gonna play Banjo Kazimi, but the game is a beer, and beers are scary. It's a nitro! Wow! Look at that form! Whoa! 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 Wow. <laughs> I could just I just wanna touch it. Can I can I kinda just Ah <laughs> Ah There is no challenge in this game whatsoever. I am the best. I am truly the master at crash warps. Get the crates, grab the womp, jump on the the die, die, yes, yes, that's, that's what I intended to do. Hey, don't give me a pity yogi boogie, you fucking frog! I'm great at this game! I don't have to prove my worth. Where did I miss? Where? Out of the way, crumbly bums. I'm here to grab these e-crates here. They contain the Wumbly Fruit, part of a balanced breakfast and a key ingredient to crash juicy snack cereal. Coming soon to all stores near your mother. I did it. Do I do the dance? I do. I... Oh, I can skip up by crouching, okay. Well, you know what they say, slow and steady wins the race. And that's how it is, folks. That's how you do it. Slow and steady. Look at those sunglasses. I wish I was as cool as Crash. So, give me the goods and shove off, or I'll roast you. Roast? I have one. Hey, Crash! Where'd you get that Nick? Nick's, uh, not us? Ooh, what a zinger. All right, mate, let's slap some shrimp on the barbie and go feed my pet dingo. Name's Sheila. She'll be right. Got a dash to the dunny for a quick slash. Be back in a flash. Wait, what am I doing? <laughs> I'm a New Zealander. I sound like an Australian anyway. What, what? Did you not see that sick slide jump? You should have just let me throw on how cool it was. Oh, shit. No, I got it. Fuck. Well. You know what? Screw it. I don't care. I don't even care. I need to beat the level. If I can't beat the level, then I get a game over, and then I have to... Nah, 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 nah. Screw you guys. There's only room for one man here, and that's me. Spyro the Dingleberry. I'm the greatest. I'm the great... Okay, okay. One life. One life. I can do it. I, no lives, no lives! I can do it! Slow and steady, boys. Slow and steady. The next jump goes out to my good friend Henry. First checkpoint. Over there is an Aku Aku. Of course I gotta go get... Of course over there is an Aku Aku. I gotta go get that. How did I do that? Oh no. One life, one will, one jump! Continue onwards and use these sick ass ice skating physics. All right, open. Oh, open oh, sesame! All right, everybody, do not touch the sunbeams. You will get skin cancer. Uh... Whoa, whoa, did not realize I could speed up. Whoa, 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 okay, okay, do we know the super fast mode? Whoa, there we go. Whoa, whoa, no, uh oh. All right, here we go again. All right, super fast mode. Let's do it. Jump. Let's launch the guy. The thing is going over here, and then we jump, grab the extra life. Oh, sweet. Let's do it. Then we go split around this, and then go around the. Oh, oh. No. Dang yeah, Fuck you, Steve. Now we're gonna restart the whole fucking game. We. It's cocoa time. You know what they say? It's cocoa time. You know, it's all good. It's cocoa brine. It's hero brine. Uh, did you know gaming? Uh, did you know? 
Coco was Herobrine from another dimension where Steve and that one pizza guy did a kiss. Break out the butter. I'm gonna make toast. But I don't like butter. Are you gonna fucking flame me? Whoa! Okay, well. I mean. Whoa! Can you fucking fire? Oh, okay, now, now she's gonna get out of here. Uh, no, 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 no. Let me out! Let me out! This guy's scary as all hell. I'm about to have a fucking panic attack here. Coco, did you see that shit? Whoa! Whoa! Holy moly, an actual Radical Soda episode? No way, man. This one's on Sonic Generations level mods, and uh, for some reason I kept stopping like the review on the levels to talk about my general gripes with Sonic Generations. I, I don't know what I was thinking with the script. This is also the video when I started the whole, this isn't blank, this is just... Grand Metropolis! <laughs> <laughs> you can still find comments under Grand Metropolis videos referencing this joke. I'm glad we've finally moved past it. I, Ran Sex Soy Sauce, have I decree the dubbing of this fine lass as the mascot of the Radical Soda channel. Also, I say to thee, haters, nay! The odds will not be changed! Tis a joke extended by thou's protestin' Thou really does protest. In light of this new step to become the greatest in all of channel kind, we also entrust thee with a brand new channel icon. Basically, I'm just trying to say, fuck you! Living in the city! What's up, Sonic fans? Are you still playing Sonic games on a console like a filthy peasant? Oh, what, me? Yeah, you, the one playing Sonic games with their intended levels like the degenerate you are! But... but I like these levels. Fuck you! Get ready for PC mods, motherfucker! Look at these mods! Consoles are for the Wii! For the Wii! Might as well throw them out the window! 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 Uh, I'm not actually gonna chuck it, of course. <laughs> I mean, these things cost a lot of money. Uh, also, then I couldn't play any exclusive games like... like... Sly or... Any Nintendo games, really. Alright, so let's put it in a drawer for later! Saving it for later! Hey man, we need a fourth for Mario Kart, you coming? Whoa, but... But console gaming is... BAD! I... Maybe I was wrong. Maybe there's room for... PC... And console gaming. I'll do it! I knew you'd come around. Come on, brother, let's go play some Mario Kart. I fucking knew it! Consoles are for jobs! jump a -rooney. Living in the city! We already did the intro, though! Already done! Sonic Generation! Sonic Generation's level mods! Now, it's taken me this long to actually get to the main point at hand, so... <laughs> you know this video's gonna be just a... Oh, it's just, just, just a masterpiece. So I'm sure you already know that Sonic Generations is a pretty good game. Just like me, right? What? No, go away, Sonic Colors. You're like a B minus at best. Oh. Oh, okay. But what if I told you that you could make it even better? A way to surpass its original programming, to reach new heights with the incredible technology that is PC gaming. Oh, oh no, no wait, go back! Now I've got 10 great level mods to go through today, so let's start off with number one, uh, these are in no specific order, uh, Gameland. I hope you like the color green. So Gameland's a little fun level based on the virtual stages from Sonic Colors, and it's not bad at all for something that looks so simple. It's actually more fun than the real Gameland stages, I'll even say that. Whoa! You ever notice how the homing attack will just kind of hit an enemy into the one behind it, leaving you to just dash off the edge afterwards? You're not too great, eh? Well, at least Forces doesn't do it. Well done, Forces. You're looking better and better with every passing day. Oh, oh, you, you seem to you seem to have a growth on your back. Hold, hold up, can I just... Hmm. Yeah, that's gonna have to be removed. So, the green game land, yeah, it's pretty fun. It's got some homing attack bits, some grindy bits, some quick step sections that I'm not very good at. Let me just go around here. You know how in the adventure titles you can just kind of walk around obstacles? Yeah, those days are over. All hail tank Sonic, who can't even turn the fuck around right! Next level we're going to be looking at is Metropolis. 
N no, not this one. Oh, come on! How the hell was I supposed to hit that? It's like 90% claw cool there! No, this one's actually from Sonic Heroes, uh, one of my favorite games of all time, and of course, one that I've mastered over the years. Uh, just, I mean, take a look at the skill. Now for the Grand Metropolis mod itself, let's have a look and see. Not bad. Okay, so the next level mod we're going to be looking at, this Grand Metropolis level is almost completely faithful to the original, aside from the stuff from Heroes which would be a nightmare to program in, like the triangle jump and the pole dancing. So, this will be no problem. I know this level like the back of my head, son of a bitch! Also now, for some reason, Sonic's voice is the Japanese version. Hey, Sonic, you have to go beat Eggman again? <laughs> Oh, that's right, you speak Japanese. Unfortunately, a few of the sections in the level really show how ill-suited modern Sonic is to the hero stages. The new Lightspeed Dash, for example. Back in Heroes, the Lightspeed Dash was something you used to cross a gap and keep the movement going. Well, whenever it worked, anyway. But Generations 8 having any of that slow Lightspeed Dash, get a load of this! The problem I have here isn't with the level itself, no. Modern Sonic is, for lack of a better word, tanky, which is the main reason why generations always felt a little off to me. Like, instead of Sonic being a quick, energetic little fellow, you know, adventure, heroes, he feels a bit more like a powerhouse here, like there's a truckload of force behind him whenever he runs, and that makes him a little hard to control in regards to platforming. Sonic's supposed to annoy Eggman, to be so quick and slippery he just slips by his traps every time. But in Generations, we aren't controlling a thought in Eggman's side, we're controlling a whole fucking tree wedged right up in between Eggman's buttocks. Now I've played Generations a hell of a lot more than Adventure 2, for instance. But in Adventure 2, I can always tell whether I'm gonna make a jump or not. In Generations, it's kinda like a 50-50 chance whether I'm actually gonna do it. Heck, I can't even do this bit in Chemical Plant to this day. And it's the second bloody level. But back to Grand Metropolis. Uh, it levels fun. Apart from that one section with the light speed dash, I'd say it's worth checking out. And hey, you don't even have to take that route. There's another ring trail just further down. What? Are you kidding me? Well, now with that done, let's do it again with classic Sonic. Oh man, I love Grand Metropolis. <laughs> Next level mod up is Rainbow Road. I've always wanted to try out that Sonic and Mario Kart Wii mod, but I guess this is the closest I'll ever get, so let's get moving. Oh boy, I sure do love Rainbow Road. It's my favorite Mario Brothers level. I love the rain, I love the bow, I love the palm tree. You know what, I don't think I installed this right. All right, here we are in Water Palace. Nice place. And done? Boy, that was a bit easy, I mean. I liked it, but this has got to be one of my favorite level mods I've ever seen. It's bright, it's colorful, it's got that sweet Sonic Rush music, and its level design is built around how Sonic controls. Of course, that doesn't stop me from being the worst Sonic player in existence. Let's try that again. What? Did, does drifting not hurt enemies? We, we, he's in a ball for crying out loud! That, the primary way to kill enemies in every fucking Sonic game! It makes me wish that we had better DLC for Sonic Generations. Like, all we had is a stupid little pinball minigame, but can you imagine if we had like DLC packs of lesser known levels from all the Sonic games? You got your Sonic Advance, Sonic Advance 2, Sonic Advance 3, Sonic Rush, Sonic Adventure 2. I mean Advance 2. No. Sonic Rush Adventure. That was it. Well, there's so many adventures in Sonic, and then we got Sonic Runner's adventure as well. Well, what's the deal? You're just trying to say, now nah, you want Sonic Adventure 3 now, screw you guys! This was actually something I was going to touch on in my Sonic Mania slash Sonic Forces video. I was going to say that I wished for a few more lesser known levels to be included in Mania, but I couldn't really think of any good examples, so I excluded that section from the video entirely. But this, this is a great example. I mean, even though Mania is only 2D, the same sort of premise still applies here. We've really only seen fan favorites return so far, which again leads to double ups and a kind of familiarity that the Sonic series really doesn't need. I mean, Mario already does the grass, desert, ice, forest, sky, etc, etc, level ordering thing. I'm sure that nobody wants repetitive level things here, you know? Green Hill, Chemical Plant, Classic Stage, etc, etc, and ooh, look, remember Stardust Speedway? Yes, I remember Stardust Speedway, it fucking sucked! Ah, let's not get lost in that again. How about we just go back to the level at hand here? Ah, it's good! It's a good level! If you want to see more of that Green Hill shit, you can go watch my Forces on Mania video. 
Anyway, next up is- Ah, oh, no! Great hell! All joking aside, this is Splash Hill. It looked pretty neat, so let's check it out, shall we? We're gonna be stuck on the loading screen forever, aren't we? Shut up, Omachow. I know how rings work. And here we are, blazing through Splash Hill. What a thrill! What a... Good start. It's good to see my Sonic skills haven't changed during the switch between levels. It's also good to see the Generation Z dash still fucking sucks! At one point you actually go over a ramp and Sonic looks at the camera like, Yeah, see that shit? It was really cool. It surprised me so much I had to go back and check I wasn't just seeing things. There's really only one bit in the level that's really scummy, which is this 2D section here. Now, there was no way I was gonna react in time for that jump, right? Like, it's not just me. Pretty nasty level design right there. I mean, maybe they should have put the sign a little bit earlier, but I mean, yeah, that would have helped. But at that point, I'd just be reacting to a sign telling me what to do instead of just actually looking at the level design, essentially turning this whole thing into a quick time event. I think this gap right here accurately portrays how 2D shouldn't be in modern Sonic's boost gameplay. Now, let's, let's have a look at a similar gap with classic Sonic, huh? Now, Classic Sonic isn't blazing through the level so fast I can't tell what's coming up ahead, ergo leaving me room to register that this right here is a drop. Jump over it. Modern Sonic. I'm running in a straight line. Whoops, I'm dead. I could have easily seen it coming in 3D, but nah, I've got to have those nostalgia sections in a game with the literal old version who only does those sections, whilst the game also being released at a similar time is entirely those sections. Did I mention I don't like 2D sections? Well, they're not actually 2D. As Kid Icarus would say, they're... <gasps> 2.5D. It means they made a 3D level, but fuck you, plain 2D. You'd have to zoom the camera way out in order for me to be actually happy with what I can see coming. And at that point, we might as well just call him Sonic the... Germ. Oh look, here's a dinosaur. He's come to say hi. When I replayed the stage a second time, I actually forgot about the hole and didn't jump in time that time either. And I wasn't even boosting. Well, that's that. I don't have time for these silly holes. I'm out of here! Damn it, not again. Anywho, next level up is Titanic Timber, a completely original idea if I'm not mistaken. Its main theme is trees. Yeah. It's got plenty of paths to take and also plenty of bugs, but hey, who's complaining? Alrighty, I wanna take the grindy path, so let's sift on over here. Ah, crap, it fell off. And no matter, let's do it again. Now I know, Power of the Mind. Brought to you by Bill New the Science Moo. Hmm, looks like I don't have enough speed. Guess I'm gonna die then. Oh, oh no, wait! A platform, is it? Down below? I'm saved! There's nothing in this platform and I can't get out. I can't even kill myself. Just another magical moment brought to you by Titanic Timber. Titanic Timber. Because fuck you. Also, what happened to grinding? You used to be cool, man. Back in the day, you could use slopes to gain momentum and just be able to keep going without the boost. Jeez, I'm like a grumpy old man. I like Sonic Generations. Why do I sound like an IGN employee? Oh no. Oh, oh, what, what, watch out, watch out, he's coming, he's coming right for us! Ah! Next up is a little fun level that I think everyone here can enjoy. Apart from the people who hate Mario. Did you guess what it is yet? It's fucking Mario World 1-1. One, one. Here's Mario. Isn't he fantastic? Man, you run so fast, Mario. The dust all over you. World 1-1 one, one from Super Mario Brothers. You can play this as both modern and classic Sonic, and it's pretty fun. Got the warp pipe and everything. You can even hit blocks to get rings and the such. Yeah. That's pretty much it. You can also jump pretty high, is that interesting? Sky Rail from Sonic Adventure 2, baby! You got the rails, the sky, the really slow flying springs. Yeah, boy! The robots, the grinding, the tricks, the... Trails and rings. I probably shouldn't. You know what happened last time. Whoa! This level's sick of shit, boy! Don't forget to do that glitch! Whoa! Now let's do it again with Classic Sonic. Hey, hold on a minute. This doesn't look like Sky Rail at all! This is just... Grand Metropolis again! Next 
Shoveler's Handcastle, and uh, I've actually played this one before. It was a while ago, so I can't remember it that well, but I, I think I even made a video on it. Oh, no, no, oh, oh, stop, stop, stop the video! Next level up is Handcastle, and uh, I've never actually played this one before, so let's, let's just have a look-see, and uh, see if it's just as good as the original. Let's, let's, let's go! Vamanos, everybody, let's go! Oh. This time we actually have an act specifically dedicated to Classic Sonic. Or whoever's behind this wall. It's actually really neat, and it looks a little barren, sure, but I like the aesthetic of this level, along with every Sonic Heroes level, really. Yeah, can we just have a remake, please, Sega? That'd be great. Or at least some games with equally creative level themes instead of... Burning City. Green Hill. Again. And then again. I swear I like Sonic. And I'm not just one of those guys who are like, Oh, I'm a big Sonic fan, but Sonic Forces looks like shit. And then you find out later that they're only fans of Sonic 1, 2, and 3. You're like, those guys, you know who I'm talking about. Those guys are just... not very nice. Classic Hang Castle also hands you a skateboard, which is great fun, until you bump into a wall and lose it forever. <laughs> not me, though. I'm a skateboard master! It also has a couple of shields scattered around, like the bubble shield, which I couldn't really use because I had the homing attack equipped. Oh, and you can't forget the most memorable part of the level. The ending. Because it can't fucking finish! The modern version of this stage is good too. Well, apart from this bit here where you can't actually see whether you're gonna land on the fucking clouds or not! It's pretty long too, for a generation stage. My time ended up at almost nine minutes, but that was also due to my sonic shields, or lack thereof. The level itself isn't a one-to-one -one recreation of the original Hang Castle, instead it's more of what generations did to city escape, speed, highway, etc, etc. It's a remix. Well, really, every level is a remix, essentially. But uh, anyway, it'd be extremely hard to program in gravity switching effects in a game which never had them to begin with anyway. Some bits from the original level do make a return though, like the invisible paths, you run down the tower at the end, and even though the original gravity switching mechanic couldn't be implemented, you got the... the... the teleporters from Sky Sanctuary... and they beam you up. And you see the upside down models and you're like, whoa, I'm upside down! Look at that! Whoa! Knuckles, you doing okay, buddy? Your foot's going through the floor. So the second last stage is that of Rainbow Road Medley. Yes, that's right, viewers, I managed to get it working. You know me. <laughs> you see, oh, it was very simple. All you have to do is use a little noggin up here and, and then realize you're, you're, you're trying to install it wrong. So I have a few words of advice for you if you're planning on playing this stage. FOR THE LOVE OF GOD, DON'T FUCKING BOOST, JUST FORGET THAT BUTTON EVEN EXISTS! HOLY SHIT! Sonic Strip in Generation sucks, way too fast and kinda all around uncontrollable. Never had a problem in Unleashed or Colors, but who boy, this thing will take you places you don't want to go, especially in this level. And by places you don't want to go, I mean a journey through the fucking atmosphere. Good luck on not burning up on re-entry. So there's that part, but the rest aren't so annoying. You got a cart bit, a fun bit, a bit where a banana really enjoyed almost seeing me plummet to my demise, and a Mario Kart bit. And you know how good I am at Mario Kart Wii. HA! I AM THE SUPREME MEME! AH! FUCK YOU, Bowser. All in all, this level could probably be relaxing if it wasn't for that first bit, which if you wanted to even remotely fast, you'd better be a goddamn pixel-perfect speedrunner. And here we are at the very last level. I know you guys are gonna like it. It's got something to do with adventuring. Ooh, it's the Sonic Adventure- Oh, bloody hell, there's three levels in one. Four levels? What do you mean Classic Sonic has one? Damn. Sonic Adventure Generations not only adds three new modern Sonic zones, and one classic zone, from Sonic Adventure into Generations, but also changes Sonic and classic Sonic's design. For modern Sonic, as running animation, homing attack, and sound effects have all been changed to a more adventure style, and classic Sonic's got an all new- Oh, oh god, what happened?! The first level in the pack is Emerald Coast. It's got some old parts, some new parts, some scary parts. Man, almost died there. Wouldn't want that to happen. Classic Sonic, of course, had to get all new level design as Adventure wasn't in 2D, but there are a few parts here that harken back to the original. Hey, by the way, while I'm talking about Classic Sonic, you ever notice how if you charge up the spin dash for like one second, he spins half an inch, but if you charge it up for half a second longer, he flies to the fucking moon? Just something I noticed. The next level is based on the Hub Mystic Ruins. It's really, really neat. Probably my favorite out of the bunch. I've always been a sucker for sunset-themed levels. At one point, you can even decide whether to take the left or the right path, and it changes the whole level depending on which way you choose. And hey, you can even catch a ride with Tails. Although I think you've got to turn this plane on. And the last level is Windy Valley. Now, right from the get-go, I was thinking two things. Whoa, 
Oh, I'm falling from the sky! Listen to that music, this is awesome! And also- OH GOD, MY EYES! This level's cool, but gee whiz is it butt ugly. These colors? Uh-uh, girlfriend. The only thing I didn't really like about the stage other than that was the invisible walls set up everywhere. I feel like if I miss a shortcut, sure, I mean, you can cut me off from it, no problem, I didn't make it, you know, whatever. But to just have it stare at me, unreachable, taunting, laughing, what's the deal yo here? What did I do to deserve this? All in all, those stages were pretty fun. In fact, all the stages were pretty good. I got at least a little bit of enjoyment out of each of them. So if you want to check them out, they're all free and the links will be in the description below. So just shove them into your Sonic Adventure game and you'll have a blast. Man, that's that, I guess. But before I wrap things up, before I end it all, let's say... <laughs> Whoa, okay, <laughs> not that way. Let's take one last look at that Sonic Adventure model a little bit more in detail, shall we? All right, let's have a look at the Death Egg robot fight. That's got a cutscene with a good view of classic Sonic. Oh, Sonic, looking real dreamcast. Uh-oh, he's charging up his special attack. Go, spin dash. Ah, oh, damn, no, I'm not having any of this, you screw you, you stupid ass spin dash. Roll one god damage. NOT AGAIN, COME ON! Another Honey Bun video, yay! I've been playing a lot of Binding of Isaac modded and I wanted to do a video on it, so I downloaded an Undertale mod. Uh, this was like way past Undertale's hype cycle, so like picking it had no impact on the video. Unfortunately, there's no real reactions in here, it's all scripted stuff, but I do make some funny noises here and there, I guess, so maybe there's some worth to this video. I don't know. Welcome to the Binding of Isaac, or as I like to call it, BOY! Now obviously we're not going to be playing the original version, no, today we're going to be playing a conversion mod. The Binding of Undertale, you know the one, Flowey, Toriel, Sans, Spaghetti! He was my favourite character. Well, let's get moving! What do you mean I didn't turn it on? H hold up. I have a lot of mods. Ah, here we go. And here we are, folks. Look at, look at a good old flowey there. He's saying, Howdy. <laughs> so we got fish, Laszlo, skins, Matado, chocolate, Toriel because you're worth it, platypus, dad mummy, undies, gotta go faster. You know, everyone you know and love. The gang's all here. Let's start off with something just a little bit easy. Let's, let's go with uh, Toriel. Now let's go hard mode because we're not a fucking pussy! You know, the first thing, the first thing that I ask when someone says that I should buy a game is are there anuses spitting out corn involved? Because if not, no sale, my friend. You suplex a huge boulder just because you can- Alright, you know what? I'll do it. I'm ready. Let's suplex some boulders! Yeah! Well, what does it do? I don't, I don't, I don't- Ooh, perks! What does this do? I don't know. You know what? Let's just, uh, let's just go ahead and check, shall we? Here we are. Gives the wafer effect while in the room. What does the wafer do though? All damage taken is reduced to half a heart. Well, I mean, okay, I guess. The heart heart special seed. Ooh, I'll show you special seed. Ready to suplex some more boulders? Oh, I can break rocks while I'm holding it. Oh, that's pretty. Oh, God, spiders. No! Oh, man, with all these spiders here, it sure is good for me to have perks on. What? No, oh, why'd I do that? Larry Jr., I haven't seen you since you got sent to prison for shitting in public. Old habits die hard, I guess. All right, Larry, you ugly bastard. It's time for you to meet the three-time speedrun champion of Green Hill Paradise Act 2 Final Mix Super Edition Mega Collection Weed on XC Rise to Lyric on all things SD Trilogy Team 2 of the Olympic Games. Ow! Dude, what? Why do my dance game explode? Ah, stop it! Fuck, I said stop it! Scary! What the? All right. <laughs> Uh, stop following me! Well, you know what they say. It's time to fight fire. WITH FIRE! You know, joke's as good as that one, it's a wonder why I don't have a million subscribers. Oh, hell yeah! That's some sick fly-on-fly -fly action! Boy, this sure is lit! <laughs> lit, you get it? Cause it's fire! Alright, I'll just suplex some fucking boulders. God damn it, I thought I couldn't hate myself anymore. Yeah, I did it! Oh, oh what's this, a flying sandwich? I can do it with a flying sandwich. <gasps> a Gaster Blaster! That's a good one. That'll help me on my Pokemon journey. Go, ah! Yo, Gaster Blaster! I abuse you, you piece of shit! These, these go down? Will it be worth it? No, it's not gonna be worth it. It's not gonna be worth it. It's not good. Okay, it'll be worth it! Take a chance for once! Let's do it! Ah! Yeah, we did it! We did it, folks! We did it all for two scenes and a key! Happy break time! Oh.
Oh no! More candy! You know what they say, kids? You, you find candy on the ground, you, you, you eat it, eat it. Ooh, tears up, that's a good one. Even more candy! Ow, I'm, I'm on half a heart. Uh, uh, let's just hope this candy doesn't have razor blades in it. Woo! This day keeps getting better and better. Ah, what? All right, let's go for another character. Let's, uh, I'm like Sans. And he likes me. We got a good relationship going on here. Let's, let's go with Sans. Oh, this is just a, just a quality stream here. Just just the best that money can buy. Whoa, look at him go. He's like a machine gun firing, boom and firing a gun machine. Oh, no! Let's, uh, put out a flame with this knife. Ooh, piece of candy. Oh, what a sad look at Onion. Come on, Onion friend. Let's go adventuring. There's fun to be had. Why? Turns out I have one black heart. I mean, that's not much game. If you could just give me some more, that'd be great. It's me, the human blender. You, I've got the knife. You can't beat my famous spin attack technique. You dodged my spin attack? Nobody's ever done that before. So the spin attack technique doesn't seem to be working out too well, but I tell you what, the throw and the knife technique, that's gotta be the next big thing. You just wait and see. Oh, I found the room. Hopefully it gives me something more useful than onion. And that's it, ladies and gentlemen. Radical Soda's Boy Tips and Tricks, episode 57. Do this. Whoa, whoa, ah! Can I stab the... Can I stab this, please? Was this a radioactive? Outbreak. Ah! Hello, everybody. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today, I will be doing the 1,000 degree knife experiment. Here I am, hitting up the knife. You know, in all my years playing this game, there are still more surprises to be had. That was one of them. What is this, matchbook? <gasps> I got the bombs! I can open the door! I've been waiting my whole life for this moment. My passion, my determination, my steadfast will has led me to this door. Let's get moving! I did all that. For goddamn cabbage! On a bed! Oh no, don't worry, I got full health. For the guy who can't regenerate health. Oh, there's a lot of poops. What? Help! I'm being molested! Let's see what's behind door number one. Uh, a four die. I don't know what this one does. But I'm gonna use it anyway. Woo! What did that do? Nothing? What's this? Health down! What? What is... What is this? Jerry. Go! Go, Jerry! Jerry, do something, Jerry! Jerry, do fucking something! Health down! No, no, I don't... I don't want this. Yeah, there we go. Use diaper, that's better, that's what I want. Oh boy, what a thrill this- Stop, oh God, Jerry! Don't just up and explode like that, Jesus Christ! What is- Ew! What is that monstrosity? You know what, I'll, I'll give it a chance. Let's see what it does. Yeah, this is, this is great. Oh boy, I sure do love my new pal. Jerry, go! Jerry, you useless hunk of bunk, don't even move it. What's this? Isaac's head. Well, it's better than a used diaper, I guess. Let's go. Take this. Damn it, watch damn explode, Jerry, you piece of shit! Oh, I got a prison. Oh man, thanks, dude. Now I got an army of spiders behind me. <gasps> but I can't fly. This is getting real, real nice. I like this place. Look at these fireflies, everybody. These are real, just real, just generally real nice. Oh, look at these glasses. I love glasses. I always wanted to be a teacher. <gasps> Toriel, you magic being. Wait, why can't I shoot five? Am I getting ripped off here? Let's get all these poos. You, you, <laughs> you can't not get the poos. Don't flag this video for me saying poos, will you? Now you might think it's impossible to get this card without getting hit, but ha ha, look at these moves. Oh, no, come on, son of a... I accidentally used the card. What is this? I don't care, I'm taking it. Whoa, okay, buddy. Whoa, whoa. I, I know, I know it's an exciting time of year. We're nearing, uh, we're nearing, uh, what are we nearing in the world calendar? We're, we're nearing World, uh, Sasquatch Day. Uh-uh, honey. You know you can't just slide your poopy little button here. Oh, Thathquatch. You're so thathy. I just want to get a huge army of spiders. Oh, ooh, candy. No, thank you. Monstro, I'm here to kick your ass. Wait, wait, why is the room so small? Ah, stop! Ah, it's Krampus. But it's not Christmas yet, and I haven't been bad, have I? I hope I haven't. Got no way, Krampus, stop! Everyone enjoying this 1080p video? Excuse me, partner, but I have the fastest tears on the west. Now you got a cube of meat. 
I like it. Yeah, power pill. Do, do, do I, oh, I can't kill those guys. Here we go. Da, 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 da. Ow. Great, I come in here to your secret fucking room. Ow! I get my goddamn fly. There better be something in this. Nothing. Yeah, that's right. Get hit by my cube of meat. Excuse me! I said young man! There's no need to feel fear. I said young man! Get your ass over here. I said young man! You know what, guys? I didn't want to have to do this. Damn it, I really didn't want to do that. I look fabulous. Oh, I'm scared. Spiders? Nobody said anything about spiders. That's it. Ow. Oh man, great start. Already locked out of a room. That's great. God damn it, this room's a clusterfuck. Screw this. Okay, no, that's cool. Start off with the fucking boss! That's a bomb spider. Oh, secret passage. This is scary. Oh, oh, who, what, what? Guys, not playing it. So many, so many fucking explosions in this game. God damn it. All right. Heroin. Freeze, motherfucker. Your death grows near. I am the ghost of Christmas. Krampus. Why am I getting all these cute dolls? Oh, hearts. Great. They do absolutely nothing. All right, I'm going to take a risk here. I mean, who knows if it'll pay off, but you know what? I'm going to risk it for the biscuit. God damn it. Woo, I love this candy. You betrayed me one too many times, Eduardo. It's time you paid the price. Get ready to die! God, don't wake up back! No. I can't get in. I'm gonna show you the world. Maybe there's a key in here I can buy. Oh, no, I need a key to get in! Okay, I tell you what. I bet I can win a key. I bet I, I, bet I can use the slots to my advantage and win a key. Here we go, key. Nothing. Come on, key. Got some candy. There's a power pill. Yeah, boy! I don't want this. Ah, crap, the stupid ass little guy can just go through rocks. Wah! Rio. Let's go, Timmy, the cute little guy, the hoity doy. Oh. Let's end it off on a high note. I mean, we've got some great characters here, but I think the most fun is. I don't know. Spin to win! Whoa! Bayonetta's up next, and it's a real Radical Soda video. Huzzah! I bought and played Bayonetta basically on a whim. I, I didn't really know anything about the game. I heard it had a sequel on Wii U, but one fine day on the Steam store, I saw it sitting there and I was like, okay. I didn't actually record it, I just played it for fun, but when all was said and done, I said, man, I need to make a video about this. <laughs> Boy, do I love stealing! Ooh, Shrek on VHS! Hold it right there, scum! Oh no, it's an Umbran Witch! What are you looking at? I mean, that's right! I am an Umbran Witch! I'm here to stop you from stealing the. the Is that Shrek? Oh no, 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 no! <laughs> Dead brought off the table! Where's the pasta butter? The Wait, I feel like I'm forgetting something. Huh? Hey! What the hell are you people doing in my house? Is that Shrek? Well, I fucking uh, love I Shrek! Living in the city. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to another great episode of Radical Soda, where we don't always review Sonic games, you know. We're, we've got other things on the, on the, on the, on the, on the, the circle. Today, we're going to be looking at Bayonetta. I don't know why I see they like a surprise. <sighs> you read the fucking title, right? You don't read the title? You just looked at the thumbnail and you were like, ooh, boobs! Bayonetta was one of those games I never even knew existed until the sequel was under development. And for the Wii U of all things, Nintendo, my boy! You're doing great. Keep it up with these lovely, lovely ladies. You're expanding the market. Well, you're also expanding those butts. <laughs> now, I was interested in looking at the original at the time, but never enough to fully warrant me buying the game. I guess I just sort of forgot about it. I hear the PS3 version's pretty bad anyway, so maybe I dodged a bullet there. No pun intended. Of course, you might not get that pun because I haven't explained anything about the game yet. Bayonetta fans, though, you got it right. Oh, come now. This game just kind of appeared on Steam earlier this year, and it was a pretty big surprise for me, as I'm sure it was, as it was for you. I heard zip zap zoobity squat about this game coming to Steam and then one day, poof, there it was! Like a young spring chicken, ready to show the new PC audience what it's made of. Cause what I have 
No, no, stop, stop. No Sonic references, no Sonic jokes, no Sonic callbacks, not today. Today is all about Bayonetta. Let's get move playing. Sega. Oh, look at this title screen. A little mysterious, stylish. You got someone whispering. Bayonetta. Wish I had an intro like that. Radical Soda. Now I completed the game on normal difficulty before I recorded the footage for this video, so the playthrough you're going to be seeing here is on hard mode. The story hasn't changed or anything like that, but there are some things which are different, like enemy types, how much damage is taken, there's no falling clock tower intro, I'll be using moves I shouldn't have yet, I'll die over and over and over again. Well, okay, that's normal, but yeah, keep those things in mind as we go through. The game may introduce an enemy as if we're seeing it for the first time, meanwhile we've already killed 20 of the bastards. So we start off in a graveyard where a couple of the credits are shown on gravestones. You, you didn't have to highlight them. I can read. Baguette. Also, is this the Shrek font? Somebody. The first cutscene introduces us to three of our main characters: Enzo, the lovable sleaze; Rodan, the badass bartender; and of course, Bayonetta. And let's be honest, that costume isn't fooling anyone. I mean, come on. Also, Bayonetta, my dear, you might want to uh, take a look at that book you're reading there. You might find it a little hard to read upside down. So we learn a couple of things in this cutscene, the most important one being, this game is fucking nuts. It's not every day the opening cutscene greets you with a vagina to the face. Well, I mean, it's a little unorthodox, but hey, I'm willing to give it a shot. And then suddenly, I'm in. At this point, I hadn't played in a couple days, so you'll see me here trying to remember my combos and which button did what, which very quickly got me here. That's the first thing I learned when playing this game. If you're not paying attention, it'll kick your ass, especially on hard mode. You can get away with mindlessness in the first couple chapters, but after that, you either get good or you get stomped. I mean it. You can do all sorts of stuff with Bayonetta. Ground and air combos, summon demon fists, slide, break dance, a spinning gun thing, and best of all, slow down time when you dodge an attack at the last second, which is called witch time. Cause she's a witch. You can also taunt, but you probably don't want to do that. You want to touch me? Isn't this sexy? Bayonetta dispatches the angels, destroying poor Enzo's car in the process. It's his birthday, by the way, and demands an intelligence briefing. It never stops with you. You keep belly aching like that, and you're liable to wake Eggman from the dead. Can I talk about anything else? For one video! What about Eggman? Fine, you want your Eggman? All right, oh, look over there! Here he comes! I'm back! You'll have noticed the cutscenes by now. There's two kinds. The normal ones where everything is animated, and then there's the old film style scenes, where the background and camera is still moving, but the characters are dead stiff. I don't mind these, I know for a fact how expensive animation is, and I'm much more happy with the budget going towards the gameplay, the music, graphics, that sort of thing. So as Bayonetta and Enzo ride back to Rodan's bar, Enzo spews some exposition at us, like how Bayonetta has lost her memories. Who am I? And why can't I remember anything? STOP! Turns out she has to keep sacrificing angels, or else you can put her down for one dragage to hell. Dragage, is that a word? Well, it's not spelled the way I thought, but... Dragage. Yeah, that's it. You see, in this world there's Inferno, which is hell, Paradiso, heaven, and Purgatorio, which is where Bayonetta fights all the angels, hence why Enzo couldn't see what was happening in the first cutscene. Come on, it's my freaking birthday! Oh, I freaking love him, he's so cute! Then, of course, as is common in these sorts of games, PLAIN! Here we're introduced to Jean, another Umbran witch, who Bayonetta remembers getting stabbed by for whatever reason, and we also learn about torture attacks. I'll say it again, this game is nuts! And you know me, I love nuts. <laughs> For one full magic bar, you can execute a torture attack, which consists of Bayonetta summoning all sorts of, uh, various equipment. We've got the classics, like the Iron Maiden, the guillotine, and then we have some more, uh, how should I put it, unorthodox stuff, like a huge spiked wheel, a pair of crushing hands, or... Jorn flies away, and because they were fighting the angels in witch time, Bayonetta still has well enough time to throw Enzo to safety. One new set of guns and a stone award later, we're off to Vigrid, a not so real city in Europe, in the search of a seller selling a gem called the Eyes of the World. Ay, Europe, the sunshine, the architecture, the demons. What, did you forget about the demons? I've been to Europe, I know what it's like. I should probably explain the awards. You can think of them like the ranking system in Sonic. Oh! Your reward depends on how well you did in every fight throughout the level, or versus they call it. Your combo, how much damage you took, and how long it took you to finish. 
Oh, I'm gonna finish real quick on this one. Each fight has their own medal, which then adds together once you finish the level, and then that gives you your reward, but not before subtracting points for deaths and items used, of course. More than two deaths, and I can guarantee you ain't getting anything past a bronze. Also, they have characters on them that we haven't met yet, so that's not confusing at all. This was my total awards from the story. Pretty terrible, huh? And these aren't even from hard mode. These are my awards from hard mode. Man, it almost looks like I played the game stoned. Oh, I almost forgot about halos. When you defeat an enemy, it'll drop halos, which act as the currency. With them, you can buy techniques, items, weapons, accessories, and more at Rodan's bar. Yep. They sure are great! They don't, they don't, they don't remind me of anything, anything at all! N nothing, nothing, nothing! Now back to chapter one. We, what, we're still in chapter one? So what happens in chapter one, you ask? Well, aside from more death, we're introduced to Bayonetta's finishing moves, or cl climaxes. Bayonetta will summon a huge demon of some kind, and it'll tear apart whatever's unfortunate enough to be nearby. There's a bunch of different demons, and each of them have pretty neat designs. Dragon, centipede, spider, arms. One of these things is not like the others. Which one is different? Do you know? Speaking of tearing things apart, my poor controller's almost torn in half because of these climaxes. They come all set up with quick time events, which are always button mashing segments. I swear, these things can be brutal. I can really only max it out about half the time, and that's even knowing which button I need to press ahead of time. I've got more to say about these things, believe me, but I'll save that for when we fight Jean in another chapter. Oh look, it's Jean! What the fuck is this? Forget difficulty spikes, this is the difficulty clip. Holy shit! What kind of whack ass crack were you smoking, playing them games? First off, Jean's a motherfucking fighting machine. Do you want a combo? She'll break that shit like she's breaking a goddamn candy cane. Her bullets? Who needs chip damage when you're hiding freaking bazookas in your handguns? What the hell's that damage? And her magic meter? Ha! What's a magic meter? Take this fist! Again! 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 What's that? Stop it! Oh, you mean stop it! Now, I equip the shotguns instead of the normal guns for a few reasons. A, they do more damage in a shorter time. B, they make enemies flinch. And C, they're pretty cool. I mean, look at them. But this fight's a goddamn flashback. I ain't got no shotguns here. Just these worthless ass pea shooters. I don't even want to know how bad it is if you've been using the whip of the claws this entire time. Between the many, many deaths, however, I did learn some things. For one, I was quite angry at how fucking fast Jean can summon her demon hands and feet without the use of a combo. But with a little trial and error, I figured out that I too could do this. She uses up like three points of the magic meter. Of course, that doesn't stop Jean because she doesn't have one! Is it the game? Is it me? Am I really that bad? I need answers, everybody! I hit the bloody button 24 times for three seconds and I still lose! Oh, what is it? What is it? I need answers! I'm over here looking like the Flash jacking it! I had no idea what this fight wanted me to do. I tried combos, I tried shooting, I tried only heavy attacks, and that almost worked, by the way. And after death, after death, after death, I said, screw it. I quit the level, I went to Rodan's, bought like four lollipops, and whooped her ass. The only thing stopping me from doing this before was my pride, but this shit FORCED MY HAND! You may have also noticed that I'm wearing a kimono, and no, this isn't what Bayonetta wore in the past. Once you beat the game, you unlock the ability to change costumes between levels, and the first set you get is the kimono set. You can buy more sets from Rodan at 100,000 halos each. 100,000 halos?! Whoa, how many angels is that? That's gotta be like, at least... Four. Teen. So what happens after this flashback fight, you ask? Well, long story short, we meet a brand new character. Swap. Handsome. Luca. Turns out Luca, journalist extraordinaire, has been tracking Bayonetta for quite some time now. As 20 years earlier, he witnessed his father's arms and legs get ripped from his body as she was awakened from some sort of slumber. I guess she was using the force here. A true cry of terror, ladies and gentlemen. He can't actually see her when she's in Purgatorio, of course, instead sensing her by smelling her perfume, which he also gets wrong, by the way. But he also manages to sense angels as they appear, remarking he can smell the same smelly smell that smells the same day his father was murdered. Oh golly, what kind of crazy mystery does this plot hold? Tune in next time to find out. Can you see? Luke is a brilliant character, he's always wearing that stupid scarf which doesn't suit his outfit at all, but it's his thing! Even when he's disguised himself, it's still prominently displayed. I mean, how else would we have known that this kid was him in his flashback? I mean, he could have been this diver guy, who got his arms and legs ripped off. The animators had some fun with his scarf too, one of my favourite jokes is when Luke is chanting up a girl and flings it over his shoulder, only to have it slide back down. It's subtle, but it's hilarious to me for whatever reason. 
Later on, Bayonetta points a gun at a small child, has weird flashbacks about someone singing who sounds awfully similar to Bayonetta, and there's that same small child. Again, ooh, what sort of crazy mystery does this plot thread hold? Who is this small girl with black hair and, and glasses and, and red ribbons in her hair? Ooh, it's a mystery. We've also got a boss fight here. It's not too hard, but you still gotta pay attention. Whoops. Now, once we head into chapter three, we start seeing the angels a little more in depth. These aren't your everyday run-of-the-mill enemies here. They have emotions, personalities, fears. Look at this one. He's scared of spiders, that's adorable. These guys aren't actively seeking out Bayonetta, she's hunting them. And it kind of makes you feel sorry for them. Apart from this thing, Jesus Christ, as if children couldn't get even more terrifying. Oh, this is some whacked up shit. I don't think I can go on. Little Luca, what do you think? Father! You're right. Dad, I'm scared! And son, I called, but I don't see you getting me a fucking sweater. Bayonetta manages to piss off the magic flying turkey to the point where he engulfs the town with lava in order to get rid of her. But as always is the case with Bayonetta, she gets out unscathed. Now I might as well mention the Alfheim here, as I actually tried it in this chapter. In each chapter, there's a portal hidden somewhere that leads to the Alfheim, a sort of challenge room. In here, you're given a task, and if you manage to complete it, you get a reward. As well as another medal for your reward. <coughs> Shit's hard, boy! In all my time playing, I've managed to complete a total of... One. One Alfheim challenge. And well, to be honest, I haven't exactly found most of them anyway, but the ones I did find were crazy hard. Stay in the air for 30 seconds? Bitch, please, I can barely stay alive for 30 seconds. I'm sure things are a lot easier in easy mode, where the game automatically does combos for you, but... We ain't about pussy out here on Radical Soda. Let's... Get... Playing. Okay. After we've escaped the burning town, the next area is... This volcano, I guess? Uh-oh, that's... These guys are hard! We meet these guys in the normal story a little later on, and they're not a joke even then. But these guys are improved versions, meaning they're super aggressive, and which time doesn't even work on them. They ain't as bad as Yawn, of course. I mean, they don't break your combo. But when there's two of them, and there always is, you kill one of them fast or they're killing you. I mean it. Look at those claws, and they'll go, rawr, rawr. Welcome back to Radical Soda's Bayonetta Tips and Tricks, episode one. Kill the fire guy first, because he's got the Beyblade hands. Yeah, look at that damage. Oh, and here are the guys I was talking about earlier. Well, at least they're not as bad as the improved version. What do you mean, there's three of them? I can do better, I can do better. I don't want a stone statue. Whoa there, demon buddy. Getting a bit grabby there, aren't we? Can you sue hell for sexual harassment? Even if you could, I mean, I don't know whether it would actually go through or not, because, you know, Bayonetta's done so much of that herself. Yes, I will keep going back to that. A little later, we find Lucas standing around. Most curious, isn't it, Cheshire? The name is... Yeah. We find Jorn here too, and as it turns out, she's working for the angels? Even though she's been killing them? Ah, crap, not again. Oh, wait, I've got my motherfucking shotguns, bitch! Bayonetta finds the little girl again, who it turns out goes by the name of Cereza, and this time decides to keep her safe as she's been harassed by those no-good angels. That's no good. The little girl is also set on calling Bayonetta Mummy. Hmm, so her mother must look an awful lot like Bayonetta if she's getting them mixed up. Oh, it's still a mystery. Bayonetta can create a shield for the child and meanwhile eject her... spirit? Soul? I, I, I don't know. To fight angels attacking them. And oh boy, they do not seem to be giving a shit about me. Hey, over here! Oh no. Cereza, my dear, watch and learn. Look at this angel, look at him! He's fallen in love with the baby bear, uh, uh, the, the child! This is what I love about the game, the humor is brilliant! Ah, <laughs> oh, I feel so bad now, no! Bayonetta hands off the child to Luca, and at the same time realizing the child can see the angels, even when not in Purgatorio. Oh, oh, oh gee, th this is still a, a mystery! I, I don't I don't have any idea where this could be going. Alright, I'm getting tired of this PE outfit. Let's try uh Ooh, Queen. Oh no, cool! 100,000 halos to get my video demonetized! If it wasn't demonetized already. Well, listen here, you great big goop. You and your sausage fingers can just jog on. Uh. 
Then we're on the highway. Of course, Luke is hot on our trail, kid included, which actually leads to some pretty cute moments. And for some reason, Bayonetta can run faster than a car. I am the one, no. Oh, no. There, there, there's an angel shaped like a like a car there's an angel car that's it I'm done Time to go boom. now we're going fast this bit's fun but the dodge sound effect gets a bit annoying after a while Bayonetta is then transported to some sort of heavenly version of Vigret, and I only mention this because the climax of the boss fight here is brilliant. A goddamn volleyball game. Genius! I, I don't even have to say anything. This game is just hilarious. It gets humor. It really does. Hold on a minute. This isn't the football stadium! And to think, I was just here waiting, ready to yell, GO WILDCATS! You know, I was wondering why the transitions between camera shots looked a little weird, and scrubbing through the video, I found out why. Turns out for a single frame, there's just this. Ah! No need to cry. We'll get you to your mom in no time. Uh, here. I've got some candy if you want. Mmm, Bayonetta summons demon hands, Lucas summons candy. I would actually really love to see a Luca mod with a fists and feet of giant lollipops. Is that cat your friend? Yes, he is. His name is Cheshire. Oh my god, the acting in this scene is on par with Sonic Adventure. Did you bury the body? Yes, I did. His name was- Yeah? His name is Cheshire. He's cute, isn't he? Hmm, so Cereza calls her cat Cheshire, huh? Almost just like how Bayonetta calls Luca the same name. Ooh, it's still a mystery. Just who is this young child? Bayonetta rejoins them, of course, but not before taking out a few more angels, which the shotgun's absolutely demolished, by the way. Holy crap. After that, we're treated to this monstrosity. I've seen enough. After that, we get some more Bayonetta child bonding moments, when it turns out the child owns an Umbran watch. Just like... Bayonetta's! Ah, pfft, that could be anyone's watch! I mean, it's still a mystery! Now we're on a plane. Oh, hi, John! New motorbike, I see. Ooh, nice. Screw you, John! I'm not fighting bear anymore! Take these motherfucking jump guns! Bayonetta then hears a strange man's voice in her head calling her his child. Actually, this has been happening throughout the whole story. I probably should have mentioned it. And here we meet another one of my favorite angels. He swims. He flips. He breaks physics. Seriously, what is he standing on here? He's terrified of spiders. It's CP Enter! After that absolute cakewalk, Bayonetta, Luca, and the kid are making their way to the island to finally get the eyes of the world. Yeah, remember that thing? The whole, you know, reason the story has taken place? Oh, <laughs> oh, no, no. Okay, this scene's meant to have Bayonetta in her regular outfit, but this... Oh, those are some good ruffles. Oh, fuck me. And then they all died. So take me back in time. Thus begins a missile flying segment with remixed music from Space Harrier, surprisingly. Actually, the whole game has a bunch of Easter eggs and references scattered in. Now back to the missile flying segment. Gee whiz, it's not hard, but the y-axis is inverted, and good god knows I hate that. And whenever you dodge, you do a spin, which after a while gets kind of... kind of... <laughs> Again, the section isn't hard, but it would have been nice to be able to change some controls around. You can change around camera controls, but pretty much nothing else. It's very unfortunate, because I play games with one finger resting on the bumpers and triggers, so holding the right bumper to lock on and then dodging with the right trigger is very hard to do effectively. I figured out a little later that pressing the jump button whilst locked on allows you to dodge, but again, I would have just preferred some customization options. When I played Nero Automata, I had a similar problem. Right bumper was shoot and right trigger was dodge. But most of the time, you needed to press both at once. But in that game, I could just switch my shoot button to the left bumper. Beautiful. It's not a huge problem, as I don't use the lock on very often, but using lock on is the easiest way to use some moves instead of wasting time and putting double taps and that sort of thing. On a more interesting note, you can see Bayonetta on the missile here, right? Which means these angels are huge! Where have they been this entire time? Oh, camera switching. Let's see what we have here. Two, it's a, it, it's, it's a two, it, 
two, a 2D section. That's it, Sega. That's it. That's the last fucking straw. After that, we meet Jean again, and she seems to be a little more unstable than before. Gah! She's all set to destroy the whole island we're standing on in order to stop Bayonetta, but Luca intervenes and steals the missile launcher control, I guess you could call it, but is seemingly blown up right there and then, leading into another fight. Oh boy, you know my gripes with the first boss fight with Jean? Well, now she's back and even more aggressive. She has new moves, the second most health in a boss in the entire game. Yeah, she's got more health than this fucking abomination, and even has multiple phases in different locations. Did I mention she was aggressive? I spent over 30 minutes fighting her and I probably would have just rage quit if I hadn't been recording. It took me 30 minutes of trial and error to finally figure out how I was meant to beat her. You have to be in her face 100% of the time. Hit, dodge, hit, dodge. Sounds simple, but there's no other fight in the game similar to this. And unlike other instances when you're rewarded for quick time events, in this one you're punished. Every time. I don't even know if you can actually beat her here. I beat it once in the kicking quick time, but the punches? I even beat my record of 24 with a whopping 26. Yes, I know, very impressive, but even that wasn't enough. What makes it even more of a big middle finger to the player is if you just ignore the prompt and dodge the move instead, you're rewarded with witch time. Rewarded for missing a quick time event, what? Now that I know all this, I can probably beat her without taking any damage. Probably. Maybe. As Jean is dying, I guess. Bayonetta hands her the jewel from her witch watch. Ooh, say that ten times fast. And Jean calls Bayonetta by the name Cereza. Cereza, huh? Just like... Damn it, it's still a mystery! Missiles, the ones that Jean set off before, land on the building, killing Jean and sending Bayonetta flying through another building's window, where Luca and Cereza are waiting. Turns out he survived the explosion thanks to him not trusting... Bitches. I mean... Witches. He sensed something was going to go wrong and grappled to safety with Cereza. All of a sudden, Cereza runs through doors after she too heard that same man's voice from before in her head, calling him... Daddy! Oh, so she's calling the man who was calling Bayonetta child this whole time... Daddy. Hmm... It's almost as if... As if it's a mystery, ready to be solved! But not now though, we don't have enough clues yet. Thus begins the climb to the top of the tower, sporting angels with fun and not so fun sections. COME AT ME! And it all ends up with Bayonetta confronting her father, the Lumen Sage who was exiled so long ago. He's lured Bayonetta here, you know the eyes of the world and the such, but it turns out the eyes of the world isn't a gem. It's the Lumen Sage himself and Bayonetta. <gasps> and also Luca's father was killed by angels, Jean was being mind controlled and then Luca's thrown out a window. Sorry, what? Also Cereza is Bayonetta as a child. What? What? Are you serious? At this point the story becomes plot twist, the game. Everything that was at least slightly obvious is now brought forward, with the most funny part being the mind control bit with Jean. It's just kind of brought up out of nowhere. The Lumen Sage then fuses with baby Bayonetta, ugh, there really is no good way to say that, and a boss fight commences. This fight's pretty cool, he calls down lasers, has some wide telegraphed attacks, Jean, and he even starts killing your demons at one point. But Bayonetta gets the upper hand when she shoots him square in the face with a big red lipstick bullet. What is that? and sends Cereza back to her time, but not before Lucas shows up, because of course he does. Turns out the Lumen Sage isn't quite dead yet though, and captures Bayonetta in order to use her as the left eye to awaken Jubileus, the creator. Probably should have mentioned that that's what the angels were trying to do this entire game. Well here you go, it's happening now! But Jean isn't having any of that, because she's alive. Seriously, how many times are they gonna pretend characters are dead? Luke has already been presumed dead twice now, Cereza once, the Lumen Sage once, and Jean now too? Any more I should know about? Well, yes, actually. After Bayonetta's magic gem frees Jean from her mind control, don't ask at this point, I don't even know what's going on, she leaps aboard the Lumen Sage's building, which has turned into a rocket with a statue headed on the space with a... what? This is so weird, I, 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 I thought I had something wrong, but no, that's actually the story, yep. She leaps aboard the Lumen Sage's building, which has turned into a rocket with a statue on it, headed to space with her motorbike. This game, man. She quickly saves Bayonetta, freeing her from Jubileus's eye, and then proceeds to die. Yeah, I'm sure, I'm sure she'll stay dead. Also, the Lumen Sage blows up the moon. Is that the moon? What is this, Bayonetta Adventure 2? I absolutely love this guy. He somehow sounds so full of emotion and devoid of it at the same time. So Jubileus has revived at half power, thanks to the Lumen Sage still trapped inside, and Bayonetta steps up to finally finish... Oh, oh my. The final fight is really cool, obviously nowhere near as hard as Jean, but it's still quite challenging, at least on hard mode. I really like Jubileus' design too. Never thought I'd ever say I find God sexy, but here I am. 
She, she's pretty sexy, right? Like, it's not just me. There's a couple of different phases in this fight. None are super challenging, but you might get caught off guard here and there if you aren't paying attention. Whoa, chill out, buddy! As we near the end of the fight, Bayonetta summons the equivalent of Jubileus to Inferno, Queen Sheba, who is quite the summoning spell. Queen Sheep is quite large in comparison to Jubileus and proceeds to just beat the ever-living shit out of her to the point where her soul exits her body and collides with the sun. Or I mean it would have if I hadn't messed up and hit a planet first. <laughs> Credits roll. Or not. Turns out Jean, who isn't dead, how about that? Helped out with summoning Queen Sheba, hence the white hair. And now the body of Jubileus is plummeting towards Earth, and it's up to Bayonetta and Jean to destroy it before it's too late. Whoops. They have a touching moment, harkening back to the very first gameplay moment, something we didn't see because it's not in hard mode. And then there's Luca, standing watch from Earth, believing Bayonetta to be dead. Oh, don't be sad, Luca. <laughs> she's obviously alive. I mean, look, she's in Bayonetta 2, isn't she? Oh, it's on Wii U. Forget it, she's dead. And then there's the final cutscene, and it's a blast. I mean, it's where we started. Enzo, my good buddy, good to see you again. It has some genuinely funny moments, one weird moment where Luca's all like, Bennett, I love you. And then BAM, real credits roll, and it's as funky as you'd expect. And then pole dancing. A lot of pole dancing. And that's just the story! And uh, I mean, I've included a lot of other stuff so it doesn't get too monotonous, but I mean, like, there's so much more to talk about! First up is the music! Oh, my goodness, the music! You got, uh, Riders of the Light, Mysterious Destiny, uh, d that other one... Fly Me to the Moon? Probably should remember that one first. It can turn cutscenes into cut movies! Okay, that didn't really make sense, but believe me when I tell you it's some of the best music I've heard in a video game ever. Or even just in general, it's that good. Now I feel like I've spoken enough about the gameplay, I'm sure you can tell what sort of game it is based on what you see here, but just for clarification, it's fast, it's fun, it's rewarding. A game with similar combat is Nier Automata, and in that game you can just kind of spam the dodge button forever, and sometimes even then it's hard to dodge everything at once. But in Bayonetta you get four, I think, dodges, before Bayonetta will do a backflip and become animation lock for a few seconds. And those are not seconds you want to waste, my friend, you will get hit. You can of course reset the dodges by not doing it for like two seconds, or jumping, you know. But it stops you from just hoping to dodge everything and actually helps you to learn to watch for telegraphed attacks and how to dodge accordingly. And you will be rewarded. Well, apart from in the Jean fights where she'll just POW! And watch out for the cutscenes too, they're all in game. If an enemy is firing something at the screen, get ready to fucking dodge because they ain't kidding around. Especially watch out for this when you decide to skip a cutscene. You might be in for a nasty surprise. It's happened to me more than once. You've got Bayonetta's animal transformations like the panther, allowing her to run faster and jump further, something which can be utilized in New Game Plus if you don't feel like fighting. The crow, which is less useful combat-wise, but it certainly saved me from plummeting to my doom a couple times. And you can also do a homing attack for the cost of some magic. And of course you have the contract with Madame Butterfly, which not only allows Bayonetta to double jump and use Wicked Weaves, you know, her giant fists and feet, but look at that shadow. I love little extra secrets in this game just waiting to be discovered as you go along. Speaking of extra stuff, I said I was playing on hard mode. Well, in order to get to hard mode, you must first beat normal mode. And trust me, you don't want to be skipping straight to hard mode on your first playthrough. And beating hard mode needs you with climax mode, where which time is permanently turned off. I don't even want to know how long that'll take me. Maybe I'll do a Honey Bunny episode or something. Not only does beating the game need you with more difficulty options, but also an artwork gallery, model viewers, new weapons, new costumes, you can even unlock new characters. This game is brimming with extra content, and even now I'm going through again and getting all the platinum medals, at least in normal mode. This game's got so much stuff in it that it'd just be paid DLC in games we see today. It's the perfect definition of what I'm looking for in a game nowadays. You got fun characters, great gameplay, lots of replayability, cool unlockables, and then you got, of course, after that you got the great humor all on top of that. It's so great! Not to mention the environments are absolutely beautiful. And even though the story was obvious and even at some point somehow even a little confusing, because it's so full of wacky, funny, crazy moments, I don't even care in the slightest. If you're sitting on the fence about whether you should buy this or not, I say go for it, what do you got to lose? The game's a masterpiece! And it's not for everybody, obviously. But I mean, I didn't think it was for me either, and, and then look at me now, I wish I was sponsored! I, in fact, I am sad that I am not sponsored by this game because I'd gladly sell myself out for it any day. Plus, the game's really cheap on Steam, especially for how much you actually get content-wise here. And people say that Bayonetta 2 is even better. I, I fail to see how they didn't manage to get funding from anyone but Nintendo. They're the last people, I think, to greenlight something like that. There's also been a cheeky sneaky floating around a Bayonetta on the background of each of the Nintendo Joy-Con Switch colors. And while those are the primary colors of each Bayonetta game, uh, this has led many people to believe 
the, the Bayonetta games are going to get ported to Switch. And that is a smart idea for Nintendo to do that because, you know, nobody fucking bought a Wii U. But if there's really no chance of Bayonetta 2 coming to the PC anytime soon, then, well, I guess I'm just going to have to buy myself a Switch. Or, I mean, Nintendo, if you want to see me on, that'd be great too. Love you. Radical Rex. He's a real cool Radical Rex. Radical Rex. That's not even scripted too, but hey, who gives a shit? It's Radical Rex. I literally only played this game because it had Radical in the name, but you know what? This is not a bad video. For the time, for my time. Uh, the rapping sorcerer is a fun character. Radical Rex is a bitch. I don't regret this one at all. Oh my god. Awesome! Legendary. How was that awesome or legendary? Who made this game? Holy shit, I'm speechless. I'm actually fucking speechless. This is a game, a real game. You can actually play this game. What the, that, that, that's his voice. Is this what radical means? Is, is this, is this what it truly means to be radical? Because if so, I don't want any part of it. Ooh, yeah, let's play in easy mode. Or how about we live up to the radical name and go hard? So turbulent, dude! Ah, yes, just what I wanted. More dancing. Ah, uh -huh, yeah, great. Yeah, I mean, you sure are dishing out a real great set of sick moves, you great ugly dino dick. Ah! Ah! Legendary? What kind of crazy animation will this be? Oh. This right arm's movement has been passed down from generation to generation. Even the gods tremble at the thought of this powerful swing. It can annihilate armies with one flick of the wrist. Can smite whole cities with one wave. Can decimate planets with one punch. And the left arm! Hey, you know, it's wave. Radical Rex, everybody! Please just fucking play this shit, I don't give a shit anymore. Oh look, an evil sorcerer with a spell. That's a neat new idea. Oh, how, uh, gnarly. He's rhyming. Five seconds in, I want to quit. Good lordy me, this game is shit. But before we get into this crap, get ready for my sorcerer rap. What is this bunk? I have no clue. To play this game, there is no cue. Grab your gear, the sorcerer's here. To play this game's my one true fear. So fake a grin, and let's begin. Our death awaits us, not far in. Still want to play? You will be missed. Have fun, my friend, you masochist. Yeah! Sorcerer rap. Uh, okay, we can, uh, breathe fire, because, you know, dinosaurs could do that. Oh, sweet! Look at my six skateboard tricks! Way! What, did you expect something better? Because you ain't getting shit, bitch. Whoa, gee, this dinosaur sure has attitude. Look at that rebellious stunts. Boy, it sure is creative and original. Hello, my baby. Hello, my honey. Hello, my rack. I'm yeah. Oh, boy, I'm doing it! The boys at the skate park are gonna be so jealous. What? Uh, I can't get enough speed to get up there. Can, can I just? Can I just get off the? Can I get off the fucking skateboard? Now you may be thinking to yourself, why would Radical Soda pause a perfectly good game? Well, that's the thing. I haven't. I, I can't get up here. How, how the hell do I get off my skateboard? I'm pressing every fucking button. Awesome. What? Ow! You Dumb bird. Ah! Oh, fall damage! And form the townsfolk! Bobsy's back! Kill him with fire! It won't die! Hiding from Bubsy Bobcat. Day 32. It's a good thing I found this pencil and paper inside the snake's stomach. It's come in handy keeping me occupied. Although this Vore thing people keep talking about really isn't all they make it out to be. Wait a moment. I think I heard something. I thought I was the only one seeking refuge in the stomach of a snake. But it seems that is not the case. I will attempt and interaction. Hello, my good sir. Who might you be? Smokin! Whoa! Oh, I really don't want to. Okay, let's go. Ah, oh, no, not this guy again. To restart the game, it makes me cry. To be honest, I'd rather die to subject yourself to this hell. I can tell you ain't doing well. Lo and behold, you've got no chance to beat this game. You'll have to dance to the social rap. Bits rhymes are true. I've got a big penis. How about you? Sorry, what? Hmm? What? Yeah, what? Did you just... Did you... What'd you say in that last bit? Nothing, nothing. I, I said, uh, uh, let's go to the zoo. You know what? I'm glad you invited me here. Me too. I didn't even know they had a zebra exhibit. Yeah. 
I love zebras. Mm-hmm. I want to stick my huge penis inside them. Whoa, man, whoa. Huh, what? I, I just said I want to uh, ride them with my penis. You have problems, man. I know. I'm doing it! I'm finally living up to the name Radical Rex! Oh, yeah, that's good level design! You know what? That's it! What? What do you want? I'm gonna craft a wind-up Shiva. I need... I need one blood paper. How much are the blood papers? And we're back to Radical Rex! My name is Rex, I'm back for more. I got a whole new flow that you can't ignore. I got jumps for days and a great big tip five minutes in and you'll feel real sick. Who's the man behind this funky rap? It's the sorcerer. He's a great old chap. He's all set to burn you with his rhymes. It's just one of his many crimes. Yo, sorcerer! I'm a super mean dude. I burn down homes and I steal your food. They never thought I could beat this cool. Well, who's the one without a whom now, fool? My sexuality's all whack. I never thought I'd like zebra. Crap. Whoa, whoa, hold on, hold on, hold on, what, what, what is with all this rapping, what's with the friggin' zebra crack, I don't, I don't, can, can we do something else, please, I have an idea, you know, I, I doubts after last time, but this, this has been really fun, yeah, it's been quite pleasant, hasn't it, well, Rex, what do you think, Rex, so you, uh, come here often, Rex, get out of there, what? Why? Hey, there's a dinosaur in the exhibit! Oh my god! What's he doing in there? Now, now, people, there's nothing to be afraid of. He's just Radical Rex. Hey, that's the guy who burned down my house! Get him! No! Wow, such innovative and complex gameplay. Looks like I'm in a forest place of some sort. Oh, there's one of those stupid-ass birds, okay. Uh-oh, we're falling! Uh, okay, so so what the hell was the point of that cutscene if I'm not gonna start there? Come again? Did you fart or are you just filled with air? I don't... I died... from a tree. A FUCKING TREE?! NO NO! DON'T MAKE ME DO THIS AGAIN! Oh no! Third time to start! What will ensue? It's a mega rap by me, it's true, so put up your hands and cheat real fast! This rap's gonna be a real fucking blast! There's zebra sand, so to be had... One, two, three, I swear it's not sad to the stripey ones. My love is true, I'm gonna put my peen in you. Their names are heard for miles around. Now stop, why? Come on! Okay, I finally made it back to the second level, and it turns out you can slide into the fucking trees. Gee, I sure am glad they conveyed that well. Oh, oh my, th th this, this is the climbing animation. What? I'm just gonna take the easiest path so I can finish the goddamn level. Dinosaur, no thanks, I'm out of here. This level has been sloping downwards this entire time, so I can only assume it either wants me to go there or it's... Say goodbye, you fucking radical Rex! I ain't ever seeing you again! I'm gonna play an actual good game, screw this, man. All right, here I am, ready to enter the Cave of Wonders. Let's go. Dead dragon here. Ooh, that's a fancy-looking light rock thing. Yeah, I suppose we can fight some- Oh! Oh god no, it's Radical Rex! He's out for revenge! Run for it! He's got nothing to lose! Jesus, another one! It's just cause of Jubilant Tim! God fucking damn it! Next up is Sonic 1, because Sonic Mania hadn't come out on PC yet, and that was the only way I could record gameplay at the time. This video is... It's fine. It's okay. It does the job. Uh, I have noticed going through these, I tend to go on random tangents about something completely different every now and again, completely breaking the pace of the video. I, I guess I had a lot to talk about. Actually, that's got to be the case. How else do you get a video on Sonic 1 of all things to be 16 minutes in length? <laughs> oh boy! Sonic Mania is coming out today! Let's have a play! No, it can't be! No! 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 I... Before you start singing, there's something you should know. Well, what's that, computer man? Everybody who pre-ordered Sonic Mania on PC got a little special something extra as an apology for the delay. Ooh. They got... Yes? A free copy? Yes? Of Sonic 1! Whoa! Wait, 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 I've already got that. Oh. So I get nothing? You get nothing! You lose! Living in the city! Welcome back to another great episode of Radical Soda, an episode which didn't have to be re-recorded because all the footage got corrupted. Kill me!
So we're nearing the release date of Sonic Mania, for PC anyway. You know what's worse than not even being able to play the game? It's not being able to watch the freaking YouTube videos on them. You got Jim Sterling, Ant Dude, The Completionist, Some Call Me Johnny, Game Gramps. I can't watch any of them because I can't freaking get in the fucking spoilers for game and then just get bored. Anyway, with that coming up and all, I thought, what could be a better time than right now? to review the one game that started it all. The one, the only, the legendary Sonic the Hedgehog. Ah, not that one! Sonic the Hedgehog. Boy, this game really takes me back. Ever since I first played it. Hey! Where's my Mania review? What? what? Oh, hey, it's my favorite YouTube commenter, SonicFan32. My Mania review! Where is it? You better be working on it! Well, SonicFan32, do you see a PS4 or a Nintendo Switch anywhere in this room? Well, no! Oh, I see! Okay, so you want to donate a console and a copy of the game to me so I can play it before the PC version comes out? N no I can't do that! I GET IT! Sonic the Hedgehog! This game... What, do you expect the lesson on the history of Sonic? You think I'm just gonna regurgitate everything about his inception? Oh no! Everybody already knows how we came to be, like how he was one of the ideas for a video game mascot that could rival the popularity of Mario, with previous incarnations including a pajama clothed man, later redesigned into the villain, a different anthropomorphic animal called... Feel... the... rabbit... Ugh. To an armadillo, then finally a hedgehog, who originally had a girlfriend called Madonna and was part of a band of animals that actually housed the first appearance of Victor the Crocodile, who later appeared in Knuckles Chaotix. <laughs> Everybody already knows that stuff, no need to go over it again. Although I will bring attention to this image, what, 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 what is this? Who? I, we got an man here looking like a B-movie reject, a cannon with legs, a hand with wings and stork eyes, an exclamation point, okay. Another hand, this one's looking like Glover's evil twin here. Uh, what is that? A deformed Grand Bull? Not to mention this creepy ass motherfucker in the background. Jesus, I think they made the right call getting rid of him. Of course, we have Madonna here looking like she's about to face Oh, <gasps> That's it! I thought I was gonna have to put Classic Poppy on the thumbnail because, well, let's face it, I don't think her only wearing gloves and shoes would go down very well with family friendly YouTube. But I can dress her up like Madonna! Oh, no, not that one. You know, I first played the original Sonic the Hedgehog on a PS2 of all things, with the help of Sonic Mega Collection. Oh, how does it keep doing that? This collection's great, along with the original Sonic, it's got Sonic 2, Sonic 3, Sonic & Knuckles, Sonic 3D Blast, Sonic Drift, Sonic... Lab... Labyrinth... The ooze. Woo... Woo... Sludge... No matter how old I get, it's still disturbing. The first time I played this game on the Mega Collection, I actually entered the manuals instead of the games, not really knowing what I was doing. After all, I was a kid, what do you expect? I ain't ever heard of the word manual before, give me a break, come on! And it was only after waiting a whole 15 minutes for the game to load, just staring at the manual cover, I realized my mistake. Yeah, it took me 15 minutes to realize a game from the Genesis era probably didn't need to load this long. But I mean, hey, come on, I played Spyro 4, what do you expect? That game has similar loading times, right? So let's get into it, shall we? I mean, anything to distract me from the Sonic Mania spoilers running rampant through the internet right now, I mean, I get it. The game's out, you can play it, you can make a video on it. But when you put the final boss in a thumbnail... Fuck! Yeah! Sonic the Hedgehog begins with... Well, Sonic the Hedgehog, what you see is what you get. What you see is what you get. Just a guy what? what? Sonic? I, I can't hear you, the music's really loud! Is this supposed to be like a reprint? I can't tell! The game just kind of flings you into the first level, Green Hill Zone, as these old games tend to do. You can read about the plot in the manual, although to be honest, it's not really needed. You can get the gist of it just from playing. Unless, of course, you want to learn all about those badniks. Caterkiller! Ah! Goddamn, I love it! People ask me all the time, they ask me, Rad, just how good are you at this game? Have you put as much time and effort and dedication into mastering this game as you had with Sonic Heroes, with Sonic Lost World, with Sonic Labyrinth? And to them I say... Yes. No? Sonic 1, when compared to the other classic Sonic games, is... Different? Not in terms of gameplay, uh, Sonic can still spin, jump, roll, uh, run fast. Well, he really can't do much in this game. But the level design is completely different when comparing it to Sonic 2 or 3. Does that mean it's bad? Well, sometimes. Now, I give Sonic CD plenty of shit for its clusterfuck level design designed to make it as hard as possible to progress. If you mess up, it'll more than likely shove you back 30 or 40 seconds worth of level and make you do it again. Sonic 1 doesn't do that. It just fucking kills you. The levels themselves aren't complicated in any way. I was never confused as to where I needed to go, but they could be a little... 
unfair at times. Oh gee, that's great, it's all that in time. All right, let's just start all over again, whoa. Let's take a look at the game level by level. I think that's a fair way to go through it. Let's start off with Green Hill Zone. I'm ready to uh, uh, rotate my nips. At the very first, hey, hold on, I need, I need the Green Hill from Sonic 1. Sonic 1. 1. The first Sonic game. Okay, now I know you're just being a dick. As the very first thing kids are gonna see when they started the game, the level needed to be fast, fun, and colorful. All aspects that Sonic was advertising. And for the most part, yeah, it's just that. It's bright and colorful, you can utilize Sonic's speed, and all in all, it's really quite enjoyable. The music's good too, although I really am just guessing at this point. I've heard it so many times in so many different renditions, it's kind of just lost all meaning. Through Green Hill and every other zone, you can collect rings, the main collectible in the game, and essentially what is Sonic's health. When you get hit, whether that be from an enemy or a trap, Sonic will lose his rings and you'll have to pick up as many as you can before they disappear. Imagine Mario eating a mushroom and then when he gets hit he throws it up again so we can eat it again. Actually, no, don't imagine that, it's kind of gross. If you collect 50 rings and manage to hold on to them throughout the zone, you can leap into a giant ring which will take you to the special zone. That's what it's called. I, I know it sounds very odd to all you long-time Sonic fans, but before we had special stages, we had special... zones. And oh boy, are they... Well, they're here. Not only do the special zones come with a free headache, they're also where you can attempt to collect the six Chaos Emeralds. Notice how I said attempt. Because goddamn, I'm never in control of these things. Also, free with the special zone, you get to taste your lunch again. <laughs> the level spins automatically and can be sped up, slowed down, or even reversed by bouncing off of these, uh, buttons, shapes, mints. Looks like some candy to me. There's also bumpers and gold buttons. The bumpers will, well, bump you away from them. Whether they be a good or a bad thing depends on the placement of the gold buttons. You see, this is pretty much the only time in a Sonic game where goal actually means DON'T TOUCH IT! So much as brush a quill on one of these things and you're out of there without the emerald, mind you. Of course, I slammed into these ones with all the dignity of a dinosaur riding a skateboard, but you get my point. But however, if you do manage to get the emerald, you get... The emerald... Nothing really happens, but I mean, you have it, I guess. You may have also noticed earlier I said six emeralds. Yeah, it's pretty much only for three games, two of them being Sonic 1 and Sonic 2 on the Game Gear, but the Sonic series originally only had six emeralds. Nothing really other than that to mention about it. I mean, the Cyan one's the newest one, if you were wondering. You probably weren't. Kind of useless information, really. Welcome back to Radical Soda Sonic the Hedgehog Tips and Tricks Episode 1! The seventh emerald, which doesn't appear in this game, is the Cyan one! Wait, what? How is this a tip or a trick? Each zone is 3x, and then at the end of the third is a boss fight. Here we have good old Eggman, don't tell me he's robotic, I don't give a shit, with a swingy ball. Something so I I incredibly easy to beat. <laughs> After this incredibly unique boss fight, damn, 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 we hop into a capsule to find lots of little animal critters inside, freeing them from becoming Eggman's robots in the future. And that's it, I guess, so smash robots to free animals, stop Eggman every third act, and repeat until the credits roll. But let's not get ahead of ourselves, after all, there's still five more levels to go through, so let's go and have a look. After the speedy, colorful antics of Green Hill Zone, just what awaits us in Marble Zone? What? Blue Streak! Speed Fight! Sonic the Hedgehog! Marble Zone's a big change in pace from Green Hill. In Green Hill, you can pretty much continue running through no matter which path you take. In Marble Zone, there's pretty much only one path, and it involves waiting. A lot of waiting. You're gonna be waiting for all sorts of shit. Traversing lava? Waiting. Pushing blocks? Waiting. Moving platforms? Waiting. It's a fair bit harder, too, and there's a reason for that. See, the original Sonic 1's level order was a fair bit different. It started off with Green Hill, of course, but the levels progressed in technology themes as the game progressed. The real second level was gonna be... Labyrinth Zone! Oh, hell no! We'll get to Labyrinth Zone in just a second, don't worry, we will, but for now, let's just have a look at some of the interesting things in Marvel Zone. Well, for one thing, I discovered the secret room. I had no idea this was ever here. Heck, maybe you didn't either. It was quite the surprise, believe me. It was also in Marble Zone where I discovered the incredible WALKING JUMP! It seems that when Sonic's at a specific position on a platform, he'll rise into the air without curling into a ball. Funny, but probably not so great when you're trying to attack an enemy. So not only did I discover the incredible WALKING JUMP, but I also rediscovered the not so incredible SONIC ONE BITCH SPIKES. Actually, that does not deserve an echo. Basically, if you jump on spikes and get hit and land on spikes again, they'll just ignore your invincibility frames and just kill you outright. Yeah, even this puny little thing. It's not even facing towards me! What's he doing, slamming his hedgehog junk into the pole? Uh, I'm just not really a fan of Marble Zone. I mean, even as a kid, I'd get to the stage and then just kind of give up. It's really jarring to go from this to this in the span of one level. Plus, you know, it's the worst Sonic player in existence. And still at, baby! Don't you forget about me. 
Half the marble zone, we're onto Spring Yard Zone, a casino themed level, I think. It's kind of hard to tell. I'm guessing that we're going for more of a dystopian version here, but eh, kind of drab looking to be honest. Not very interesting. This theme was of course improved in Sonic 2 and 3, where 2 did the whole casino gambling thing brilliantly, and 3 did a carnival night thingamajiggy, which is still one of my favorite Sonic levels today. And don't give me that shit about the Barrel of Doom, I had figured it out as a kid, it only took me two time overs. All in all, not a bad stage, it, it's good. Thumbs up. Well done. Lovely. And then there's Labyrinth Zone! Oh boy, where to begin? Whoa, we sure are speeding through! Look at these radical colors, huh? Wow, Sonic's fast too. Sonic's fast too. Sonic's fast. I can do it though, I'm the Supreme Sonic King! I have to play the whole game! All over again! I just can't do this shit, I just can't play anymore You claim your game is fast, but here I am on the floor I'm gonna flip my shit, I'll put you back into the drawer I hear you calling out, I just can't take it This gun is jammed Oh, that's right, I have to do the review Well here we go again! Oh Sonic baby, why'd you go and do this? Why? I loved you so, I loved you baby! Why don't you have save files like in Mario? Oh, don't pick your little hedgehog cause she a fucking mean it dude, I really mean it! Okay, I'm back in Labyrinth Zone, I'm in it to win it, I've got the skill, the speed, the... Why do I bother? Why is life worth living? Never fear, folks, I have the answer, and it is cheap. We I accomplish game! Finally, Starlight Zone, one of the best levels from Sonic 1, with one of the best tracks in any Sonic game. What do you want from me?! Starlight Zone is, weirdly enough, the only level to bring back the loop-de-loop. -loop. Unless I'm mistaken, in which case, I don't care! It's also the only level to have all of its enemies completely immune to Sonic's spin attack. I never really noticed it when playing it as a kid, but now that I look at it, yeah, no real robots to be seen, just these cute little suicidal bomb fellas. Well, I mean, and, and, the, and, these, and these spiky guys, but they can't die either, you know? You know, they, they don't, they, they have spikes and they don't, they don't move and they- Also, this part in Labyrinth Zone gets sucked by ass! I forgot to put it in, I'm putting it in now, alright? Shove off, calm your tits, take a chill pill. Pfft, jog on. Starlight's alright, that's all I need to say. Let's move on. Here we are, Scrap Brain Zone, the final level. This place is traps galore, and no, not the kind you're thinking of. Get your mind out of the gutter. Radical Six, really? Can't you go five minutes without turning everything you see into a horny adolescent brain fart? Also, today, class, we're going to have a small spelling lesson. <laughs> the word rapping's got two P's, all right? Remember that. I'd rather not check the comments to see you think I've got great... Well, you get the point, not a good look, all right? Back to Scrap Brain. You know what? It's not too bad. I died once or twice near the start of the level, and it was smooth sailing from there on. Of course, I couldn't utilize any of Sonic's speed, although there were some spinny things which gave me Sonic CD flashbacks. Ah! Ah! God, the flashbacks too! Cut it out, man! Once we beat the second act, Eggman, with the help of his handy-dandy man-sized button, opens a trap beneath Sonic, plunging him into... Labyrinth Zone! Bring back on the traps! Bring on the bubbles! Bring on the slowdown, Jesus! Hey, moron! You can't just do Sonic 1 like that! You're not even playing the best version! You gotta play the Christian Whitehead version on the App Store! Ah, yes, Sonic Fan 32. Of course. Let me just get my, uh, phone here. Yes. Uh, yep, the App Store, was it? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yep. Yep, doesn't even turn on. It's broken. You beat the level, or die over and over, it's your choice, and you finally get to fight the Eggman. He's in the tubes. One foiled scheme later, and it's back to Green Hill Zone, with all your animal pals you saved along the way. Apart from the ones you didn't, who are now destined to forever roam the deserted wastelands of what was once Eggman's empire. Then the game tells you to try again because you didn't get all the Chaos Emeralds. And what do the Chaos Emeralds do, you may ask? Flowers! Look! There they are! It's not a huge waste of time, no! So was Sonic 1 a bad game? No, not really. But is it a good game? No, 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 not really. I don't know where to put it, you know? I mean, it was the first ever Sonic game. Of course it's not gonna get everything right in one go, but am I gonna be coming back to it anytime soon? Hell no, not unless I absolutely have to. And especially what with Mania coming out soon. For PC. 
And so, what do you know? This hasn't quenched my thirst for Sonic Mania in the slightest. In fact, I think it's made it stronger. God, I just want to play the game. <gasps> Could it be? Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. They sent me a Switch, everybody. Nintendo finally sent me a Nintendo Switch. It's a day for the ages. I knew we could be friends, Nintendo. I just knew it. I knew we could. Well, this is worthless. Ah! Come on, Nintendo. You really had me going there. After all, it is my birthday soon. By the way, it's 28th of August. I expect gifts! Up next is something completely different, uh, uh, just a little bit of Final Fantasy XIV. I was playing it a lot back in 2017, oh my god, how long have I been doing this? To be honest, uh, uh, maybe just skip to the part where Neil joins in. It's kind of iffy up until that point, it's about 15 minutes in. We also play some Pokemon near the end, so if you want to see that instead, you can skip there. Hello everybody, welcome to Final Fantasy XIV. Now, I know what you're thinking. This isn't Sonic Mania, as you can clearly tell. You know, I really wanted to play Sonic Mania. Uh, it, it looks like a good game, doesn't it? Well, uh, uh, the fact is I'm, I'm quite livid with the game right now. I had it, I played it for an hour, uh, I tried, I, I was like, okay, that's some good recording stuff, let's go back in, because I didn't get enough footage to record everything. And then, uh, uh save file was corrupted, so I was like, uh, well, okay, I mean, I don't mind starting from scratch, that's fine. I think I just have to interject right now that I was going on to Sonic Mania here. I was gonna be like, okay, I'll press play so the error comes up so I can show you guys. And Sega. now the game just fucking works. I don't get it. I didn't do anything. I, I don't, I, Sonic, why? I, I had the save data corruption and everything. And, and now, 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 now there's, there's, there's none. It, it's fine. It's perfectly fine. Look, I, 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 I I don't... Oh! I had a bad feeling in my gut for the longest time, and now it's gone. Thank you, Sonic Mania, for somehow fixing yourself. I don't know what happened. I have no fucking clue, dude. What happened? Can anyone explain this? <laughs> nice music, though. You're not getting any Sonic Mania footage, though. No, 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 no. This game has not earned that. N next video. Next video. Oh, my God. And, yeah, that's where I'm stuck at now, so, uh, fuck Sonic Mania. And, uh, yeah, I might just have to pirate the game as it gets put on the pirate bay. That's sad. I'm gonna have to pirate a game I bought. That's, that's really sad when you, when you can't play a game you bought. Uh, but for now, uh, this is gonna be my birthday special. Final Fantasy! Hip hip! Hooray! <laughs> Hooray! You may have, uh, if you tuned into my first Final Fantasy video, you may have noticed that I was a, uh, dragon person before. Now I'm a cat. This is originally what my character looked like before I did, um, before I used the Fantasia that you get for free when you, uh, play the game for a set amount of time. But, um, back to my regular old self. Uh, so that's great. Yeah. So first things first, welcome to my room. Do I have the welcome emote here? I... no. No, I don't. Uh... Oh no, I, I don't have the welcome emote here. Oh, that, that's the cutest animation right there. Yeah, so this is my room. Uh, obviously, I don't have... I, God, I hate that wardrobe. I have to get rid of it. Obviously, I don't have the, the most expensive stuff. I have a lovely marble uh, chandelier here. I uh, got my little Tom Berry statue here. This is my little minion guy, uh, Ultros. He's, he's a little creeper. Some sort of two-stringed instrument here. Got my wedding cake here because I'm married in the game. Uh, I'm married to a midget, by the way. Uh, weirder than you think it is. We're gonna be in for a ride here, so so sit back, sit back and relax. Anyway, this is our uh, free company house. It, it's not very big, but uh, I, I think we are uh, saving up for a mansion of, of the sorts. I'll, I'll head on downstairs. This is quite nice. You got the mender. You can you can mend your gear. So let's uh, let's let's do that right there. Oh, it's, oh, such great gameplay. And here we are. This is the Bahamut. Uh, no, that's that's Ifrit. Sorry. Uh, by the way, my character's name is called Sidian. Uh, it's not Poppy. Uh, I think a couple people thought it was uh, Poppy when I did the art for the thumbnail. But uh, nope, this is 
her own character, and that, I, I made the art because I was hoping I could make a little mini-series out of this. Tell me what you think, because even if it doesn't get as many views as, like, my other videos, I don't really care. I, I would like to do something with this. They'd probably end up being, like, uh, speedrun honey buns. Also, prepare for lots of zooming in and zooming out, because I, I tend to adjust my camera a bunch while playing. But, uh, I thought it would be really cool. Oh, oh, oh. Whoa. I thought it would be really cool to go through, uh, my mounts. And show you guys what exactly I, I do in the game to uh, get these mounts, so... Oh, it'll be like a little informative exercise. So this is the company Chocobo. Pronounced Chocobo. I had I had a friend, well, I still have a friend, calling them uh, Chocobos, I think. I think it was the way he was saying. Or Chocobos. That was it. Chocobos. Ugh. Uh, next one up is the Black Chocobo. Have, is this culturally insensitive yet? This is the Draft Chocobo. I think I said that right. It can have two people on it. So if you've got a person in your party and you want to, uh, let's say they don't have any mounts yet or they can't go very fast, they can't fly, you can straight up just say, hop on my back and boom, off to the start. I can't fly here because it's not a flying area. Here's the Magitek armor. I'm sure we're all enthralled at this point. Uh, I'm just showing you what you can get. Because if, if you don't like this, then we don't like my videos. So, that, oh, wow. Where did he go? I don't like how most of the beasts that you ride have like just whites for eyes. It's really creepy. Araman. This guy is from, or Araman, I don't know. This guy's from the, also playing a game for a set amount of time. Uh, he's, I mean, he's here. This guy's big. My friend Henry, uh, you might've known him from Truffle, Truffle Mub. Uh, I, I don't upload on that channel anymore. Maybe, maybe sometime in the future, but uh, he said it looks like the Scooby-Doo villains from from the original Scooby-Doo movie, uh, the live-action one. And I gotta agree with him. <laughs> He's pretty disturbing. See, again, the whites of the eyes. Ugh. Can, can, can we not have pupils? Hear that? Yeah, that's nice. This is another one, the, the Sanua. That's from the... Here is Fartybug. He makes noises. This is another Beast Tribe one, the Moogles, which I will show you, maybe today, maybe another day, who knows? It can do this. This is Ixion. Now this, I stayed up till six in the morning to get this bugger. Here's my least favorite mount. Can you guess why? Because the bloody thing's so goddamn pointy. You try to play the, and look, it, it, the thing's in your fucking face half the time. It's not, God, I hate this one. Every time I use Mount Roulette, I know for a fact you can actually change the music when you're on a mount. Play music when mounted, there we go. <laughs> See, some mounts have specific mount music. Uh, so, I, I don't know whether uh, this one does. Very quiet mount music. Wow, okay. Oh, this is Ifrit's music. This is, this is, you get this pony from Ifrit, the, the, the big beastie guy I showed before. Show him again! <laughs> yeah, there he is. Basically, each of these ponies are pretty much the same thing. Garuda's mount, which is like a bird lady. Then there's the uh, Titan, which is a rock dude. Then there's the water, uh, which is a giant serpent. Then there's lightning, which is a man. You don't ask, I, I don't know either. Okay, so this has been a really boring first like 10 minutes, but we're almost there. Wow. How about we do a dungeon? I'm in Tonberry, the, the server, uh, but unfortunately it's congested. So if you do want to join me in my escapades in Final Fantasy, if this video compels you to play, you, you would be able to join me if the server wasn't congested. Because as of right now, the only way you're going to join if is if somebody unsubscribes. Oh boy, I just have not even begun to like say anything about the game. I've said about free company houses and mounts, and that's literally all I've said. Yeesh. Uh, and I haven't even said what a free company is. It's basically a whole bunch of people all together. If you're in the Tom Berry server and you want to join our free company, feel free unless you've already got a free company, in which case don't friend request me because I will not take it. I just won't. Sorry, I just generally, I generally, Lilla, I generally don't take friend requests. So I'm going to try and get one, two, three. No, absolutely not. Oh, no. Huh, huh. Uh, 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 I, I guess. Howdy. Can I, can I get a protect? Uh, no, are, are we not? Oh, all right. Oh no, there we go. So we have a new conjurer here. Uh, you can you can tell because their icon isn't of the the white mage. It's of the conjurer. You have uh, you have classes and then you have jobs. 
So I'm not gonna go pulling a bunch of stuff because I'm afraid this this conjurer won't be able to heal me properly. But uh, it, it should we, we should we should hopefully be okay. So this is one of the dungeons I don't like particularly. Uh, I've had this dungeon like three or four times in a row. So basically, what I'm doing here is I'm trying to get the attention of every enemy. But no, I don't want to target the fucking set. The, 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 not the sapling. Yes, I do. I am trying to target the sapling. God damn it. So basically, you can jump right to level 60 of a class and finish all the story uh, by just paying a bit of money. And I mean, I'm not against that because not everybody has all the time in the world. But again, this is an MMO, so you shouldn't be playing it if you don't have a lot of time on your hands. And even though I don't, uh, I, I do tend to enjoy the game because I, I play very late in, the, in into the night. I find this dungeon goes on way too long. I did show off the customization of your characters in my first Final Fantasy video, so if you're interested in that, either go watch that or just, you know, try the game out for yourself. Uh, it's a big game, I warn you. When trying to get Sonic Mania working, I reinstalled Steam, and in order to do that, I had to back up all my games. Final Fantasy XIV does not back up well. It is not like being backed up. Uh, or verified. Don't verify the game and don't back it up because it will re-download everything. But as you can tell, I am a laggy baggy. It's not too bad. The lag's not unplayable, obviously. I've got like over a thousand hours in this game, so it's not too bad. Sometimes like that, it, it, it doesn't help. <laughs> like some things just can't be helped. Like sometimes you'll get hit by something you just straight up couldn't dodge. Yeah, uh, this is probably the worst the first dungeon. If you've, if this is like the first dungeon you've ever seen. Oh boy, I feel sorry for you because this is not a good dungeon. There are so many great dungeons in this game, and we might be able to do them a little later on. Uh, I might level up my red mage, and you'll be able to see some of the really nice uh, inventive dungeons. Uh, but for now, we are stuck in this bloody spidery hellhole. I thought it was cool the first time I played it, but uh, it's not that great. All right, I got everyone. If we just aim for the boss, it should be fine. Yep, that's good. <laughs> and there was a limit break right there. Uh, that was by our people, so that's the uh, that's the archer limit break, as well as the gunner limit break. Okay, so bye everybody. And I'll I'll give it to the conjurer because they're a, they're a great up and coming conjurer. Howling talons. I do not need these. I'll show you all my classes next. Actually, I think that'll be a fun fun thing. Usually. Oh, wow, nobody gave me a commendation? Wow. I thought I did a good job there, guys. Come on. Wow, that's really rude. And on the tank as well. Usually tanks and healers get the commendations. Normally it's healers um, during the early dungeons, because everyone's like, Oh yeah, healer, they heal. They're, they're the best people, so we'll give them the commendations. Damn it! So close to getting one, two, three. But in the later dungeons, uh, my friend who mains tank just shot over me with player commendations. I think I have a little over 300. Yeah. Uh... Oh! Did I level up? Just a glamour. It's a tire. And now I look like this. Ooh, and my boobs got bigger. For some reason, like, I'll show you. I, 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 I specifically picked the boobs to not be so big. It was like 30 out of 100, I think I picked. And yet, when I change into my... Into that costume... Uh, stop. Suddenly, wazam, there they are. Someone's padding. Minfelia, I think I've learned your secret. You can't fool me. Actually, Minfelia, the character, I'll put up an image. She actually, her, I don't, I don't want to speak about boobs for fucking 10 minutes. Uh, her, her breasts, her boobles are actually bigger than what the race of her allows, Midlander. Uh, Square Enix literally went out of their way to make this costume's boobs bigger than usual. So that's cool. I mean, I don't mind. We're gonna change classes because I thought this would be a fun place to do it in. I don't know. Here's White Mage, everybody. This is my main class. Uh, I didn't actually start off as a White Mage, believe it or not. Or a Conjurer for that instance. I started off as a Pugilist, which goes into Monk. Weaver! Uh, you make stuff. You can, you can make all sorts of clothing, but a lot of the stuff, like, needs a lot of materials, which you just are not gonna have. For example, I, in my Radical Rex video, I showed I need blood peppers for this shit. Those are like, you know, 90,000 gil. But even worse than that, I really want an owl die. Uh, you know, let's, let's go back to mist. <laughs> There's better lighting there. Yeah, 
See, that's that's like half my gill, and I'm not spending half my gill for a friggin' for an outfit. Oh, I died it last time. Oh no, this one's just died. What's it died anyway? That looks like pure white dye. Uh, these ones aren't dyed, these ones are just regular. That's what it regularly looks like, and to be honest, I would probably dye it white. So this one would be perfect for me, but uh, I can't afford it. I, I just, I'm not going to spend that much gill. If I put my clothes on, you can see it doesn't really suit it. But you, you'd find different sets of clothing to suit each thing. Uh, I am I, accepting all donations to buy our dye. Please donate your gill to City and Eurydice. Also, there's maid outfits, and they're really cool. You know what? Actually, let's go there right now. Look at that. This person has friggin' two maid outfits. And, and they're friggin' just, just putting it on their retainers. Like, how mean can you get? I, uh, I'm also accepting donations for a maid outfit. Please donate to City and Eurydice today. Then, of course, you've seen Warrior. Here's Monk. I really like these monk hands. I got it from the Yokai watch event that was happening. I wasn't interested in any of the stuff at the time, but my friend convinced me to buy, or at least grind, uh, to get at least these gloves. And it was the only thing I got from the event, and I'm really sad that I didn't bother getting extra stuff, because there was mounts, well, there was one mount, uh, which, which to be honest, isn't the greatest mount, but I'm trying to collect them all, so. Uh, uh, gotta run fast. Lancer, also using the same gear, Gladiator. <laughs> <laughs> I would much rather have, like, Susano, one of the primals in Stormblood, to have, like, whoa, 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 okay, buddy, whoa. Oh, shit, shit, I've got a bomb. Oh, I didn't realize what I was doing. Look at this, I used uh, Lucid Dreaming. That's neat. Actually, you know, this could be in the video. Fuck it, man. This can't be in the video. All right, video. I, I'm, re I'm recording now. But fucking Sonic Mania. I get into the game. I record for an hour. Uh, I don't have enough footage, obviously. Yeah. So I go back and I play the game again. Then yeah. I, I get back in and it says, your save data is corrupted. And I was like, well, I mean, all right. I mean, my, my footage wasn't that great anyway. So I suppose I can start again. It doesn't give me the option to restart. Wait, it's what? just like, try again. And so I'm like, okay, I'll try again. Put, boots me back to the title screen. I press start. And then back to... Yeah, I'm really going to have to turn off Final Fantasy because you'll get drowned out. Um, and then just fucking... Actually, you know, I'm also going to take out the background noise because then I can just have uh, my own music because otherwise I might drown you out. And your, um... Your rant. <laughs> and my rant. <laughs> All right, I'll put the thing around there. That'll probably do it. I don't know if it's bad. Ugh. Deal with it. Where did Tessa go? Oh, oh. I was I was here, but I had to leave because I, uh, otherwise it would. Well, there's yeah, you. Yeah, there's this you. Mate. There's you. All right, that's great. Uh, I don't I don't know if I cut everything out or not, but this is Neil. This might be the start of the video or midway through the video. Yeah. Who knows? Say hi, Neil. I'm Neil. Uh, I'm Neil, Neil streams. Oh, I'll put a streaming thing in the bay. He streams weeb games in the description. Thanks. I am a weeb. I'm also, he's the one I'm married to. I said that before. You know what? I, I guess that the stuff before is going in the video. Alright. Um, that means I've already shown off all of my mounts and stuff, so that's great. Anyway, back to Sonic Mania and how shit that game is. This is uh, my favorite mount. Anyway, back to Sonic Mania. Oh, talking about Sonic Mania and a, and I a Final Fantasy. Kill myself. Yeah, so I, I go back into the game and it, it boosts me back to the title screen. It's like, your same data is still corrupted. Would you, would you like to try again? I'm like, no, I don't want to try again. I want to delete it so I can start again. And it doesn't let you do it. So, oh I, go into the, so I go into the Steam files and I find the saved data or what I think is the saved data which someone on the internet said it was. So I trusted them, obviously. And, and, and it had all the saved data well, in the other games as well. So I deleted it. I go back into the game and it says, your saved data is still corrupted. Would you like to blah, blah, blah? I'm like, no! So it didn't help at all. I, I quit the game. I go back into it. And I can't even enter the game. It's just giving me some sort of error. Turns oh. out, I think, I'm still not sure what happened. It thinks that I pirated the game because I deleted <laughs> a file. So for 24 hours, it took 24 hours to, for it to verify that I owned the game. The game that I pre-ordered on Steam, bought with my own money, like two weeks before release. Like, yeah. for fuck's sake. And then just the day after, I just, I'm like, okay, for my Final Fantasy video, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna put in the, the notice that it, that it gives me. And then it just fucking works. I get Sega, I'm like, well, <laughs> fuck you, Sonic Mania. Holy shit, that's great. Oh, that's it's... actually great. So that was my life for it. I, I was I uninstalled Steam, reinstalled 
uh, my all of my games like it it didn't delete any of the save data for the games or it didn't delete all the games so i could just you know uh, reinstall them really easily without it having to download anything but you know how final fantasy 14 is right like yeah. with re-downloading shit yeah so i had to re-download all of final fantasy 14 but don't you have a data cap yes oh god but we ignore it oh. <laughs> <laughs> anyway yeah. so what are we gonna do today neil um extreme fishing extreme fishing oh that's a fine sea bass can i hear uh, you say that's a fine uh what, what did i say that's a good looking tuna that's a good looking tuna that's a fine bait bass 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 but you gotta bass. say it in an epic voice because it's going in the montage god my parents are gonna think i'm fucking retarded <laughs> <laughs> Why are we, oh, are we going to the lighthouse? No, we're going over here. Okay. This is the nicest place to fish. That's a fine looking tuna. Do I have any good bait? I have no bait. <laughs> I have no want... bait. I brought no bait. This this is what Final Fantasy XIV is. This, this is all it is. I can see a green spot on the sky. Can you see that? Is it your oh, light? Top left. No, top left. Top left. If you look towards my light, you might be able to see it. But it's, oh, it's, yeah. No, I see it. I yeah, see you it. see the green spot? Yeah. Uh, I, well, all right. What, what's next? Neil, uh, um, we, how about we mix it up? We'll do some roulettes. All right. Oh, good. I think I changed the fuck. Wow. I'm level 39. I didn't even realize. Oh, wow. I had shit gear for a level 39. <laughs> I'm going to make you stuff. Oh, Yo. wait. Who's this? Oh, it's oh, hello. You guys should come play Overwatch for us. <laughs> <laughs> What's happening in your game? Uh, well, we were just doing some extreme fishing. Fishing. Extreme fishing. Yeah. What do you use the fish for? You sell them. Yeah, you can, or, or you can craft uh, uh, food. I just sell them. You can make fish glue. Glue. Yeah. What do you use the glue for? Uh, you can you can craft lots of things. Like you use the glue for spines of books. Sniffing. Or, uh, sniffing. Yeah. <laughs> That's a good thing. <laughs> Gives you a damage boost. Also, you're uh, you're gonna be featured in a video. Hello. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh wow, we actually. Oh okay. Two and one. Howdy guys. Oh, I actually wanted to show people Ifrit before, but it was Ifrit Extreme. But th this will do. Oh no. What? Cutscene. Oh no. Yeah. Story that's exactly cutscene, which will exactly take ten what... minutes. This is this is exactly what I talked about in my video, although I think I cut it out because I was I was talking for way too long. Wait, they're level six. Oh, they they. Oh no, they're level sixty. You know what that means? They jumped. Jump potion. I also talked about that. Hooray! Oh, he's also disconnecting. <laughs> so if I do say something bad, you will censor it. Ah, uh, if it's that bad, yes. Okay. I don't think I've ever said anything. Bad enough to warrant being censored before. Uh, I would care to disagree. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, can you can you stop? I'm just gonna cover him with. I'm just gonna smother what him. What are they with wearing? My, with my vagina. Go. It's time for me to become the true uh, king. Uh, and this, yep, this they're is, a sprout. They're a sprout. Oh right, I'm a healer. <laughs> and they're level sixty. Yep. Oh. How... And the, and you know they watch an Ifrit story. Yeah. So so they so they just jumped to level sixty, but they didn't jump to the story. Yeah. Who does that? You get to level sixty just by doing the story. Yep. What's the point? Oh, uh, my May statue came today. Oh, nice. It, it's super bootlegged. Is it thick? Oh, wait, wrong May. <laughs> what? <laughs> what are you talking? About? Oh, are you talking about Overwatch May? Overwatch. Overwatch. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I asked. No, I've that. got May with Mudkip, not ten-year-old May. I would rather not have her be thick, with two C's. Wait, don't you mean you have ten-year-old May? Oh, I do. I do have. No, I'd rather not have ten-year-old May be thick. Is what I'm okay, saying. Okay. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Now I get it. No, you dumbass. Le oh, level ten. Get. Fucking get the nail. I don't even this care thing. that he's getting hit. Die. Yeah, uh, put that on. What was I saying? Ah, uh, yes. Uh, yeah, it's super bootlegged, as I'm I expected. But it's not too bad. Like, having it on the shelf, it, it doesn't look too bad. Yeah. Like, um, with bootlegs, it's only... Ah! Real... I'm gonna oh. get hit by that. Yep. Fuck it. Oh my god. Leg! Okay. That's what oh I was god. talking about. The thing about bootlegs is, you can really only tell that, unless they're like, 
horrendously bad. You can really well, only tell up close. It, yeah, it's mainly just like the seals and some of the paint. Yeah. All right, bye everybody. Do I get a play accommodation now? Nope, they're just no, leaving. Me. Uh, and that guy's gonna take 10 years doing the thing, so I'm not gonna give it to him. Actually, anyone. no, it might go to you. Will it? You yeah, baby. There you go, tanks. Oh, I've already, I've already begged the audience for an Aldi in a maid outfit. So, is there anything you want to beg for? Um, donate to my PayPal. Dude, somebody, <laughs> somebody, friggin' put a hundred bucks on my Patreon. Holy shit! I don't know whether it's like a joke or whether they really just like myself, or whether it's just a one-off thing. Some people do that. Mm. But damn, dude, whoever you are, uh, great job. I don't know whether you, you want your name said so. I love you too. I love I love you, but Neil loves you as well. Oh, yeah, that's really. I'll buy you. I'll buy you an orange juice one day. One day. Uh, all right. So uh, <laughs> now that we've done that, let's do let's do the next best thing. Uh, trial roulette. Oh no. Hey, I've got, I've got, I do have cure. Did I do I'm this? going to die. I'm going to die. Oh yeah, that's the one from the Yokai watch. I was thinking of the, the gilded uh, mage deck oh. armor, but oh, yeah, yeah, that's that's the man I didn't get. <laughs> <laughs> Look like a child lost it like a carnival. Oh, this is so much that's better with you. Maybe lovely. I'll just, maybe I'll just put the stuff in with you first. Or maybe we'll just cut all that stuff out from the beginning, but oh, I don't know what to do now. I guess I'll cut everything into like really like just absolutely destroy the footage and just put in only stuff that I really need. What? Oh no! Are you lost in limbo? Oh no! What's Neil, I'm lost. <laughs> How are you lost? <laughs> I didn't teleport to you. I just teleported to the entrance. Where's our oh. house? Yes. <laughs> I don't think it's on this place. Oh, and there's the Fritz hit again. How much was that? Oh, the the lamp wasn't even the most expensive thing in this room. Oh. oh, we didn't even get much time. Anyway, there's a hot tub here. We we can't remember. Oh, everyone has that. What kind of uh, mechanics does this one have? I can't remember. I can only remember the, only remember the extreme versions. Oh, I keep thinking I'm the healer. I'm coming in. Eh. Sort of. Oh, and it doesn't even have the stack up. Oh god, I hope I don't get hit by those. Haha, I didn't have to move. Oh, I got hit by those. See, this this is this is how great lag is. Oh no, I I missed on my combo. Oh, oh well. At least you didn't get hit. I get a quick time event. And I get to hit something for once. This is actually so cool. Yeah, it's pretty neat. I just hope, okay, a tank knows what's to do, but bleh, a tank knows what's to do. What's to do? A tank what's knows to do? what's to do, Neil. Oh my God, I forgot I could like refresh my my oh, um, no. black and white mana. Oh no. Did you get something like four of those? Oh, I'm dead. Oh, I'm heal you. No dead. Oh, oh God, heal you. So... <laughs> do it, long break. Oh, me? Yeah. But I don't do much damage. We have four deep range DPSs. Alright. Oh. Well, I died because of that. Oh. DPS. Oh no. No. I thought there was room. No. I'm leaving. And well, I received three play conditions. Yep. <laughs> As expected. Very bottom. Oh, here we go. Gagana skin map. Oh, wow. Um, we're doing my map first. Why is that? It's not a level full party level 70 map, is it? It is. No, we can't do that. Yeah, we can. Let's go. No, we have to invite people. Nah. No, we need just. No, we can't do it, Neil. Don't be a we loser. Can't... Let's go. Oh, we can't do a full party level seventy. It's, it's eight your... people. We're two Get people. It. Oh shit! It was that was really close. <laughs> yeah, that's what it. I said. We're doing my map first. Jesus, you are taking a lot of damage. I, I'm panicking. I, I'm forgetting what all my moves do. Here, have this. Get the chipotle. All right. You know, Chapu is a character from Final Fantasy X and X2. Although he doesn't actually appear in the game at all, I don't think, because he's oh, wow. uh, Waka's deceased brother. Ah, oh. spoilers. Well, he was dead the moment you started the game. Like, oh. <laughs> it's not really a spoiler. And he was like, "Oh yeah, my my brother dead. <laughs> my brother dead. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my brother dead. We we gotta be left with like one second, and like the enemy's health is gonna be like one tenth, and we're still not gonna be able to do it. Why did I get interrupted there? Oh, we, we might actually do this, but we have uh, literally no, I'm, 12 I'm seconds. I'm out of mana. That was my entire DPS combo. All right. Have I done that earlier? Oh, wait. We have three oh. seconds. Come we on. Th I'm telling you, dude. I'm, I fucking told you. <laughs> God damn it. God fucking damn it. I'm going to go buy another level 70 map. No, we're doing my map. <laughs> damn it. God, no this is a level 70 map, but it's only for one person. So. Oh, that's lame. 
we can do it and actually complete it. It's in the loch. Uh, uh, That's cute. What is? Nothing. What are you looking at, Neil? Nothing. What are you looking at which isn't in the game? Baseball? Oh, no. It was cute. Who else but Neil? Dun, 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 dun. It's probably illegal. It's a little bit easy, I will admit. I can't open up. Yeah, I got blood hemp and yarn, something I can very easily get. <laughs> Go fuck off, Windows. I'm never going to update my computer. That creator's shit. It comes at me once a day. It's like, well, you, sh you sure you don't want to update? I'm like, no, I don't want to fucking update. Just give up. Just give up. Uh, practice. Uh, uh, duty completion. Join. Well, we have one tank and one healer. I wonder who that could be. We could play some triple triad. Brace you there, buddy. <laughs> I'm way ahead of you on, on my screen, but on oh, your you're screen. Oh, you way behind me. Yeah, yeah. I'm first, ha ha. Yeah. I'm like already here. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna send you to the fucking shadow around. Okay. Why is there a table in my head? <laughs> Why is there a table in your head? Uh, okay, what, what is the same dissension and plus? Oh, God damn it. No, my, the, my, my dick is the worst for dissension. Yeah. Oh, I did that wrong. Oh, when did you get that card? I don't know. That's a fucking... What the hell? At least now I have a, a set card. Really? What's up? <laughs> the exact same card, all right. Yep. Uh, you can't beat this, though. Aha! Oh, what? What's up? Oh! Oh, oh. no! Oh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, baby! <laughs> I don't even know how this game works. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know that was going to happen. <laughs> I didn't even get to play my best card, like... Aha! No! <laughs> I forgot that that guy does not have any good things on the up or down. Alright, yep. uh, not doing so well. Nah. You know what I would really like? A mobile mount, where your character sits in the mouth of the mobile. Oh god. Wouldn't that be and neat? when you dismount, you have all the status debuffs. <laughs> dismount? Oh Did I hear that right? Well, that was interesting. Let's do something else. Uh, there goes the table through your head. Uh, House of the Dead? I mean, I'm pretty keen to play Pokemon. Do you want to play Pokemon? That's a bit um, different than what... Well, yeah, but like, it's not like we're getting friggin... <laughs> it's not my birthday special. I can do whatever the hell I want. Maybe one day I'll do like a live stream uh, with you. And we... I wonder if we can do two on two. And we get random live stream viewers and they, they could fight us with random Pokemon. That'd be pretty mm. cool. You mean the stream that you're going to be joining me for? Yeah. You're going to explode, aren't you? <laughs> don't no explosion. Oh, you don't? <laughs> no. Oh, I do not do much damage. All right, uh, hopefully I can catch you with the element of surprise. Oh, what no. What the fuck? Oh, shit. Oh. Ah. Uh, yeah, baby. <clears throat> Ow, baby. <laughs> Get wrecked. I thought that'd kill you. Just gonna do this. Oh yeah, that's neat. No, that's fine. Light screen do it does absolutely nothing. That's fine. No, that's cool. That's great. Boy, sure do love this game. I don't know what you're doing, but I'm not gonna do it. No, oh, you're not the ball. Apparently, you're gonna do that. What do you? You killed like two of my Pokemon. My strategies are gone. There, there are no more. <laughs> Ooh. Although you've had three friggin' fast. Oh, you're kidding. Seriously. Yo. What's up? No, no, that's fine. Just take like a fucking sea flea to the face. That's that's all great. Oh no, leftovers. That's fine. Yeah, that's, that's cool. Whatever. Oh, I'm mad. Oh no, this thing again. Take a behiba beam. That's how you pronounce its name? Yeah, behiba beam. Oh, look at this thing. Oh man, I'm so terrified. I'm going to die. You're going to die. <laughs> let's just uh, send out my ground on here. Uh, let's uh, let's try this. Oh, what I'm do you dead. know? Critical hit. Oh, what do you know? Waterfall failed. Oh, oh no. I'm oh, man. Shit. Oh, man. What do you know? Oh, oh. Oh. Oh, well, looks like we uh, we chalk this. There's another win for me. I'm just like, he's fired ground. That's four times. <laughs> <laughs> All right, cool. No, why would you do that? Because <laughs> I got to use fucking shell smash. Have fun passing that on. I guess he's just going to have to die. I don't know. As you might be able to tell. 
<laughs> I seem to be holding a certain item. Oh man, I hope you're ready for this shit. Ah, crap. Well, at least you want of leftovers. Well, telling you what. No, I'm not faster. Son of a bitch. Uh, oh, I crit. That's great. And, fuck. and I should have done that from the beginning. Yeah, that, that was probably the best idea. Yeah, I really want to hope that your Pokemon is slow. It's not. It's not. It's really not. That's not cool, you know? Oh, it... Might as well go all out then. It's that's a lot cool. faster. No, four times effective. That's that's uh that's that's yeah. neat. And four times effective again. That's uh <laughs> that's even better. It also has a choice scarf. You know what they say? Uh, so it has 307 speed. That's and oh frozen. and frozen. That's uh that's uh that's uh. I'm just gonna put this one down on the on the scoreboard here. That's uh as a draw. <laughs> as a draw, yes. Uh, uh, you're gonna wish you hadn't done that, buddy. Pow! Oh. Oh, oh no. Why, why is that not why? why why does that not resist? Stone against stone should resist stone. Oh crap. I'm gonna send it my dragon. In our party? My electric dragon, that'll that'll uh hmm. Ah. Good thing I uh used the volt switch, but uh you're immune. Yes. That's great. Uh will he switch? He has switched. Uh, smart idea, because I did no energy ball, but now I'm... I don't know I'm, what energy ball does. I'm in the shit. Oh. Oh, I'm even more in the shit. Uh, pray for me. <laughs> I'm dead. Hashtag pray for radical soda. Hashtag pray for radical soda. That was my mega. Why did I do that? <laughs> yep, I forgot you, you had energy ball. <laughs> you knew what was coming, and yet... <clears throat> God. <laughs> well, I don't know what this does, but I'm gonna try it out. No, 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 Batman. Ooh. Wait. What? Ooh. Ooh. Uh. Shit, I can't think of anything which will actually do damage to you. So I'm just gonna do this. Well. Take my fish. Eh. I don't know if this does super effective damage. Oh. You had a choice band, didn't you? Yep, that's why I need to switch out. Why is it so fast? Oh no. Because it doesn't have any fucking attack, that's why. Yep. Hey you, I, I see you there teleporting. Oh. Ah. Unless, Yeah, no. you are. Yep, yeah, I am. What? Oh, and a crit. I could have... I could have lived that if that wasn't a critical oh, hit, because I had roost. Steel worker? Spoke on steel type attacks have them power multiplied by 1.5. Wow, okay. Did somebody miss something? Why did you have to use Shadow Claw? Oh, Tess is saying bye bye. She oh no, out. she locked out, Tess! No! Now everyone knows you're thirsty. For a refreshing glass of orange juice, that is. <laughs> what? Why trick when you're gonna nail <laughs> Rangalele. Even though I know it's Dragalki. Yeah. I just thought of that now, and I was like, what? Oh, I, I always <laughs> called it Dragalge. Dragalge? <laughs> Dragalge. I mean, I guess so. That was nice Dragalge you called there. That's a nice Dragalge. I am in a... Bit of a how would you say it? Predicament. That's not a predicament. You got a freaking Vaporeon. Yeah, it's going to die. No, it's oh, not. It's, not it's going to live. And it's going to burn me. Okay, thank God. Uh, yeah, you are in a bit of a predicament. Yeah. And yeah, chalk yeah. that one up for me. It's 2318. Uh, would you like to do a random battle? We are doing a random I, battle. I mean, I mean a hacked battle. A hack mod? Sure. Yeah. Let's do one of those and then we'll end the video because nobody wants to seem to be doing uh, Pull of Tribute and nobody's freaking... Because Neil hasn't completed it like the dolt he is. I know Electro Ball. I know Frisk. I know False Swipe. I don't want to catch me. Oh no. Oh, oh no. Not the shit. <laughs> oh <yet>. yes. <laughs> How dare you! Aha! Um. It, 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 it's coming. 
Hold up, somebody's fucking doing shit in here and it's pissing me off. I'm, I'm going someplace quiet. Oh, 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 okay. oh, all oh, right. It says your item is Muni MZ. It says your item is Fly MZ. It is Fly MZ. Oh. How do you think I'd use Supersonic Strike? Sky well, I Strike. Had, I had a Pam Tree Berry, so. I don't know, man. Wait, did my. Oh. I was like, why did my Regigigas' moves change? But it's a different Regigigas. You were. What? No. Oh. <laughs> oh, what? <laughs> God, I confused myself! <laughs> Wait, what do you mean it's a different Regigigas? <laughs> oh, a shiny! Oh, wow. Yeah. I give up. I, I just. I, I give up. I give up. I can't. It would take can't. so long. I'm just gonna give you that one. Okay. I'm done. And then, shall we done. play Overwatch with Jahan? Sure. sure. Are, are we done? Can, can we do it? Can we do a, 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 a goodbye to everyone on Final Fantasy? Bye this game. Wasn't this interesting? Be our friends. I'm so lonely. Hello. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> That'll do it. That'll do it. I, I think I think we're done for now. You think we're done for now? I think we're fucking done. Uh, All right. I, I'd like this to come back as like maybe like some sort of series in the future, so if we ever do other stuff, uh, you know, people can join us on our es escapades. Stop looking at me. I will continue staring at you. Wow. Now I'm staring at the camera. Whew. Bye, everybody. We. Oui. <laughs> Your fucking head. <laughs> I'm gonna let the last three videos play in a row because they're all Sonic Mania honey buns. That's right, I milked it for all it was worth. I personally look at these and cringe nowadays due to, again, the poor voice acting I did. But hey, I got a comment from T-Lope, so that's a win in my book. Part three had a couple of pretty long segments with the rapping wizard many down in the comments didn't appreciate. I, I think this might have been the point where I realized I shouldn't be making 40 minute tangents on stuff that doesn't have anything to do with the video. So you can thank those angry commenters for the, the way my videos turned out today. Uh, going through all this, I also realized in multiple videos, I keep doing little jokes about Final Fantasy XIV. Like, what the fuck, me? Make a joke about the game you're playing, you stupid-ass bitch. Anyway, thanks for coming along. Uh, enjoy the last couple of videos, uh, if that's your jam. And uh, that's it from me. It's Sonic Mania out today. But now DeNuvo's got in my way. God, I just wanna fucking play. Oh boy, Sonic Uvula, the most anticipated game of 2017. So good your own copy will think you pirated it. But before we get started, uh, um, uh, we should probably uh, uh, change the resolution here. Ooh, extra, so what have we got here? Uh, Stop credits, hell yeah! What, what do you, what do you mean this isn't what you wanted? Is this, is this not the game? Ah, I can't go anywhere, the music's too good. Oh, it's taking everything I got to exit the screen. Ah! Oh no, more great music! Hmm, my inner Sonic 3 is telling me to go to the left here, so you know what? That's what we're gonna do. Whoa! Speaking of Sonic 3, it's Angel Island Zone! Holy mackerel, man! I thought Green Hill was gonna be the first stage, but already I've been pleasantly surprised. Oh. I'll have you know I'm already a Sonic Mania master. I can roll, I can jump, I can drop dash! Shut up! No, oh, wait, hold, hold on, bonus stage, bonus stage! So Sonic, can you, can you, Sonic, no, ha! <laughs> Blue Sphere! I completed you back in Sonic 3 and I can complete you now! She! Invincibility! Now we'll speed through the stage in record time! Uh, uh, sorry, Tails. Ooh, a special stage! But, but a blue sphere is already used, then what's- ah! Sonic Mania! The 2D game with more 3D than Sonic Forces! Well, I mean, I would've said that here if Sega hadn't shown off that pure 3D stage. Looks fun enough. Palatable. Reminds me of a certain level I've seen before, though. I, I, I can't put my finger on it. Whoa! Are there two play races for this? Tell me there is. Oh, blue sphere! I'll get it this time. God damn it! Across the bridge, Tails. T Tails. What have I done? Listen, Sonic Mania, you can't have music this good in a boss fight. It just makes me not want to beat it. Ah! Pow! Right in the kisser. Well done, uh, me. What? I get a cool bonus with the. Oh, what? No, no! You can't have a sign wink at me. That's not natural. Ah, shoot! I missed a bunch of rings. No, I don't want a bloody silver coin. It's like the participation award of Blue Sphere. Whatever. I'll... Oh, oh, what's this? Speed up! Oh, we gotta go fast! Well, it was fun while it lasted. Almost there, just gotta find those last few rings. Oh, Sonic baby, why'd you go and do this? Out of the way, Blue Sphere, I've got a new special stage to play. Seriously, though, where's Sonic R2? You've got all you need right here. You're gonna have a split screen, do it. Do it now. It's got a... I, I just... 
just gotta... I want, I want the rings, but... Tails, we've gotta... Okay, we're gonna go! No, wait! Uh, whoopsies. Ah, crap, I fell down. Tails! Buddy, you gonna fly me up? Tails? What is this, blue rings? What are they, frozen or something? You know, do I need to let him go? Get it? I said they were frozen, so I... So I said, so I said let, let, him, let him go. Kill me now! Kill me now! Baby, that's it. Give me that gold coin. I can buy a whole cereal with this. Back to the best special stage of all time. Yeah, that's right. Go to hell, secret zones. Shove off half pipe. Eat my shween, you UFO chase. Ooh, rings. Probably shouldn't have done that. Go, Sonic. Use your super Sonic drip. Sonic Mania, the 2D game with more drifting than Sonic Forces. I mean, I would say that here if they hadn't shown us the tag team stage. Sega, are you purposely just going out of your way to ruin my jokes? There he is! We gotta go get him! Go, so go, Sonic! Go, wait, no! Ah! Hey, Oof, get out of there! You're gonna get hit! Oh, oh no, he's stuck! Uh, excuse me, when did Tails become so badass? Whoa, whoa, Eggman, hold up, stop! You can't do that! That kind of animation's not in the budget! Ooh, chemical plant. Ooh. <laughs> well, let, uh, let's get going, I guess. Oh, uh, okay, I... I mean, we should, uh, we should, we should probably get moving now, Sonic. I mean, we can't just stand here forever. Okay, Sonic, if you were as smart as you are fast, you'd know that you could probably avoid the drip if you just move three inches ahead of yourself. Just take one step forward. Move, damn it! Woo! Can always count on these loops to show me where to go. Oh, okay, we're going this way now. I got a second chance! Okay, okay, I'm not gonna mess it up this time. Get all the blue spheres. Look, what, oh, okay, what, uh, I got three. If you haven't done this at least once, you are missing out, my friend. You won't get me today, Spoony. Whoa! Wee! Wait, 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 don't stop this! Special stage of the. Stop! Hold on! God damn it, I keep playing this shit. What is half of the game? Blue sphere? No, no, yeah! Pink water. This section's a breeze for someone as skilled as me. You see, it's all about timing and platform perfection. See? Easy. I can't believe so many people have trouble with this sick. I deserve that. Man, I'm getting sick in this song, oh god, I just can't take it, please stop. Gonna take a break from this hell, my head is getting sore, it'll pop. Why does this stage always feel enticing? But now that I'm here, I wanna scream out. I'm never doing that again. Oh look, sparkles. Why do I keep coming here? All is pain. There's nothing but balls, I'm going insane. I don't know whether that was just good luck or whether the game was just really happy that I beat that boss. <laughs> Ugh. Blue rings again! Hey, hold on, I smell a secret. It, it's here, it's here, it's here somewhere. I have, um, uh, decided I'm good enough for the game to ignore the secret and just continue the level. Yes, uh, yep, I'm that good, folks. God damn it, I'm fucking stuck! I did this to myself! Maybe I can just jump two spheres. Okay, okay, here we go, here we go! Yes! No! No! Whoa, that was close! Oh hey, this is different. I, I, me, 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 me. That's it. Hey, what the fuck is this? Yeah, close enough. I am the master of Mean Bean Machine. You can't beat me. I've got my famous unbeatable strategy. Uh, uh, uh okay, that, that go there. I guess. Uh, 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 all right. I'll, I'll uh, put this here. Uh, 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 do it. Uh. Where the hell am I gonna- Oh, that! That! That's what I need! You see, folks, it's all a part of my master plan. First, I'll land these green and purple beans directly on top here, thus creating a chain reaction. The green bean will disappear, breaking the clear bean and allowing the purple bean to slide down and join with the other purple beans, thus creating a combo. While this is happening, the absence of the green beans will allow the red bean to fall upon its own color, thus creating a second combo at the same time. Are you ready? Let's go. Fuck! Don't- don't screw up! Uh, 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 you! You! Down! Down! Go! Yes! Yes! Did it... did it not do anything? Studiopolis? This was above the chemical plant this whole time? I can imagine the Sonic 2 level design meetings. Hey Frank, I have this great idea for a level, it's called Studiopolis. Very interesting. Hey wait, hold on, what's that? Oh, that? That's a small area under the city I'm thinking of including, like a... like a sewer or someplace with pipes. I love it! Get rid of everything else, sewer it is! But... but Frank, I thought you knew me. Did our night of passion mean nothing to you? Oh, I'm freaking out, man! Where do I go? Hey, this is great! Ah, oh, this is awful! A uh, quick disclaimer here, I just want to clarify that I don't actually find the Blue Sphere stages unenjoyable. It's all for the sake of some innocent comedy, because I know that some people don't like them very much because they make it feel a little bit queasy. Now that that's all cleared up, let's just continue the video. <clears throat> the game! 
game poopy, so poopy, bad game poop game success! Sonic Mania, how many times do I have to tell you? Stop giving me such good boss music or else I won't be able to finish the goddamn fight! What's on TV? Oh. Death. Anyone else wonder why Eggman keeps his teeth so clean? Aye! Holy crap, this guy's going ape shit! Have a load of this! Oh. I never felt sorry for an Eggman robot before. And I ain't about to stop now! Boom, baby! Woo! I am the master of the bouncing bumper technique. Oh. Oh, wait, whoa, whoa, go! Sonic, wait up! Whoa! Whoa, 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 okay, this one looks complicated, guys, but I assure you it's very easy. Just follow the natural path and the game will show you what you need to do. Here we are, almost done, there we go. Wait, 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 what? What? Where was it? More blue sphere, oh boy! Spoiler alert, I win this one. Yeah, boy! Shut up! Gambling? In a Sonic game? How dare you? I will not tolerate this in my videos! Damn it. Huh? What? Fuck you, Blue Sphere! Not today! I'm gonna go see what's on Egg TV. Go oh, fucking! Haha! <laughs> You've been outbrained, Egg Kid! Yo, that's hot! Fly in battery! Groove to the music and spin to win! Uh, what am I running on here? Cheese? I think I just kinda had a blank there. Ooh, trash! You know it's a good game when even trash is exciting. Let's just use this booster air. Oh, wah! easy does it. Easy does it. Ah! Easy does it. Ow! What do you mean I can only go across with the lightning shield? I can do it on Sonic 3 without it! Move, you great heavy! Ow! Oh! Okay, I need to get over this without getting hit. It's harder, it's harder than it looks, alright? Tails, can you please stop jumping? You, you don't have a shield. You can't do what I'm doing. Ta ta stop. Ta 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 Tails, you threw me off! Fly me, tail boy! <laughs> Boy, am I brilliant. They never thought I'd even think to fly up. Oh, well, how about from this side? Ah, <laughs> oh, crap. Wait for it. Go! Mm, boss of Blue Sphere! Mm, Blue Sphere! Damn it! Hello, yes, pizza, and I hope the two for one combo. Yeah, baby! Let's get moving! Wait, Tails, wrong way! Tails, fly me! Uh, uh, fly, fly me! Damn it, fly me! Ah, oh, son of a bitch. Looks like we have to activate all three switches. Ha <laughs> ha, look at that, perfect. There's no way I can screw it up now. Ah, oh, come on! It's time for Secret Agent Sonic to enter the field. Ooh, actually, that was fun. Let's do it again. Whee! Come on, Tails, we will prevail. Oh, I mean, I had to make a rhyme. Ah, oh, Tails, come on, man! Let's try that again. Well, I guess you could say Tails is... <clears throat> A little horse? What do you mean it didn't make sense? Whoa, 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 whoa! Speed through! Oh, speed sneakers! No! No! More speed sneakers! Time to go fast! Or not? Prepare to die! Upside down, Eggman! Hey, yeah! Whoa! Take this! D uh, d this! Dog! This! Damn it! Why won't you get hit? Hey, careful, careful! Oh, no! Ah, I probably shouldn't be doing this. Be free, my little animal critters. Whoa, whoa, Sonic, you got some incredible ankle strength there. Ooh, press garden zone. This is real fancy. Well, there's no time to waste. Let's get going. In the next video. Just kidding, just kidding, folks. We're all about jokes here. We are, we, uh, uh, uh is it just me or? Well, how about that? Oh, this looks breakable. Uh, yes, uh, uh, breakable, uh, DIE! Why must you do this to me, Sonic Mania? What happened? <gasps> Carnival Night Zone, you will always live on in my heart. You're here! There's nothing up here! Ah! What do I do here? Why do I always go straight to song? Mm, I know there's probably nothing, but I need to make sure. Ooh, that looks like a secret. Ooh, haha! -ha! Now I can platform with ease! Why are we still here? Just to suffer. More oh, Blue Sphere! You all know how much I love me some good old sphere grabbing action. Whoa, wait, whoa, whoa! There you go! I am not in control here! Piece of piss, a child could do it. Can I break it now? Ooh, I can! Something tells me I should move. Now we wait. It'll pay off. You wait and see. There's gonna be a secret above it and everything. It's gonna be great. And here we go. Here we are, folks. The the the, 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 the secret we all we've all, we've all been wa waiting for. We all we we well, sorry for thinking outside the box, mania. Ram jump. Why are we still here? 
What the heck is Tails doing down there? Hmm, okay, I want to get up there, but in order to do that, I think I need to bounce off these bad nicks here. Uh, okay, that doesn't work. Uh, ha! In order to reach the secret area, I'll have to achieve extra height by spin dashing up this ramp, landing on the bad nicks, and then using that extra momentum to bounce me up into the treadmills. Oh. Oh, better get out of here before we get crushed. Don't want to repeat the last time, right, Tails? <laughs> Gee, I am just loving these treadmill springs. Please. This one again, I can do it. I won't screw it up this time, I screwed it up again. I see Sonic's trying out his new Mime Act. Ah, geez, over a hundred blue spheres. There's no way I'm gonna- Holy shit, I did it. I even had one sphere left over. Oh, is it just me or is this boss unnaturally creepy? I mean, he's got the eyes up here and then he's got a really big mouth. Yeesh, I think that's what I'm so creeped out by. Nothing should ever have a mouth that big. Yes, I am terrified of the hippopotamus, why do you ask? Ugh, and then when he waves his arm around, it looks like he's in a huge amount of pain. Seriously, this is a scary boss fight. Ugh, there we go, the arm flailing creeps me out a little bit more than it should. Anyway, the Press Garden Zone Act 1 is done. I mean, it was alright, nothing too special. Oh, I don't, I, I don't even have any jokes. I, I, the, 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 this is brilliant. Wow, I, I'm really, really impressed. Oh, here we go with the Ice Cap Zone stick. I said it was going to come back. Are you, are you going to, you going to let me through or... Nah. All right, then who gives a shit whether I lose seven rings? All right. Forgive me, Sonic. I didn't believe. Nah, yeah, Frank, you take the saw blade. Nah, yeah, I don't want it. Nah, yeah, nah. Yeah. I'll handle this. Ah, good old Sonic the Hedgehog protecting the peace. Ha ha! Back again, I see. You think I'm stupid enough to fall right at the end again? Well, you'll see. Blah! I am really enjoying this zone so far. Hold on, we're gonna get crushed! Oh! You know, I've been thinking it over, and I seriously can't imagine anyone being better than me in Sonic Mania. Alrighty, Tails, fly me up! Uh, uh okay, uh, no problem. Uh, you just, uh, come on down, Tails. Yeah! I've won Emerald Per Zone so far, so when I get this one, it'll keep that fact intact. Oh, no, no, no! Ooh, a fire shield! Oh, it even breaks the ice blocks! And the ice spikes! And we can't get frozen! Well, me anyway. Looks like the cheese was a breeze. Pow! Give me that invincibility! I can't see how this could negatively impact me in any way. I need the fire shield. Okay, let's head on up there. Oh crap. Hmm, looks like a boss area, I suppose. No, oh, yeah! Okay, this point I've been frozen more times than I can count. No, my one ring! My precious! Whoa, Eggman! And he's got that gym which turns everything into m mushroom mill zone. Oh, what could have been? Uh-oh. Please, don't make me do this. Don't worry, don't worry, this isn't Sonic CD. We have good level design this time around, after all, don't we? Whoa, 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 what am I doing? Oh, I get it, Marble Garden Zone. I always like these things. Ooh, another thing from Marble Garden. I love doing the funny ball bounce on these. Hold on, it, what, you, you didn't, you, you, it. Oh no! Another face, jeez, it's terrifying. Ah, oh, crap, I think I messed up somewhere. Yeah, three spheres and two rings, darn. Well, I guess I'll get the silver. Whoa, wait, wait, no, no, no! Okay, this is really fast, but I think I've almost got this. I'm almost there. No! I will not lose that! Oh, look at these cute little guys. They couldn't harm a fly. Yeah! Hey, look, I actually managed to find the machine this time. Um, do I go this way? Maybe I'll go up here. Whoa, don't make me run into it. Whoa, stop! Why, why, why this direction now? No! Don't make this way, I guess! And we've stopped. Oh, another chance. I'll be real careful this time, I promise. I unlocked everything in Sonic R. I should be able to get one measly emerald. Time over! No, don't make me go back! Whoa! Ooh, a transition mid-level, fancy! Ha <laughs> ha, what a thrill! Avoiding Metal Sonic's attacks, uh, trying to, and running fast! What a great idea for a fight! What's he doing? What's he doing? No, come back, I was, I was having fun. What are you... Want blue balls? Okay, so it seems I have to knock the Silver Sonic into Metal Sonic when he spins. Oh, just missed him that time. Hmm. Uh, okay, this time? Nope, okay. Tails, can you quit killing it, please? Tails, stop! Tails, stop killing... Okay, I didn't even try that time. Roll? No, okay. Tails, I swear to God. Just stay up there while I try to beat it. Hold on, can I not just hit him with tails? No? Oh, okay. Ow. Oh, got him! Oh, God. How many times am I gonna have to do this? Mm, I can't jump over him and then jump again to hit him into Metal Sonic. I don't have enough time! Yeah, yeah, come on! Jump! Tails! Yow! Um, hey, how did that one work? No tails at Metal Sonic. That's where you mean to do... Oh, okay. Well, I did it too. Stop killing him, Tails! Tails! Well, that was just a tad measly. Tails, stop it! Stop! I can't do this! I can't do it, man! I've been here so long, I hate it! Fuck this shit! Fucking what? Why 
is all of him invincible when he does that move? That's stupid! Five minutes, five whole minutes of that bullshit! Whoa, I'm open, there's more! No, not that direction, you fucking muppet! You know what, it makes sense that the only CD level I've played is the only one to piss me off as much as this. I don't care if I just suck, this fight's a load of crap. I'll tell you what though, I don't like the fight, but I do appreciate the twirling ink band in the back there. It's real nice, reminds me of Bullet Station from Heroes. Well, that's seven minutes of my life, I'll never get back. Hey, at least you got a score of 400. Hydrocity! How did we get here, don't ask? If I remember correctly, there's a secret over to the left here. Right here I am! And if my memory serves, there's another to the right. Oh no! Yo! Yeah, that's what Hydrocity, one of the best Sonic levels ever created, needs. The stupid spikes from Labyrinth Zone. Jesus, they're everywhere! Even Tails is like, what is this shit? Here we go! Blast off! Nope. Fuck you, physics. Perfect! Alright! What the hell do I do now? Going good so far? I think. Wait, wait, wait. No, no, I didn't know what I did wrong! Oh, more of those labyrinth spikes. Better duck down. You're fucking joking. I'm not sure what this is, but I like it. What a nice day to sell. Ow, so great that I could see that coming. Whoa, really? Here are the frames, one, two, no damage, damage. I didn't unfurl, what is this Sonic Mania? I feel like this is someone's fetish out there and that just makes me uncomfortable. Gosh, I I, I, I like Hydrocity, but what the? Hold on, can, can I just get the freaking bubble? Get, can, did I just see what I just thought I- Yep, it's scooby doo big, man. Uh-oh, the wall's coming up, we gotta get moving. Thanks, Vanash. Oh my God, you're joking. You, you gotta be wearing the Eggmo be- Acceptable. You know, I'm glad Sonic isn't super realistic because at this point there'd be a lot of Eggman scattered up and down and all around at this point. You can't outsmart me this time, Cheese! I don't want- Whoa! You know, I've never felt this angry at Cheese before, but there's a first for everything, I guess. Let's jump for it! Hey, hold on. Did, did they just make that part easier? Oh no, we're shoving these cheap-ass labyrinth spikes, but an actual challenge? Pfft. Who needs that, am I right? Alrighty here, clearly there's an easy to follow method here, which I will almost instantly screw up. Great! Looks like it's time for me to get some blue spheres. Where are they? Hello? Oh, there's one. Jesus, am I gonna have to play hide and seek with the rings? Where were they? Oh, rings. Come out, come out, wherever you are. Aha! What the? Sonic Mania Rated R Edition. Coming soon to stores near you. Whoa! Well, well, see you, Tails. Uh, howdy, Eggman. What, what you doing with that big rotor there? You, you might not want to do that for fear of unleashing Secret Agent Sonic! Oh, silly Eggman. You don't want to run face first into the bombs. Remember when Knuckles did that? Oh, no. Wait, that was Knuckles, right? He's got the spikes on the hand. And you, my friend, have gotten fat! What are you, like double the size? Hey, look, it's Knuckles. How did he get here? Oh, no. And there he goes, moving in such mysterious ways. Hold on, what's that noise? Good god, man. A third chance, I am not gonna screw it up this time. In the same place, really? Having the level itself on the back of a train, that's brilliant. Ooh, bonus stage. Why did I do this? The ground's a color of vomit. Wow, there's only three blue spheres? Even someone like me can't mess this up. I have no idea how I did it, but I messed it up. Here he comes again, Gonzo the magic garlic. Where's Knuckles, you Muppet scrum? Uh-oh, do, do you... Tails it. Yeah, well, there it goes, into the volcano. Hey, it's Bark! What's he doing? Ah! Woohoo! Oh, I want that fire shield! And so Sonic and Tails worked non-stop, fighting. Fighting for the shield they wished to hold close. Through the trials, the pain, the sweat, the tears, they pushed through to destroy the monitor, holding their prize inside. We oh, 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 come on, man. Yeah, oh, I just, I just want to get up. Can I? Oh, no. Okay, okay, here we. Tails, come here. We're doing it, Tails. Soon we'll be rewarded for our efforts. Ah! What a weird looking blue sphere stage. How am I meant to do this? Whoa, 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 not this way, I'm guessing! It's the Mighty Magic Show, featuring your favorite magician, Gonzo Garlic! And I'm uh, also, also Bag, I, I guess. And Bean, what? Box back, okay. You see that? That's a nice smear frame, I appreciate that. Into the gun we go. Oh boy, wouldn't Shadow be jealous? See ya, Tails! Well, how do you do that? Oil Ocean Zone! We're here! Now I just have to make the utmost effort to discover how to play the game right! Oh, I get it. The bridge falling means we have to follow it into the oil! No? 
You know what else people have been commenting? That this level's hard. Ha! Do you know who you're talking to? I'm the master! At Sonic Mania, I've blended Eggman into little bits. I've smashed the heavy gunner into oblivion. I've blasted the Air Gamper out of commission. I've shot wild coyotes into the dust. I've murdered my own team members for a joke! Hey, Neil, look, a gun! What? Get me up. Right now. Oh my fucking god. Fuck this game. There's nothing that can stop me. <gasps> that, that that robot look it looks like oh what does it look what does it look like? It, it, it looks it looks like a Pokemon like oh, I can't remember its name. Octan uh Octil Pikachu, that's it. Oh look! An arrow! Aren't these game designers wonderful? Hold on. How does Sonic not roast to a crisp inside the fire shield? Is it is is it time for my new segment? Hello, Internet! Welcome to Game Theories, the show where dying doesn't always mean you're dead. Made him red. Red like the color you're gonna be seeing when I tell you that Sonic's fire shield isn't real. <gasps> I know, I know, it shocked me too, but... Could the physical properties of this insanely hot sphere be replicated in real life? No! Well, that's all for Game Theories this time, but check back next week when we delve deep into the Five Nights at Freddy's lore to determine whether or not the purple guy has actually been Ronald McDonald all along. But that's just a theories. A Game Theories! Thanks for wanking- watching. Wanking. Climb, Tails! Our destination awaits! <laughs> Gonna be honest, didn't see the fans up there. Tails, you're alive! Let's fly together. Uh, uh, fl fly, fly, fly together. Tail, together. You, tail, you, let me. Tails! This will teach you to mess with me, Tails. Die! No, help! The ghost of Tails is back for revenge. I'm time this right. Yeah. Sometimes you gotta ask yourself, what am I doing? Day 36 of Oil Ocean. I finally made it to the last elevator. What hideous fate awaits me at the top? Alrighty, we don't want to repeat a last time. Tails gonna line us up. Let's fly! No, Tails, why? Oh, gee, it's old Spinner Hands McGee. What treat do you have for us today, old friend? Spikes, what's your problem, Bob? Got him! <laughs> Tails, you leave the stove on again? Damn it, the last time there was this much smoke in the house was when Knuckles had his rat buddies over. Heck to him, ready to get moving. Okay. Hey, this is like that one zone from Sonic and Knuckles. What was it now? Uh, Pikachu zone? Watch your side! Tails, the magnificent shell, disappear! What? The whole city's on fire! Take this fire, but I- Yo! I wonder what awaits us on the other side of the swing. Prepare to meet your doom! <laughs> Hello everyone, welcome to Can't See a Fucking Thing Zone! Another chance, another chance, I won't screw it up, I can't screw it up! Please, God, let me win this one! No, please, come back! I wanna go Super Sonic! Red alert, submachine's exterior has been breached. Self-destruction imminent. Oh no, I gotta get out of here! Sonic, what do I do?! You stay down there, Tails, there's not enough time to save you! See ya! Jesus, for all I know, we're in Green Hill again, I can't see a bloody thing. Oh no, just gotta curl and unfurl at the right times? Oh no. Oh, there goes Tails. Thankfully, unlike him, I am not a blundering idiot. And just duck the lasers, you won't get me this time! Are we really gonna do this again? Oh no! Whoa, whoa. And now it's time for how many times does Tails die? That's Tails. He just won't stop dying. Ho oh, ho, Sonic! Here I come. What? What? You didn't even give me a chance. You know, if Sega ever decided to go into the food business, they could have a spicy beef product called Lava Beef Zone. Why? Wh why is this here? What's What's the point of it? It looks like these hammer things can destroy spikes. The more you know, I guess. Yo, man, what a cigarette! Smoking kills. Why does every enemy here look higher for their mind? Whoa, thanks, Sonic Mania! Come on, really? Is... Is it my turn now? <gasps> oh, no. What? Hold on a second, you just stop? What is this bonky holonky? In Sonic 3, you can just let go of the spinach and keep moving. <laughs> As always, Sonic 3 is superior in every way. Someone call an exterminator, cause we have a mole. Is, is, is this a mole? I, I've never actually seen one. Whoa, okay, Mr. Monitor. Tails, can you... Tails? Looky here, I found all the secret stairs. Whoa, looks like security's been beefed up. 
Lava beefed. Blue Sphere, my old nemesis, back again while I'll show you my new strategy. Actually being good at the game. Oh, oh, gotta go back because there's a secret there. Aha, fire shield. Oh, I better go back and spin dash because apparently I don't do that enough. Thank you, Sonic Mania. I'm glad you appreciated that jump. Blue Sphere is but a trivial task for one as versed as me in the art of grabbing these colored shapes. Whoa, 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 whoa! Hold on, just... Oh, just a fucking second. And there you have it, I'm telling you, I'm focused, I'm calm, I'm prime sphere grabbing material right now. Jesus Christ, that's brutal. Rest in peace, purple dinosaur robot. Actually, you know what? Rest in peace me, I think I'm gonna die! Here back again, no spitting fire, I died before the situation got died. But no, here I am, for better or worse, eternal reincarnation is my curse. No, we're not doing this shit again. Oh, did I hear rapping? No, don't! Yo! Oh, God! So what's the deal with all this crap I've never invited? Back to rap! Got a whole new song, but I'm all alone. But now I'm whipped up by my cyclone. It's Lava Reef, quite super hot. You're seeing this a better level, what you got? This is a city to the west, though, full of spunk. So what the hell are we waiting for? Let's go get drunk. Stop, stop, what? what where are we? The, the zoo, of course, god damn it. What you, what, what you on about? I need, uh, I mean, I'd rather not have a guy that fantasizes about screwing zebras showing up in my videos, you know? What, how, how dare you? I'm, I, everybody loves me. What, what is, who, uh, uh, how many people watched your Radical Rex video? I don't know, like, three or four, maybe? Oh! So, so no one, no, <gasps> Yeah, most likely 99% of the people watching this don't know what's going on here. I you, you underestimate me! Watch this! <laughs> shit, shit! S stop the music! I got a ride for you, all you stupid peeps! I, I, best video, you should all, uh, uh, Radical Rex, he's back! He's back! I. Oh, uh. We should, uh, it's get him home. No way this yes. Well, well, I mean, I, I'm a little scared of him right now, to be honest. Uh, fuck you, you degenerate pieces of shit. Who doesn't watch Radical fucking Rex? Ah! The lava's rising. We gotta get to the top quick. Good thing I'm a Sonic Mania master. Whoa. I don't think we're in Kansas anymore, Tails. Blast! <laughs> Dumb old drill can't even burrow into wood. Whoa! And done. This guy goes down faster than my own teammate. Surprise! Oh my god. Oh my fucking god. Happy birthday, old pal. Uh oh, this guy's gonna. Oh no, he's. Oh really? You know, Tails. People are saying you're gonna die in Sonic Forces. Oh, before Eve is good. You know, all jokes aside, I really like this theme. It's relaxing, it's atmospheric, it's wonderfully composed. Yo, what? Can I... Can I say it now? Sonic? Huh? Knuckles? You're not gonna cut me off again, are you? What? No way, buddy. So... So I can... So I can say my line? Yeah, go ahead. Okay. <clears throat> oh no! Yeah! I'll kill you! Gang Radical Soda Triumph over Blue Sphere this time! He... he can? But then where's the joke? Taking a risk here, I don't know whether the path below is the secret one or not. Whoop. Sorry, Tails. It is! No, wait! Come back! You will come here right now, Mr. I am done with your games! Get your emerald ass back over here! The Blue Sphere Master strikes again! What the... who... what... what is this? Oh no! I'll bet you get a load of this! He dodged my spin attack. Nobody's ever done that before. Yo! Gee whiz, I'm gonna need to step it up! Why did I do that? And thus, Radical Soda bullshitted his way through this boss fight. I, I mean, come on, he should've got hit there, am I right? Oh gosh, you know it's gonna be a harsh level when the first thing you see is spikes glaring at you from the edge of the screen. What the heck? Who's singing the song? Alvin and the Chipmunks? Here we go! Oh, screw this, man. Tails. For when you can't be fucked platforming. Oh, no, not this one again. So I gotta jump into the... Oh, no, this one's different, isn't it? Oh, no! Whoa, look! We're, we're small! Look, making jokes is hard, right? Especially in the classic friggin' Sonic games. And I've already used up all my good material back in the first quarter. That was your good material? Alvin and the Chipmunks, what are you guys doing here? We sing this little theme! Oh. Ow! Oh! Ah! Hoopy! I get it, Mania! I'm bad! There's no need to rub it in! Four to go! Uh, where are they? I'm, I'm panicking a bit here, the level's getting faster! Oh man, I screwed it up and now I can't do it, man! Just take me! The Sonic 1 final boss? Well, at least I didn't have to go through the Labyrinth Zone. Goodness knows my voice wouldn't have appreciated it. Hear that? 
That's how you improve a level by 500%. Who made this? T-Lopes, you goddamn genius. Who knew what a mechanical house game needed was just motherfucking saxophones? Saxophones? Trumpets? Pretty sure they aren't trumpets. Tuba? Ah, okay, not a tuba. Oh, no, I hate this part. I, I can't... I freaking see my eyes are bugging out, dude. Whoa, 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 this is not helping the eye problem. Whew, I'm out of that dizzy nightmare. I gotta do something slightly more calm. Oh, will my craft is on Final Fantasy 14. Oh no, I'm out of leaves. What do you expect me to do? Just make cheesecake? Oh no, I'm out of cheese. You, you can't do this, T Lopes. This, this music, you, you, you're making me. Enjoy a Sonic CD level! No! You're warping time and space! Sonic CD is a masterpiece. I recommend it to everyone. No! no I didn't say that! It's amazing gameplay. It's only amplified by that of its incredible level design. No! 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 Hello everybody. Welcome back to part 47 of Sonic CD. Today, we're gonna be doing a great one. We're gonna be playing the game on half speed because we really want to soak in all these Sonic CD juices. Hey, hey, hey wait, this, this doesn't feel right. This, this isn't Sonic CD. This is Blue Sphere! Why can't I beat the cheese? Tails, you stay there. It's too dangerous for you in here. I'll do it for you, Tails. I'll save the world alone. Don't worry, I'll be fine. I'll fight. Oh, Tails, can you stop jumping over there? That's a big Tails. And now we're stuck on the floor. It's... it's finally my time to shine! You're dead, Sonic! <laughs> I win! I finally get to say... Oh no! Oh, no! You wanna die too, Dale? Listen to that, folks. That's the mark of a quality game. Oh, look, it's Mini Eggman! I mean, Eggman could just get out of his vehicle and stand on us, but... Uh, this is nice. Oh, goodness, Amy! Oh, well, I'll let you take this one, Tails. Ah! Whoa! Ah, uh, Tails, wanna take this one again? Uh, Tails, uh, uh, take Tails, take Tails, whoa, no. Sonic, why? Titanic Monarch Zone. But this is just... Grand Metropolis! Hey, wait a minute, this isn't Grand Metropolis. This is... The Sonic 3 bonus stage! Hold on a second, this isn't the Sonic 3 bonus stage! This is... Metropolis Zone! No, 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 Metropolis Zone, not Grand Metropolis! Oh man, this just doesn't have the same feel. Tails, we gotta get going, come on! Just stop screwing around. Tails, it's time for my super twirl leap! Uh, oh, I am invincible! You cannot stop me! That was useful. Uh, do I... I wanna take a ride. Oh, God! Oh, hold on, there's a bonus stage. <laughs> you know how I've said there's no other Sonic game that really matches the quality of the link between level theme and music to that of Sonic Heroes? Well, uh, we, we might just be looking at number two here, folks. Uh, did I just say something I should have saved for the review? Damn it, what is that, like 10 seconds or so of extra content? And we need all the time we can get. YouTube is all like, hey, creators, you like this? Yeah! Well, how about this? No! Ow, how could you, pig, inflict harm upon one of your own? Yeah, an animal brother? This reminds me of that one time. Like, surely, he won't He won't do this to the, to the lad who gave him the gun. You're a woman! Well, that's my clips done. <laughs> oh! Oh my god! I thought you meant shotgun clip. Shotguns don't have Oh clips my like god! Clips. You mean YouTube? Oh my... Oh my god! <laughs> well, we're running, boy! <laughs> Okie dokie. And now I'm dying. Neil, you see what happens when you don't respect your teammates? Ah, uh, what is this level trying to be? An epic climb, a mysterious energy challenge, or a goddamn pinball level? What's with all the bumpers? Damn, I'm all out of jokes! All I got is review shit now! Oh, Blue Sphere, I can make a joke out of this! Or I could if I could stay in the goddamn thing for longer than 10 seconds. Four spheres, seriously? Am I meant to be able to jump here? I Gravity mechanics, huh? Well, unfortunately for you, old chum, I got the power of flight on my side. Ow! Oh, okay. Aha! A secret! Uh, 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 what, what? Why would this be here if there's no secret? Come on, game designers! <laughs> nope, Spring, I don't want you. It's all like... Eh? 
Eh? What is the point of this place? Oh god, no, not this one again. Sonic's the name. Fucking it up's my game! Here we are, folks, the final portal. Here we go! Come and get me, Eggman! Whoa! You've, you've been really skipping leg day, haven't you? Oh no! Hopping! T terrifying! You again! Oh gee, you're a dick down! And you! Gee! I know you like ninja stars, but this is ridiculous! Well, at least you haven't changed the shape of your whole goddamn body. Look at this classic game design! See the rings, want the rings, jump for the rings, dodge the spikes! Amazing! I missed the button, golly gosh. Yeah, that's right, Eggman. Bounce on that, took us. Whoa! Cutscene! Oh, sweet! So we get to see a whole nother... Wait, that's it? 